Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to this glorious day of D&D. The music is from Final Fantasy XIV. Hi, everyone. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. I am uh, very giddy and excited, as always. Uh, I, I, I really enjoy this. I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. Thank you so much for the hype train and being really kind. Um, just because I, 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 I always feel bad about it. Uh, alerts are off for this stream. They will still pop up and be visible. Uh, and I'll thank everyone at the end of stream. I just don't want it to interrupt the, the session itself, right? Um, so thank you everyone. I hope you're having a great day. We got some, got some Witcher going. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and unmute the call and, uh, we'll get, we'll get this, uh, this game going. Does that sound good? Is there a good place to know? I have a group Discord, uh, community Discord, if you do exclamation Discord, uh, and there is a, a scheduled channel or a general alert channel, and I will post it as soon as we know an actual date. For sure, thanks for asking. Okay, here we go. So true. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. How is Hello. everyone? Oh, we're having yeah, shifting yeah. gears. <laughs> we're just, you know, we're having a normal one in here. A normal one, nice. Extremely normal one. Yes, yeah, so normal. But on topic, we're to we're talking about D and D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't help but see more Elijah Wood getting posted. No, don't worry I don't about know what it, you're Dan, talking please. about. Don't worry about it. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh man, what did I miss? I'm excited. Apparently nothing. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Nothing happened. I don't know why you'd think anything happened. I I never I never talk about anything relevant to. We never situation. said that Elijah Wood looks like an Animal Crossing character. I don't know where you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> You're having a normal one, Dan. Hi. You're having a nice normal one. Hey, that's what we're here to do, is have a nice normal one. Mm -hmm. And hang out and have fun. So, check. We already did the have fun. Now, now for the bad parts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. We've done the fucking around now. Time to find out. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh no! <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> are we all are we all ready? Is everyone everyone situated? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We all definitely. We, we got our giggles out about Elijah Wood. <laughs> no, no. Nope. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Hey, I'm looking <laughs> at him. <laughs> New, can I, I have really a petition? I just really want a fan edit of, of fucking, like, Lord of the Rings. And, like, <laughs> like come, Shadow Fax. And then the horse runs over to Gandalf and goes... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, can we get that uh, Elijah cut out? But as Bar... Bar you? <laughs> oh, no. It looks like a Bar you. Oh, no. Huge. Elijah's massive. pointing. There he is. I'm good. Okay. Oh, pointing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sit my coffee. <clears throat> Stop thinking about yeah, Elijah. Right. In. Uh, when Deep are you going live, Dan? Oh, you know, in a few <laughs> minutes, probably. Okay. Few. Okay. Oh, right. oh my Deep gosh! Like, I apparently I've been live this whole time. Oh my what? goodness! Oh, no. Wow. Oh. No. Oh no. Now Elijah's gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Hi, Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want a cameo on the show, you just let us know. There's a poll. Is Elijah Wood an Animal Crossing character? <laughs> <laughs> Very important poll. Um So uh so yeah, um I've I've got a recap, but 
one thing I thought would be interesting for, for future episodes, would you guys like to do the recap or do you want me to stick with doing the recap? I would really like if you did the recap, please. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Okay, you got it. Just making sure. <laughs> Just making sure. Um, Thank you. Um, are, we, are we all set to start? Yeah. 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 All right. Previously on Elijah Wood and Dragons. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Our group of adventurers gathered together in the city of Philgrove, a repurposed stronghold that has been turned into a flourishing northern town. They gained the favor of some local residents by doing a few odd jobs, helped solve the town's recent conundrum of missing individuals, and were accepted into the Green Ravens as honorary members of the Beast Hunting Organization. While planning their next course of action, Bori Unzar, the captain of the Crown's Guard in Philgrove, called upon the party to help lend aid to the city once more. A recent disturbance in the city of Brightcoin scattered many powerful artifacts across the realm and potentially back into the hands of those who might abuse them, one of which had been located deep beneath the city of Philgrove. A group of Dorvan miners and four Crown's Guard members were sent below the city to retrieve a powerful staff and haven't returned or relayed any communications in the past few days. Bori tasked the party with rescuing any of the surviving members of the expedition and safely obtained the artifact. The party made their way trip they are made their one-way trip down below the city of into the below the city into the underdark and have set their path on finding the artifact. And uh and that's that's where we find ourselves. Are, are, is there any questions before we go? Um not that I can think of. I don't think so. Think okay. It might be worth mentioning we all leveled up to level four. Everyone's we level four. Homework. We got some. There's some new stuff, or or maybe just more abilities. That's that's always a good thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, I just gotta find the right music here real quick. You know, there's no particular reason. Oh no. Oh god. No, it's good music. It's good music. Right. Yay, Hollow Knight. Oh. Um, so oh. you all wake up uh, nearby that coast of the uh, underwater lake or underwater reservoir uh, that you camped out by. The bilunus life that is above uh, still gives off a small like glimmer of of almost faux starlight. Um, so while while camp is is still dark, you still have enough light to pack up your belongings, get ready for the day. And, you know, not make any missteps. Uh, but you all awake. You're fully healed. Spells are back. Everyone had a nice long rest, including Hobson. <laughs> and the day is yours. Important to note. It's Gonna important. have to get used to that. I know. <laughs> uh, right off the bat, I want to start by... Um, as, I'm, as I'm gathering my things, I want to sift in through into that bag of many things that I got. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh... We're gonna roll 1d100. 52. 52. You uh you reach around in this bag for a bit. You feel like um like something glass that you grab, and it's like a, a sphere. You pull it out, and there is a it's like a little ship in a bottle. It it, it seems oh. pretty well made. Um, but it's it's like. I don't know, like what, like the the width of an apple, I will say. But it's mm. a, it's a pleasant little ship in the bottle. Look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. <laughs> mm. But that is so small. How is anyone supposed to sail? Uh, I don't think it's for sailing. I think it's for looking at. What? Look at it. Look, well, wait, well, look at it. What do you think? Hmm. Gilneck thinks this is only proficient for ants to sail on. Whoa. Maybe there's ants in there right now. Does I don't see any shoot, ants. Does it shoot lasers like the bird does? Uh, well, I can't reach my fingers into the, the, into the bottle. So I don't know. Anybody got small hands? Mm. Oh, wait, I can use my mage hand, right? <laughs> yeah, my you mage can. Hand get you in can there? mage hand. Yeah. All right. 
I'm gonna cast my mage hand, which is uh, called hopscotch. Mm -hmm. And it's 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 like one of those like uh, little sticky gummy hands <laughs> that you get from like Chuck E. Cheese. It's an animated <laughs> sticky hand. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and it's gonna kind of slither into the bottle and poke around at it. Okay. Uh, give me. Give me a d20 and add your intelligence modifier. Okay. And my intelligence modifier is plus four, so that's ten. Okay, so you, you kind of just wetly slap around on this ship, and <laughs> as your hand hits it, it breaks one of the masts. It, like, cracks. Oh. And then it's just kind of broken, and you just... It seems like a normal, small piece of ship. Kind of broke it a little bit. Ah, oh, well now Ants will have much trouble sailing this ship. I'm sorry, Ants. I let you down. <laughs> Other than that, it just looks like a normal little bottle. I put it into my bag and now I'm sad. Aw. Oh. Sad day. <laughs> Today's off to a terrible start. <laughs> <laughs> Bad omen. Also, for a few folks, uh, there were a few item cards that I made. Um, so if you go to the, the third tab and there should be like a handout thing, if you have any specific like magical item or something like that, I think I have it assigned to everyone who has uh, stuff. It is the second tab for Ooh. us because we don't have oh, the uh, asset uh, right. page. There you go. It'll be under your character sheet, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh, yeah. So there's a, there's I have a the orb of there. recall. I have the orb? I think everyone has the we orb because I don't know orb. who's holding it. Oh, we it. all have orb. Yeah, yeah, we all have. It's for when we get out. Right. I thought we, there was like one person that held it. Yeah, who's holding it? I don't remember. I forgot. I don't remember. I forgot. Who wants to hold it now? Who's most responsible? Coil. <laughs> <laughs> I trust Coil's holding it. Coil's holding it. Coil's holding it? Yeah. All right. Coil's yeah. holding it. Nice. Oh, don't I look, chat. <laughs> no, no one's looking. I'm perceiving. I'm like terrified about this deck, but also very, very curious. What? It's just a bunch of playing cards. I don't know. Or yeah, a tarot a card deck. Cards. Yeah. 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 yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. Just play some solitaire. Oh. Nothing, nothing weird. It's just some runes on it. That's all. A little sus? No. Nah. Um, are you, are you, are you doing anything with the cards? You know what? I think I think Bailey wants to kind of just inspect them and look at them. Okay. Um, you it's it's kind of in like a little uh like leather bound sleeve that as you open it up, you can see like each each card is individually like separated, uh, almost almost like a um, there's some kind of like like you know when you do a shuffle and you you split it and there's like cards in between, but it's. A little separated. It's it's like that. Yeah. You can see all twenty of these cards, um, and they're it, like firmly in place. Even when you kind of like shake it around, it doesn't look like they move or jostle at all. Okay. Um, out of morbid curiosity, you know, I'm just gonna do it. She she kind of wants to take a peek at what one of them looks like. Um, you take a peek, and both sides that you can see are the exact same. It just looks like this uh, ornate mm. design. Like, not, not of anything, just like a kind of random filigree. Okay. Just kind of puts them back into their little case and puts them back in her bag. Okay. You didn't, you didn't pull one out to look at it, right? Oh, no, I, that's what I was doing, was pulling one out to look oh, at it. Oh, you pulled one out? Okay, can you roll oh, a D20 for me? No. Oh, boy. Yeah, hold on. Here we go. I thought you were just, just looking in the rolls, in the pack. Flash roll D twenty. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I got nineteen. All right. Um, as you pull it out, you see that that kind of ornate design on the back fades mm -hmm. way to this uh, wheel with like segmented chunks in it, and you see a little bit okay. of banner up here. It says the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Um. It burns in your hands and like leaves a little bit of singe mark on your fingers. Um, you're not really sure what happened, but Does you it, like hurt. Like it, it kind of, it kind of hurt. Like, uh, like you were holding something hot and immediately let go of it. Okay, she yelps a little bit. 
Other than that, Coil kind of looks over. It's kind of making sure she's okay. I kind of like hold up the deck. Uh, obviously not the card that I had because it's gone. And then just shrug a little bit at Coil and put the deck away. As you as you try to like put away this deck of cards, you're, you know, you're just throwing it in your pack. You find you're like mm -hmm. having trouble kind of finding the right spot for it. It takes you it takes you mm -hmm. way longer than you expected. Like like that 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 image of the uh, football coach trying to find his pocket in his jacket, and he's just kind of <laughs> just kind of searching for a while, and then eventually you find it, and it seems a little unlucky. Mm. Oh. All right, I, I'm obviously a little bit uh, concerned, but kind of go back to just looking at the rest of the group. Okay. Yeah, you guys are just uh, standing around your camp, which is probably this man at this point, so. <sighs> well, I'm all ready yeah. to go. continue our journey. All right, all right. Ready. So which way you Very going? Well. Uh, you can go back the just, coast and continue on the uh, collapsed side of the pathway, or you can continue down the coast and find another path. Votes? Uh, Remind me, was, was our dousing rod being like any help with giving us direction on this at all? I don't think anyone's used it. Oh. Uh, we had it. We had it on it. Wait, no, we didn't at the beginning. I think. Maybe, no, maybe we, we, we didn't. Try it. We were too far away, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I think it, it was just only one direction. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, uh, Coil can, can pull out the dowsing rod. Okay. You, you spend a bit of time and you feel a little pull that slowly kind of pushes you towards further down the coast. It looks like going back the way you came is not the correct path. All right. He... He, he points just quietly. Onward! Oh, jeez. Alright. Further on we go. I slipped my uh, night vision goggles back on. Mm hmm. They definitely help. Oh, yeah. Is, is the bioluminescence like enough for those of us uh, without night vision to be able to see okay? Or are we needing some help again? Within this cave or like this area by the lake, yes. Uh, but as soon as okay, you cool. kind of continue into like a cavern or a tunnel, you'll you'll probably need a light source. Gotcha. Lucky for okay. us, I will just say now that I'll give each person who needs it a dancing light once it gets dark enough. Yeah. Thanks, double leader. Mm -hmm. So you, you guys walk for a bit on the coast. Um, it's nice and uneventful. Uh, you can see small little disturbances in the water, like maybe just some sea life or something. Um, but nothing nothing really catches your attention as you uh, exit this cavern and find your way into a kind of steep descending uh, tunnel that is, is like a little slick, like you have to catch yourself sometimes from sliding. Um, and you can even see through this point um, there's a bit of uh, climbing gear that's been left in parts of this. You can see like a pitten, or is it python or pitten? I don't know. I don't know. Um, and in like some rope tied to it, that's going down a bit. So you can kind of use that to get yourselves down a bit of this steep incline. Um, Google says it's a piton. Piton? That's wrong. I don't like that. That's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. What's Google's this? wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll submit some feedback. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you guys, you guys continue on. It seems pretty uneventful. This looks like a natural, uh, occurring cavern. Um, you guys walk for probably a few hours. Is there anything you guys want to do while you're walking? Uh, trying, yes. Trying not to trip. I would like to talk with Morenthal. Okay. Yeah. So Gilneck just kind of like, while we're walking, just strut on over to where Morenthal is and just uh, strike up conversation. You, stinky drow. 
Yes, double leader. Gilnek understands that dressing down that Gilnek gave Stinky Drow must have been very damaging to his ego. That is why Gelnick is a very generous leader and willing to hear out. Understandably, Gelnick know that Morantha, uh, that uh, Stinky Drow almost said his <laughs> real name. Uh, <laughs> Stinky Drow must have been shot uh -huh. at some point. Yes. <clears throat> I don't need your sympathy. Hmm. Very cold of you, Stinky Drow. Not wish to share, not wish to empathize, not wish to be kinder to others. Gelnick has seen this before. Hmm. Really? Yes. <laughs> you, you are cold and cynical. You believe world is cold and cynical. Am I wrong? Yes. Gelnick believe that world is not cold and cynical. And those who believe it is merely think themselves smarter than they are. You have not seen world enough. I think I've seen enough to know how it is for me. Then Gilnek will make it his job to show you more. You really don't have to. Not to worry. Gilnek trusts in all his companions. And gives him a little pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never rip you into shape yet and perhaps you will graduate to slightly smelly drow it's a I'm dream the one that stinks here ah not to worry N not all of us are very self aware either <sighs> yes I know Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> continue on its walk. A, a little bit of awkward silence follows as you guys continue your your, your trek. Um, the only occasional sound is like an unseen critter uh, skittering away uh, as you as you approach. Um, since the noise travels so easily here. Um, it's kind of easy to tell if anything is around you and it's very obvious that you guys are making your way through here. Even with stealth, uh, you have like a warforged walking with you and some people in heavy armor. Um, but you start to continue. Uh, this is probably about like, we'll say five hours into the day of traveling. Um, you notice the pathway becomes a little bit more... Um, man-made or just altered uh you can see markings of of uh, mining equipment uh being used and every now and then you can see a, a small singe of um uh like black char uh, amongst some of the rocks um but you continue this way for a bit um every now and then you see a small um section of like uh makeshift support beams kind of in place so it looks like they probably did an actual amount of work coming through here um which is hopefully gaining you guys some time um eventually you come across a, a come oh excuse me come i just said come thank you thank you um i'm not nervous um Eventually, the path widens, and you reach a large, blacked, charred floor section. Uh, you can see this looks like it was a solid wall that uh, they blasted through. Um, and crossing into this this new kind of cave, you can sense the atmosphere's changed. Like, this is definitely not a uh, natural pathway for the cave, and you can sense it's kind of... Um, a wide open space as you're kind of standing at the the precipice of this new entrance. Uh, can Cole check the dowsing rod to see if it's pointing into this this little? It entrance? does seem to be pointing into this. Yes, you get like a kind of point straight, and it, it does a little bit left, but mm -hmm. it it seems clearly through this way. 
He just starts walking into it. Okay. Mm. Can we yeah. hear, like, have we been able to hear anything other than just our own footsteps at any point? You're you're noticing, like, you're hearing a lot of, like, little critters and, and little sounds. Mm. Um, occasionally, when you step, you see, like, a small little, like, bug crawl from, like, a carved hole into another, just kind of, like, scampering out of the way as soon as you approach. Um, as you walk into this new space, um... You catch you catch a bit of movement as you see uh, this small little like flying beetle uh, kind of just hovering in place, and as it kind of is panicking, you can see it's attached to a thin string that's reaching from the floor to the ceiling. Mm. Mm. And only only like occasionally a glint of light from like mm. the dancing lights uh, shows you that this thread is even existing. Mm. Like a web or something. Mm. Man, mining sucks. Like, why do people do this for a job? People like rocks, I guess. I guess so. No other choice. You just choose to not like rocks so much. Can Coil cut the 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 web? Yeah. Oh, it's like it, it, it's a, a long since web, so it's not. Like, even really that sticky for you anymore. You just kind of slice it. Cool. He frees the bug. See? The beetle flies away. Can we yeah. see where the web connects to the ceiling? Um, Looking up, the ceilings are about, uh, like, 25 feet above you. Um, mm. There's there's occasionally a few of those little dots of light, but nowhere near as much as that um over the underground lake that you saw. Um. Mm. You can see, looking around now, you can see leftover webbing kind of meshed between the, the like, uh, stalactites and stuff within the ceiling. Grilby's gonna, uh, quickly take out Scrubbins and whisper for him to be ready to go into flamethrower mode and put him back in his pocket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scrubbins is prepped. Yep. Um, but the space you guys find yourselves in now, uh, is a wide open cavern it looks like this natural bridge is kind of formed almost like out of like a slate like rock and you can see looking down off the sides uh there's a bit of a drop you're not sure how far um but the reflection of light and water greets you so you can see there's probably some kind of underground river that you're walking past but the water is very still Is there we any, like, sign? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Is there any, like, sign of, like, other people here, like, taking this path at this point? Um, other than the, um, the clear, like, explosion and mining into right. this chamber, um, you don't immediately see anything. <laughs> like, it, you don't see any, uh, equipment or anything out. And the floor is kind of, like, slick rock. So even if there mm -hmm. were like footprints or anything, it's it's not really visible. Okay. Well, what you guys doing? It's Slowly like a bridge, panicking. you said, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a bridge, and it kind of like slightly arcs off to the left, and you can see like another opening uh, where the the residue of blast marks is. Just as apparent as it was coming up upon this uh, entrance. I think it's pointing slightly left, so this seems the right way. Mm. You're in front, then. He shrugs and starts walking on the bridge. Okay. Mm, the heaviest boy. <laughs> Weary of what's around us while we cross. Did you do it. You you giving a lookout? Yeah. I'm giving yeah. A lookout. Yeah. If you're giving me a lookout, everyone give me a perception check. Whoever's on the lookout. I don't know. Quail is uh, Trilby's not. Looking just at everyone else. I don't think Trilby's looking at his surroundings. <laughs> He's seeing everyone else is day. reacting. That's fair. Six. I have fourteen. Was there anyone else? 
Nope. All no, right. I think, I think Coil just yeah. looking straight ahead. <laughs> looking straight ahead. It looks safe. Um, mm, you you kind of you kind of scan. You do see kind of hanging remnants of web. Uh, one thing that you're noticing is typically when you see webs, they're they're there for like platforms and support uh, to like to walk across for like a spider. You're noticing these are not kind of created in any intricate way. They they look almost just like hanging fishing lines. Mm. Remnants of a crazy spider rager. <laughs> there's there's going nuts. It's just that beginning scene in Blade. Of yeah, the spiders. Um, also, while you're walking, um, are you guys being stealthful? No. Nope. Yes. Nope. <laughs> I am. I All right. Speak if not if to you're the group. being stealthful, give me a roll. <laughs> and also, just for funsies, what's the marching order? <laughs> we got Coil coils in front, in front. I think. Coils in front. I'm behind Coil. I know for sure. Uh, I rolled an eleven, by the way. I'm, okay. Today is not off to a good start. Not a great day for Morinthal. <laughs> No, no, say Hopson's behind Morenthal. Who is it? I'll say Hopson's behind Morenthal. Okay. Gelnick will be behind Hopson. Uh, Trilby's definitely near the back. I don't know what Faley's doing. I think Faley is probably close to the front, honestly. Mm, okay. okay. All right, I'll hop and move one back then. <laughs> and Trilby's in the very back. All right. Trilby. Frequently looking behind him. Okay. Um, you guys. Walk across. Um, seems quiet. Seems still. You do still hear these kind of like skitters and occasionally like a small little rock you hear like bloop, fall into a water. Um, as you're nearing the like first third of the bridge, um, you can just faintly see uh, some movement on the edge of the, the bridge to your right. It looks like a uh, almost humanoid hand is kind of just like gripping and it readjusts slightly. Um, and right as you see this, what's a little on this? What? Uh oh. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh no, map change is oh, never good. No. Oh. no. Mm. We got. A, we got a little map. We got a little. Oh, map. oh good. All right. I'm sure nothing's oh, gonna yeah, happen this on is it. Fine. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'd never do anything to hurt us. Never. Never. Um, Innocent map. I need. Was Hobson in front of Gelnuk? Uh, uh, they just. Uh, Hobson uh, and Feely switched, I think is what I said. Right? Did I mix up? Yeah. I'm okay with wherever. I don't mind. I just know okay. I'm near the front. We can also yeah, you, you can also adjust side. yourself right now because this oh. is like we'll we'll say this is okay. kind of where you are. Great. Oh yeah, good job. That was the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> Move yourself off screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm out of here. Okay, so uh, in that case, I need Coil, Morenthal, and Faley to give me. Some dexterity checks. Saving throws. Oh, boy. Oh. Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity Ooh. saving throw. 14. Mm. Not, it's not, not, I'm not doing too good today with rolls. I get advantage on 13. dexterity saving throws because of my, my barbarian danger sense. Also, real quick, uh, Faley, can you just give me that roll again with disadvantage? Uh, yeah, hold on. 11. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Your roll was too uh, good, you see. Too good. Um, What, what did Coil get? Oh. A 20. Yeah. Um, so, as you kind of step, you notice from above these, like, four arms kind of spread apart, and from the center of this, like, humanoid figure, you can see a, a thick spray of this silky substance that kind of covers and coats the area. Um, Coil and Morenthal dodge out of the way. Faley, you kind of get coated in this this webbing, 
Um, and for, no. the, for the moment, um, you are restrained, which means your speed is zero. Uh, attacks you make are at disadvantage, and attacks against you are at advantage. Oh, good. Um, good. That's good. And good. As, as this kind of, like, ambush attack happens, you see several of these humanoid figures. You can see they each have four arms that are a little, um, like, furry, almost, and they're these long fingers with claws attached to them. Um, their hair is kind of like this matted back mess. Um, and if you can see the glint of like blades, like handcrafted pieces of metal and stuff like that, they're just, they're just coming at you. And uh, let's roll initiative once we once we pull up the uh, turn order <laughs> thing. So I remember how to do that. There we go. Remember to select your token first. Select your token, yep. that's right. Right. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Oof. 21. I'm not seeing tokens yet. Hang on. Uh, they're on the f right up top. Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone draw on the map. It was an accident. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there you go. It's gone. Thank you. Thank uh. you. Darn it. You told me how to do this last time, and now I've forgotten again. I've been using real dice, <laughs> which is not helpful for this um, part. Okay, so if you click uh, your character token, and then yeah. and then just mm -hmm. do initiative roll on your character sheet, and then you can change it once it's in this to whatever you actually rolled. Oh, okay. That works. <clears throat> This is gonna be fun. Sorry for the yeah, whole. I'm not fine. seeing initiative uh, roll either. Um, it should be like the center of your character sheet. It just oh, it's like initiative. Initiative. I think it was good. Had a high. There we go. Okay. Okay. And then you can you can click on the um the the 19 oh, yeah. and you can edit that to whatever you actually roll. Honestly, I'm pretty good with that number. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep the 19. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good call, you know. How do I do this? Add a turn. It's been a hot minute since I've been doing this, too. <laughs> All right. So we got some friends. We got some four-armed friends. And they're just saying hello. Um, And they got a 16. All right. Everyone have their initiative in? Mm -hmm. Yep. All yes. right. Let's do the sending. Yarp. Of this, we'll do, uh, we'll do a little of that. There we go. All right. <laughs> uh, so first up is Morenthal. You see these humanoid, um, kind of like insect hybrids, uh, jump down and spring an ambush on you. What would you like to do? <sighs> what I'd like to do and what I'm gonna do are two different things. Mm -hmm. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm immediately going to move and attack the one in front of me with me old rapier. And I believe because it hasn't had its turn yet, I can assassinate it. Mm -hmm. So if you hit, it is That'd an automatic be... crit. Yes. Question is, oh, I always forget what sneak attack is. Um, if I have advantage, no. Don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy of the target is in five feet of it. That enemy isn't incapacitated, and you don't have advantage. So I can sneak attack then. Uh, I think doesn't assassinate let you do sneak attack if you act before it. Oh yeah, because it counts as uh, getting advantage on attack rolls. Yes, that's right. So it does automatically. Yes. Yes. Sorry. So, yeah, it's all you have been to do is hit, and like if it hits, it's a it bonkers. Because it automatically crits with an assassinate. Uh, so wait, what did that what did that actually roll? What did it So it's a Cause, so, <laughs> it, it, cause it has a crit, but it's definitely not Ted. <laughs> just yeah, roll roll it, it roll a D twenty for me real quick. I'll just roll a D twenty. Let's just fucking <laughs> It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. You're fine. 
15. Oh, you definitely hit this guy. Okay. So 15 for 7 plus 10 damage, and then the uh, sneak attack does 9 plus 1 damage, so... So, 27 damage overall. Yeah, that's a pretty Jesus. good chunk. You just kind of carve <laughs> into this guy. Like, you're expecting some heavy resistance with this ambush, and you just kind of cut through, and this, like, ichor kind of sprays out from its gut as it falls backwards limp. Lovely. Uh, and with my... Uh, bonus action, I'm going to quickly just move back next to Coil. Okay. And that'll be the end. Hobson, you're up. I think Hobson, just as a, just on, in panic instinct, uh, casts armor of Agathis on himself. Nice. Uh, and uh, then trying to gather his wits, sort of tries to draw that adamantine short, short sword and moves Closer to the folks up here, not really with st strategy in mind, mostly just like as a, ah, I'm going to stand near the people who know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm by people. I'm okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think he's just holding the sword in front of him very nervously. All right. Gelnick. Okay. So, um, Coil and Faley are covered in like the web stuff. Yeah. Just Faley. Just Faley. Okay. Um, Am I allowed to use the help action to help remove it from her? I will say if you use your action and succeed, you can break the webbing. Uh, how does one succeed? Um, so give me a... Uh, are you trying to get her out or, like, rip? We could, cause we, we could do athletics or acrobatics. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, rip. All right. So give me an you athletics push check as you try to ripped yeah. enough webbing to give her freedom. Not to worry. Gelnek is double leader, which means double responsibility on keeping tribes safe. Here! 17. And you you do just that. You grab a few handfuls of this, this stringy uh, rope and you pull it back. It kind of sticks to your hands as you do and just shake it off, but it's just enough no for Faley spider creatures. to break a foot free and uh you are you were no longer restrained Faley. oh my goodness Faley like utters a thank you of course strong dog uh <laughs> Gelnek is relying on you boom boom hits both of uh sides of his drum and i'm gonna give you bardic inspiration coil yay and that will be my turn very nice he gives like a like a like a grunt in response and appreciation all right the lads. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. All the lads. You can see as uh, they kind of start closing in on you, you get like a, a slightly better look at them. Um, they have like three rows of eyes um, that are all kind of like, you know, when like light catches a cat's eye, it's kind of doing that like that shimmering kind of effect. Ooh. All that reflective. Mm -hmm, that like reflect. Yeah, it's just it, you just see these like six points coming at you from the darkness. Um, and we are going to have fun. Two, fun. Three, four, five, six. This one's going to spend its action and dash. This doesn't look very fun, Dan. Oh, no, it's I'm having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I have way more tokens than you guys do. This is great. <laughs> it's a cool game of goat we're playing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think Dan's about to get Connect 4. Okay, uh, I did it. Connect uh, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> There's it. This, this one doesn't count, right? Because it's dead. No, um, I killed one of your pieces. So. Ah. Classic Connect 4. Okay, so they just yeah. kind of wildly run at you, and you see this kind of like opening in their chest that... Well, y you can guess what it is, but... <laughs> you can see um, the, the one that kind of sprayed at you, it still has the threads connected to where... Um, Faley was attached, uh, but it just kind of like rips off eventually, and it runs towards you. And uh, they're all gonna do some. Uh, they're all gonna do a little stabby stabs. This one I to the north pain. comes and is gonna do some swipes on Gelnek. Uh, that will be its last mistake. Oh, will it? 
Uh, Maybe. its best one was a 16 to hit. Yep. All right. Now, the other two definitely missed. Um, so he comes at you, and he just kind of stabs this jagged piece of metal into your, like, shoulder, and it cuts you for six <clears throat> damage. Ah! Uh-oh. Um, one of them is going to go for Faley. Oh, one has a nat 20, and one rolled a Ooh. dirty 20. Oh, good. Cool, cool, nice. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. A nasty cool. twenty. It's weird. It's like, nice. man, luck is not on your side. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah, um, kind of strange. The first one deals six damage, and the second one deals three damage. Okay. So you kind of just get raked in. Like one of them has claws, and it just kind of tears at your side. Like all four arms are kind of just flailing at you guys while they get close. Um, Coil, one of them's going for you. Hell oh, yeah. Uh, does 17 hit? It does. All right, so two hit. Uh, one for three and one for seven. Wow. Uh, okay. And Morenthal is about to have a bad day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. Have a bad day. Um,. Unless okay, fate shines miss. Uh, so does it 18 hit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's for four damage. Okay. The quarter one is going to swing at you as well. Ooh, does it, 18 hits, right? So all three hit. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, six damage, four damage, and five damage. Ooh. And then, as you as you've kind of walked up and gained the attention, uh, Hobson, you see these two kind of just like start clawing into Morenthal, and two other ones look at you and just kind of like hover over you. Like they're they're probably like six ish feet tall, so they kind of just loom over you as they're raking in their claws, and two are gonna swing at you. Uh, yeah. the sixteen hit. Uh, sh yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, that hits you for three, and I believe they get punished, right? They do, yeah. Uh, so that's some temporary hit points off of me, but yeah, in a flash they take, I think, ten like, Ooh, damn. cold damage. Okay. God damn. It's occurring to me I've, I'm starting to accidentally create a build where it's really beneficial for me to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, though. Um, all right, and the other one's coming to swing at you. Uh, does 15 hit? Yes, as well. Okay, two hit. So does it does it trigger twice? I don't know, actually. Hang on. I don't think there's any limitation on... I'm fairly uh, certain it's turn. each time you get hit, yeah? I, I, I think, think that's so, the case, yeah. yeah. If the creature amazing. hits you with a melee attack, then you... And while you have these hit points, then they take, yeah, 10 damage. Okay, so you take and six total... And as this thing swipes at you again, its arm just like kind of blasts bra bla blast backwards from the cold shot. And like its arm is just severed as it kind of like skitters backwards and then just kind of like folds in on itself. Like a like, like a, when you kill a spider and it, it curls up. Good. On you, Majuri. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> nice and fun times here. Okay, well that was their turn. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Coils up. You get. You guys okay? <laughs> I just turn around. Blood spits out of my mouth. <laughs> you want some candy? <laughs> <laughs> Were those teeth? <laughs> Coil is going to um, enter his rage. Okay. And um, frenzy as well. Mmm. So. We are getting... What? No. No. That's my other barbarian. I don't get a frenzy. Never mind. <laughs> um... He's going to attack... I think at least this one, since it's beaten up Morenthal real bad. Okay. And Morenthal seems to be needing the, the most help. Um... <laughs> he did kill a guy in one hit. <laughs> he sure did. 
He's getting punished for it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to claw. Uh. This guy. Okay. Um. What? I think I think it gets. Okay. I'm trying to make sure that... Oh, nine to Okay, hit. and then it also... So yeah, you, you kind of rake at it, and it, it just kind of like skitters out of the way. Um, You kind of like are going for its limbs, and it's just kind of flailing wildly, so it doesn't connect on the, the first swipe. Gotcha. Do, do you have um, do you have extra attack? I actually don't remember. I'm trying to decide. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm getting it mixed up with my other barbarian. I don't think I do. I'm I'm reading real quick. <laughs> Is it level five? Is that what I'm thinking of? Maybe. Maybe. Yep, it's level five. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. I, I can never remember the barbarian levels. I was like, it's level three, right? But nope. Okay, so yeah, you kind of just swipe at it, and it it's too quick for you. All right, that's All right. it then. All right, Faley. All right, I would like to uh, wild shape chalice. Mm-hmm. And uh, I can also cast if I cast a cure wounds on this turn. Can I still use the effects of chalice, or does that take effect next turn? Um, is it an action or bonus action to go into wild shape? Pretty sure it's an action, question. right? I think. Yes, it's an action. Okay, so uh, does it? Can you? I think if you cast as a bonus action, you get the bonus with it still. If you have a uh, bonus action heal. Uh, I have Cure Wounds and Healing Word. Healing Word's a bonus Healing action. Healing Word is a bonus action. Okay. So I can Wild Shape uh, Chalice and then Healing Word mm -hmm. and then still get the effects of Wild Shape? Perfect. I believe so. Uh, I would like to do that. And I will Healing Word on Morinthal. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is 1d4 plus 5, so 9. Ooh. To Morinthal. And then I would like to use the um, bonus heal on myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I rolled a one. Uh, but it's plus my wisdom mod, so six. Oh, I didn't click. So there you go. It's still six. Even with the one, it's six. That's great. Yeah. So yeah, you Six spread some heal. And nine for Morinthal. Also, uh, we, we talked about this a little before of when you go into starry form, uh, mm -hmm. how do you, how do you look? Uh, her starry form is very, it's, it's like her, her normal form, but it's just entirely made of constellations and small little flowers throughout the whole thing. Very like light, very see-through, but very, very floral. And, um, the little buds are kind of blooming at random intervals. Kind of like stars sparkling. Hell yeah. Love it. Love it. Um, anything Amazing. else? I believe that is all I can do. All right. Trilby. Oh, and speaking uh, of, Trilby's, of Trilby. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm doing. Uh, Trilby's watching all this go down going, uh, uh, Scrubbins. It's up to you now. <laughs> <laughs> and um and so i i i, I spawn in sh uh, scrubbins in flamethrower yes! mode and he uh zooms over here that's 15 feet i think yeah that's 15 feet he can do that um and he's gonna blast flamethrower down um in a uh, uh was uh, uh in a 15 foot cone so he's just gonna gonna blast that down down the chain here. Uh oh, I'm giving the audience a, a view of Scrubbins. 
Yeah. Yeah. Also, thank you to Joe Kev for the scrub and search. Shout out to Joe for just it's amazing. together. We were hanging on the call before hopping on. Um, I love him. So that. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, that is a, a 2d8. Um, Do they have a save and, against it? Uh, they have to make a dex saving throw against my spell save DC, which is what? Uh, Where would I see that? On your spell page, it should be like, there should be like two numbers in the top right. My spell save DC is 14. Okay. Um, and who, how many of them are getting hit? Because I, uh, I was not paying three attention. Three diagonal. Um, here, I'll show you again. Okay, These just three. those three? Yep. All right. Let me, let me, let me just. All right. The, the closest one to you saves and the other two fail. All right. Well, here's that 2d8. 16. Two nat 8s? <laughs> Go, Scrubbins! <Wow. laughs> Damn, Scrubbins. He goes, Meep, and fires a cone of flame <laughs> is it, from his wait, little is it beak. Wait, is it a cone attack? Uh, Yeah, but I mean... I was not hoping gonna... Dad wouldn't pick up on the... Is it a cone attack? Yeah, but he... But, yeah, but he aims it. Uh -huh. So he's aiming to not hit the friends. He's aiming it? Oh, okay, so... No. We'll, we'll say he's like... He's he's shooting it. Like, it says a fifteen foot cone that you designate. Yeah, he, so, so he's like shooting it yeah, this way, so the edge okay. of the yeah, cone is yeah. catching. Yeah, that's Exa fair. exactly. Just making yeah. sure. Yeah, Just I, making I sure. I thought this through. <laughs> I All didn't right. want to blast my friends. I wanted fire. to blast your friends. <laughs> I'm glad you did because we know Trilby kind of wouldn't. <laughs> no, I know. I'm aware. Uh, Scrubbins is smarter than Trilby. He did the 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 trig. So yeah, uh, on the save, do they take half? Um, I don't know. It just says each creature in the area must make a dex saving throw against your spell save DC, taking 2d8 fire damage on a failed save or half as much damage there on a successful go. one. All right. So uh, the fire ignites any flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. Um, as you shoot this out, they just kind of catch on fire and you can see the, the, the tendrils that were connecting the one to where Faley was standing. They kind of ignite too and just smolder out rather quickly. Um, but they're still standing. They just look in bad shape. Mm-hmm. Anything else? I, I am also, uh, in a panic <laughs> going to try. I'm pretty sure that this is, can I, can, how do I ping on the map? A hold click. Uh, a hold click. Can I shoot, uh, this one? Oh, I have the wrong thing there. This one? Absolutely. Hop, Hopson's okay, also... A halfling, so you can easily see over. Yeah, right, true. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fire a, a, a crossbow bolt. Ooh, at that one there. crossbow. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I've used this crossbow. <laughs> just about it. Never tried it before. Oh, just in the sessions. I was about Whatever. to ask whether Hobson or Trilby was taller until I remembered wait, Trilby's 20 years old. <laughs> and Trilby, and Trilby's just a boy in spirit. Human. Yeah, and he's a regular human, yeah. Um, he's 20. <laughs> Yes, that 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 actually just hits for three damage. Yeah, I rolled up fourteen for three damage. All right. Uh, that one that one is the one that a, uh, got previously blasted by the ice, and it it looks like it's it's having a rough time. It kind of sunk that uh, bolt like right in the center of its chest, and two of its arms are preoccupied trying to pull it out. Sweet, that's my turn. All right, Morenthal. Ah, oh, lordy. <laughs> so this it, this is the one that's um the, the the one directly below me is the one that's looking pretty rough, isn't it? Yes. How are the other two looking? Like these these two, are they? Um, the one directly to your west seems untouched. Okay. In that case, I'll go for that one then. I will do a rapier attack on it. And just a normal. I'm not sneaking, unfortunately. Wait. You you have oh. an ally. Oh yeah, I do. So I can sneak attack. You do I? get sneak attack. Yeah, because there's uh, within five minutes. Yeah. That's gonna come in handy if I don't hit. Oh, okay. <clears throat> hey, you hit. Uh, twenty-two for six sneak attack damage and ten piercing. So sixteen damage overall. I'm assuming twenty-two hits. 22 hits. 22 does hit. Uh, they are... Finally. You, you hurt the one that looked untouched, right? Yeah, yeah, the one that looked untouched. Okay. The one, it's, this one. 
looking rough. <laughs> You, you stab into it, and one of its arms just goes limp. Like, it, it it's trying to lift it up, and it's not responding. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all. Hobson. Uh, Hobson, I think, like, gets up his, like, hobbits fighting a cave troll, in, like, panic fighting spirit, and uh, charges at uh, this diagonal one over here, just yelling, just kind of raising that adamantine sword, and and taking a swipe at it. Probably accidental, accidentally casting Booming Blade. I don't think he was actually <laughs> thinking about it. Vulse probably oh, helped. Right. But casting Booming Blade while doing so on the thing. Very nice. So, so uh, yeah, let's see. An attack that is not as good as it could be. That's uh, 15. Oh, 15 to hit? 15 hits. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Awesome. I spaced okay. out. <laughs> <laughs> just imagining uh, the booming blade mm -hmm. all right uh for damage that'll be four for the sword attack and then also uh let's see booming blade effect is uh yeah it's only if it willingly moves over the next turn okay so. it doesn't, so yeah, it doesn't do damage. any like force damage or anything like that i don't think so i think it's more of like a you get your weapon damage and then a delayed effect if the uh, if the enemy decide, like willingly moves in the next turn. Okay. So you get it, and this kind of like shimmering sparkle kind of appears on him. And he's 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 barely conscious. Like three of his eyes are blinking out, <laughs> <laughs> but he's still standing. Anything else? I don't I don't think so. I think he's just glad to have helped. Yeah. Still terrified. Gilnick. All right. Firstly, I'm going to use my um, my special goblin feature, uh, which is called where is it? Nimble escape. So that means I can use a bonus action to disengage instead of a full action. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to use my bonus action to walk through these guys, just like over here, so they don't attack me. And. Uh, so I was mistaken. Thunder Wave is not actually around you. It's 15 foot cube originating from you, which I guess you could place on you. I don't know the ruling on that, but um, I like it as long as it's cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna come over here with these three sp spider monstrosities over mm -hmm. here, and uh, just like not to worry, strong dog and stinky drow. Gelnek is here and takes both maracas and drums his drums boom 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 and then points them forward and I'm gonna cast thunder wave at uh, second level. Ooh. Uh, oh. Hiya. And that is gonna be in this direction, so 15 feet this way in like a that. Okay, so is it gonna hit all four of those? Um. No, I'm angling it so it's like this oh, way, so that okay. it doesn't. Because if I, it, it's a cube, yeah. So it would hit my allies if I wanted to put it that way. So I'm like, I'm doing like, uh, this. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, Sorry, so the I drew, front I drew one, that wrong. It doesn't. It doesn't hit that fourth one. The front one uh, saves the back two fail, so they take seventeen. Okay. Is it? Mm-hmm. And uh, if they succeed. They take half, which is eight. <laughs> and the ones that fail, they're also pushed ten feet away. You know what? I think I think even this one, even though it succeeded, it's just enough of a force to push the body. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. Because they sick. were they were all uh, they were all pretty pretty rough. Um, as you blast in the, the, I think this last one, you hear it fall off and there's like a, a, a loud splash. And for a moment, all the skittering around you stops. And then it, you hear it pick back up. Ooh. Oh. Anything else, Gelnick? Nope, that'll be my turn. All right. Um, these three left. Ooh, dude, let's see. Is, are they smart enough to attack Scrubbins? Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think this one, <laughs> as soon as you move Scrubbins, it kind of just looks down, singed in fire, and it's going to make uh, its attacks on Scrubbins. 
No, Scrub. Uh, what's Scrub's AC again? Uh, let me check for you. Uh, oh, but, uh, AC 18. Wow, he just... Scrubbins is just doing a little bird mm -hmm. hop and just dodging yep. this thing. Just <laughs> um, this one is going to just kind of wildly flail at the three of you and just one attack on each of you. Uh, this 14 hit coil. No. They all miss. They are just wildly, frantically swinging. They're still a little, like, singed. Um, in this last one... Um, I think this last one just kind of lowers itself down a bit. It's it's really rough and just kind of lets out this like ah! like screeching scream. Oh. And then it comes in to attack on you, Morthal. But wow, they, none of them hit. He's one of his arms is doing nothing and he's he's just kind of flailing. Um but you notice the the skittering kind of starts to pick up. Yeah. The, the ambient skittering? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. I was worried this was going to happen. <laughs> oh, good. And you see oh, a few good. figures kind of crawling up from underside of the bridge, just making their way on the surface. Like, they're they're just now standing up, so that's their kind of turn, but you see them kind of coming in. And just looking around the space, you can see movement on all the, like, exterior walls. Mm. Mm. And it's a uh, coil's turn. Oh boy. All right. Cool. Gonna slash claw at this one. Yeah. This guy. Please, coil. Roll okay. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. 18. 18 hits. All right. That's Four. five plus two damage. Or seven. Yeah, you just claw through this little guy. Little to you. <laughs> um, and I can still move, yeah? Yeah. I think he's going to place himself here. Okay. And... Yeah. All right. Bailey. That's his turn. You are All up. right. Um, uh, the one right to the north of me that is still alive, yeah? Mm hmm. Can I. Guiding bolt it? You sure can. I have a can you, to can you make the attack at disadvantage for me? Sure. Uh, how do I. Can I. Hold on. Oh, no. There you go. There you go. No, 12, 12 just misses, unfortunately. So you, you shoot out this bolt and you thought you like you were directly pointed at it and your aim was like way off from what you were expecting. Like you, as your eyes kind of focus, you're like, why did I aim there? And you kind of like shake it off and readjust. Okay. Uh... I don't think I could do anything else. She just kind of looks a little confused and just confused. <laughs> oh no. Just confused. <laughs> Bailey's confused. All right. Anything else? Just confused? No, I don't think so, Dan. <laughs> just completely ignore, like everything in the battlefield just like goes out of focus and Bailey's just like staring at her hands. Yeah. Just, like, what? Yeah, she's just basically like, looking like it's what? right next to me. Like, what, what's happening? What did I miss. Trilby, oh. you are up. Oh. My heart. Um. Okay. Well, I think first of all, Scrubmans is gonna gonna uh, uh, hop over here and mm -hmm. go <laughs> and fire at the uh, that guy. Give it. Get, get that. Get that little boy. Yeah, he's, he's hopping around. Scrubmans. I love around. the idea of this little hopping bird just. <laughs> Flamethrower, like, just spewing it. It's yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just like a... <laughs> so that's, uh, the same thing as before. Oh, deck save? Yeah, deck save against my spell save, which is 14. Okay, he succeeds. But he still so takes, takes half. half damage of the, uh, where is it? The 2d8. 
which is a total of 11. Okay, he's he's still standing and smoldering. You can see like his fur is kind of curled and charred. He is he's he's just pissed. He's pissed at this little bird. <laughs> okay. Anything uh, else? And then Trilby will fire a crossbow bolt at him. Okay. Ah! 15 hits. <laughs> All right. <gasps> this is a big moment. Trilby, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Hey. Um, he was he wasn't really looking all the way. He's <laughs> he was kind of half paying attention. He just saw a blast of, fi of fire and just fired in that direction. I think I think you j as you shoot it, it just like kind of like stunt double falls off, like stands up straight, oh, falls Lord. into the uh, mm -hmm. the water. <laughs> Is it Wilhelm? Oh yeah, that's Wilhelm scream. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and it is dead. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. More thought. Oh, lordy. Um, okay, I will just immediately go for the last of the original ones standing. Mm -hmm. and the last just... of this group standing. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, and because Hobson's still right next to me, I can get sneak attack still. 14. 14 hits. Eight sneak damage and 6 piercing. Yeah, you... Cut through this guy. No ah, issues. Nice. He 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 was looking pretty rough. He can't even try to dodge, and you just pierce him on your blade. And uh, and then I'm just going to move a little bit closer to Gelneck and end my turn. All right, Hobson, you see the initial threat is gone, but you can see these hands starting to appear around the edge of the bridge that you're on. Uh, yeah, he's definitely terrified at that sight and is way too full of battle adrenaline to recognize that he's standing alone now. Uh, I think he tries to preemptively take a Eldritch Blast shot at the one kind of a diagonally closest to like uh, Trilby and Hobson both. Sure. Just to... And that is a... 17. I can't remember if there's a modifier on that blast, but it's... 17 to, hits. Like, to hit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then a... Let's see. It would have been a lot more than 17, actually, it's supposed to be. But it's just a five uh, damage. Five damage. You got it. Yeah, you, you pump into it, and it just kind of snaps its head back. And now I, you have its attention. <laughs> uh -oh. He immediately regrets what he's done. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Like, uh, -oh. uh, I think he now realizes, like, oh wait, like I, I could hear someone bleeding next to me a second ago, and I can't anymore. What happens? And then he <laughs> and realizes, oh no, he's by himself. So yeah, I think he like, just uh, impulsively, sort of like takes a step back closer to where friends are. Okay. Gelnek is up. Okay. Well, Gelnek is just going to come over here. Have no fear, small man. Gilnek will protect you. And is going to come So over fast. <laughs> and is going to do a uh, vicious mockery on uh, <laughs> on this little <laughs> dude over here. Ooh, wisdom save. Oh, now we now we got to hear this. Yeah. You, you hide in shadows for you are ugly. Boom boom. <laughs> it does like <laughs> a little make a wisdom. <laughs> it does like a little dog tilt to its head. And then just like start scampering towards you. Oh, oh no, I failed. Okay. He rolled uh, a natural 17, so. All right, yeah, all right. Oof. Ah, perhaps Gilnek will come up with better singer next time. Small man, don't worry. Gilnek believe in you. And I will give you a part of inspiration as well. <laughs> to uh, Hobson. Hobson does legitimately feel better. <laughs> yeah, all right. I think Hob Hobson sees literally everybody else in this party as like, higher status and better than him, so I think anytime he gets, like, comfort from these people, he's like, ah! Hey! <laughs> I did a good! <laughs> Alright, so, uh, they close in. One, two, three, four, five, eight, just enough! Oh, oh boy. There was one down there? There sure was. Oh, I didn't have my screen scrolled down enough. <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, no one got it. Where did that one go? I think one of them is in between there it is. the grid. Oh, that's that, that yeah, was the one. This one was supposed to be down here. That one, this one, yeah, doesn't exist. All right, so you, in 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 the middle of battle, you all can just faintly see more and more hands are starting to appear. We need to get out of here. Um, Quick, but, everyone, fight silently. <laughs> um, these two up here are going to swipe at Coil. Eighteen to hit. Um, yes, but I can use, um, my tail to, uh, as a reaction to, to add a 1d6 to my AC modifier. Okay. I'm, uh, I'll do that. D, wait. D8, sorry. Oh, I fucking rolled a <laughs> one. No! Oh. Does, it, does it still hit? So, yes, it hits. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. It hits for four damage. Okay. Well, um, I am raged. Is it what kind of? Oh, it's it's it uh, it's piercing. Flashing? So you take two. Okay. Two. Yeah. Um, and the other one is gonna swing at you. Uh, one. Does does the AC carry over for the turn or just that one attack? I don't know. It says so. If a creature you can see within ten feet of you hits you with an attack roll, you can use your reaction to swipe your tail and roll a D eight. I think Applying a bonus to your AC time. equal. So it's just on that one attack, probably? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Okay. So N16 wouldn't hit then? Uh, No, 16 would hit. 16 would? Okay. That one is for five yeah. damage. Okay. Or two, because you're raging. Awesome. Um, One on Morenthal? Uh, 19 and 18 to hit? Uh, yeah, yeah, they hit. Uh, four damage. And another four damage. And then Back one. down to single digits. Oh, boy. And then Gelnik. Does 14 hit? Oh, yeah, easily. Okay. Uh, for three damage. Oh. And that's it. Oh. Double leader. <laughs> Coil, you are back up. All right. Um, we're gonna we're gonna slash this boy with the claws. Actually, I changed my mind. He's he, he's getting he's getting pissed. So he's gonna pull out the great sword. Okay. Ooh. Now you've done it. Dog's pissed. <laughs> dog's mad. As it's falling off the bridge, just dog's pissed. <laughs> okay, I rolled a twenty-three. Yeah, 23 definitely hits. All right. So that's 7 plus 2 rage damage. Okay. You 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 heartily slice into this guy. Um there's kind of just like this white goo that connects to your sword as you pull it back and like part of his like clavicle is kind of split. But he's he's still standing. Yeah, it was a That's his turn, I think. Failing. Confused Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bailey kind of looks around and, and looks at her hands and then looks over at uh, this lad. I don't know how to. I don't know how to ping it. If you if I'm you have it. the cursor selected and hold click. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, this this lad. Okay. And she's gonna try again to to hit it. <laughs> With guiding bolt. Yeah. All right. Can you give me that with disadvantage? I. <laughs> I... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fuck. Thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen goes wide. You you shoot out a blast, and again you catch yourself like that's not where I aimed. You you know you didn't aim there. Baby's um, visibly distressed now. Like this is, she's not as much confused now as she is just worried, kind of like maybe paranoia setting in. Yeah. That something's going on here. And she yeah, kind of maybe a little around. late for me to say, but remember, you have your bardic inspiration. You could use it. Oh, you do. You do have inspiration, so you could. Uh, you could I add. Use that. 
So, uh, Bardic Inspiration, you can roll a d6 to add to any attack roll uh, as a reaction to add to your AC or any ability okay. check or saving throw. Yeah, I would love to do that. Just roll 1d6. Yep. And that will add to your attack roll. Oh. Hey. Nice. So, so that Six. 13 is now a 19. So you just you have this vision of you missing in a similar fashion, but you concentrate, focus, and the guiding bolt comes out true and hits into this beast. Uh, just like exactly how you would expect it to be. So you, you have, have a vision, vision of failure, and mm-hmm. then you hear the and sound of rock in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, failure! Wait a minute. Maraca's slowly getting louder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so like Not, today. Uh, Not today. Not today. Not today. Uh, that looks like it's, was that an eight? Mm-hmm. Eight damage. Imagine having four d6 and rolling eight. Anyways. <laughs> um, as, as you hit it, um, the kind of like flower buds that kind of bloom from the blast create this like glow of light around it. And it, it's these little small little white flowers that are like Almost giving it like a bullseye Aww. mark. Uh, so the next attack against that one has advantage. Oh, nice. Okay. Trilby, you are up. Which one was that? Uh, that, that was this, just got this corner one. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, I think um, Scrubbins is going to you know, hop around do a over hop? here and then do a okay. blast some fire onto that lad. Scrubbins is an expert tactician and realizes that Coyle's probably got things handled there, <laughs> up top. And more Scrubbins is, is on the case. Teeth Someone with, else has alarming. <laughs> There's an alarming number of teeth and blood gushing out of Morenthal's face. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Um. So that's the. Do you need the? What was it? Uh. Where's my stuff? Um. Okay. He he fails his save, so he just. The spell damage. safe is 14. And then the two are uh, D8s. Is six. Nice. Six damage. All right. Fire ignites and hits this little spider fella. Uh, he's 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 still standing, but you you definitely charred him. Oh, I'm I'm an I'm dumb. I'm sorry. I didn't give my inspiration to failure. I give it to coil. I'm sorry. I'll that's say oh, that's okay. it was it was uh, it was the fate. It was the the, the fates decided. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, I need to keep track of that. I, like I didn't think I had it, but you know, here we no, are. That's, like, that's, no, that's my mistake. The, no, you totally gave it to me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh. Actually, here, you know what? Here we're gonna do a thing. Failey, uh. roll an intelligence check. Oh no. Just one, sir. Just just an intelligence so check, no sorry. disadvantage. Okay. Uh, More like double liars. Oh my god, oh. nine. Nine. Yeah, you got no clue what's going on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. Okay. But okay. hit still happened. Everything still happened. You're just still confused, okay. Faye. Okay. If it's any consolation, double liars, very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Then, uh, uh, after that, mm-hmm. um, Trilby is going to r- rustle around in his many one of his many satchels and pull out um, Mr. Gubbins, the toy <gasps> elephant, and cast Ray of Frost onto uh, this lad here. Which one? Sorry, I, I was looking um, down. The, the one near Gelnek. Okay. Ooh. Is that a saver? Or... That is. I have no idea. It's just Ray of Frost. Um. Uh, spell description. So do, 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 eleven do. to hit. I so yeah, yeah, eleven to hit. Eleven to it, it. It pierces into it. Um, and it just maybe it's used to the temperature, or you just kind of nicked it. But it seems unfazed by it. You feel like you didn't get a direct shot. That's okay, Mister Gubbins. Or Mister Gubbins. Pat, pat, pat. Put him back in my pocket. <laughs> Does does Mr. That's Gubbins like animate when he shoots? Uh, no, he 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 is not sentient. He's just a, a, like a floppy toy elephant. Okay. Does That's... he shoot it out of his nose? 
Yes, his trunk. trunk. Absolutely. No. <laughs> I, I squeeze his thumb, and, it, and then his, his <laughs> trunk goes rigid, and the beam fires out. I love it. And his, like, front legs kind of splay a little. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it makes a little squeak noise. Perfect. Yep. Um, anything else, Trilby? That's it. All right, Morenthal. Okay. I'm going to go straight for the one right ahead of me. Mm -hmm. Um, Scrubbins counts as a, as a, as a, as a, as a target of the enemy, doesn't it? I feel like it. I'm going to say yes, because I, well, I like it. He can target Scrubbins, so I would say Yeah, he, he can, he can attack yeah. Scrubbins. Scrubbins has HP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sneak attack it is then. Mm-hmm. 13. Please tell me a 13 hits. 13. Don't say it doesn't, Dan. Just misses. No, no it doesn't. <laughs> but he's singed and, and stuff. He is singed. Doesn't that count for he something? He is singed. <laughs> it hits the fires going around him. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, I can't you, see you, where you, he is because the fire. You slice and it's like one of those uh, cool videos where they, they put out a candle just by like moving their hand quick and <laughs> you, you snuff out a few of the flames on his shoulder. Uh, well, in that case, I stand still in shame. <laughs> Do you look angrily at Scrubbins? <laughs> it says no, Scrub no. I, I I keep looking forward, hoping that everyone is preoccupied by the other ones that they didn't see that. Oh, and I'm sure. just like I'm 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 just sort of looking at Scrubbins with a look that sort of says, "Don't you dare tell <laughs> Trilby what just happened." <laughs> <laughs> this is between us, Scrubbins. You this you, you have us. lost a lot of blood. <laughs> You have lost a lot of blood. Oh, it, it, he doesn't care. He, it, it, <laughs> it's his, it's, it's his sort of. Uh, it's his pride. His, re yeah, exactly. Yeah. His pride's on the line right now. His reputation. S Scrubbins is blankly staring in multiple directions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Hobson, you are up. I think Hobson now inspired, like, uh, runs around Gelnick to help out and attack this uh, one right over here with another booming blade swing, and. So why not? We'll use the inspiration for it. You can you so can decide after the fact. Oh, that's so good if you, if you know you miss, you can roll it. And that's just as well. Uh, we'll be definitely using the inspiration because that's a eleven to the attack. Misses. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's do the inspiration. Does it just add five straight up, or do you like roll yeah, a d six? You roll a d six and it adds a d six. Okay. okay. Cool. Uh, all right. Then that's a five on top of it. So that's sixteen. That hits. Nice. Yay! All right, and the damage for that would be then uh, eight uh, eight damage to the attack and the booming blade effect on it, so it hurts if it moves. Okay, it's got that same glittery effect. Yeah. Anything else? So Hobson doesn't feel good or happy, but he does feel <laughs> a little you're, bit more like hitting. adrenaline's going, and he's just sort of like, "Yeah, I, I'm, I'm helping." <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, that is definitely it for him. All right, Gelnick, you're joined by Hobson. I'm joined by Hobson. I will uh, enjoy his presence and his willingness to participate like a true warrior. And I will take one of my maracas and beat down this single target of ours. Hapata! That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's a seven. <laughs> that is a seven, yes. Uh, you, you kind of bat him on the head, and you're like, wasn't hard enough. <laughs> mm, Gelnick must train muscles harder. Mm. Um, not that this would have helped, but I'm going to go around and flank the enemy so that, you know, Ooh. for future endeavors. Yeah. All right. That will be my, my turn. The lads go. Um, uh, I, I think uh, we'll, we'll do we'll do the two up here with a coil real quick. Um, a 16 and an 18 to hit. Uh, I'm going to try to swipe my tail again. All right. We're going we're gonna to try this roll again. It was a 1d8, right? Yeah. Fingers crossed. Oh, fuck it. It's a 2. So that's 15 plus 2. So oh, that so makes the 16 my arm, arm class 17. Okay, yeah. so only one hits. Uh, for four, which is two for you. All right. And the other one, I think the other one is like noticing Scrubbins now. <laughs> but he's um, small and powerful. Ooh, 22 on Scrubbins. 
Oh, that hits. Everyone, look away. <laughs> Four damage on Scrubbins. It, it's also Where's piercing. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if Scrubbins. I don't think that matters. Okay. No. Uh, how, where should I store his damage? I guess I just uh, write it down. Yeah, you can just write it. Just, uh, he said four damage? Four damage. Okay. Um, One on Morenthal. No. Uh, 16 to hit? It does. Four damage. You still up? I'm still up. Okay. <laughs> I'm and now. still standing. All right, and this one's going to kind of... Two of its arms come swinging at Hobson. One of them and goes for Gelnick. Uh, wow. Okay, they all miss. 12 doesn't hit either of you, right? Uh, 12 nah. does hit me. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, for five hits Gelnick. How dare! Um, and you see some lads start scuttling over. Lads, 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 lads. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you got some. I am one you got good, nothing to worry about. I am one good D6 roll away from bad times. Dan, why are there more of them? Listen. <laughs> Someone decided to knock something into the water below. <laughs> I don't know. Seems seems kind of bad though. Uh, it coils <laughs> seems up. Seems like. It keeps happening. It's weird. <laughs> Coil's turn. Is it Coil's turn? It Hold sure on. Is. Hold on. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Which is the one that Faley put the like? This corner one. This corner one. Yeah. All right. We're gonna do my best. Ugh, oh, it's a ten. Oh wait, I have bardic inspiration. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's why I thought I gave it to Faley, because I gave it, yeah, because I gave it to Coil, and I helped Faley with the things. That's why I thought. I there you go. Your, your, your <laughs> ruling. I yeah, I'm, I'm gonna allow it. I like it. Right. You're generous. <laughs> a three, so it's a thirteen. Oh, thirteen just misses. All right. Oh wait, you have advantage. Is it your? Yeah. So attack again. Do I? Yeah, because it's glowing. Is it you guiding bolt? Oh, yeah, because it's glowing because of Faley. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That means. Well, yeah. <gasps> it's a twenty-six, wow. a crit. That is a crit. <laughs> nice. All right. Too many things in D and D. There's so many things. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> just in one swipe, how how do you take this guy out? Um, it's like an overhead swing like just like straight down the middle from just head to full head split to toe. just yeah you split and each half kind of like curls in on itself and it's it's like um like a like a spray of that that white goo is kind of in both directions separating the halves goo Lovely. Um, and, and, and just as you do, like, the little flower petals that were left behind by Faley that were glimmering just kind of blow away in the non-existent wind. Anything else? Nope, that's it for him. Faley's up. All right. Um, it's still alive. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like, uh, I attacked this one last time, so I'm. Uh, Faley's ex extremely confused, has no idea what's going on. Uh, she decides that perhaps maybe there's something going on with this one. Mm -hmm. uh, even though she hit it last time and decides to attack this one instead. Just out of absolute confusion as to what's happening. Okay. Am I. Am I. Dan, am I rolling normally this time? What you doing? I'm using Guiding Bolt. 
Yeah, could you do that with disadvantage for me? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, just a, a quick modifier to what you're doing real quick. Um, oh, fuck me. Oh, no. Oh, no! It hurts! You wanna say what it was? <laughs> I got a 10, chat. And you could've yeah. gotten a 21. The other roll was a 21. The other roll was a 21. This time, you, 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 you thought you had shaken off this this weird bout of bad luck but as you go to aim you just overcorrect and you, you just launch it out like in this direction and you're you just you just kind of stunned at your own action Faye at this point is almost in tears um she's convinced no. that there's no. something else going on here how many spaces can i move uh your movement's 30 right so six she goes oh, no. back here. <laughs> no. She's absolutely terrified, doesn't know what's going on, uh, is genuinely thinking that there's someone here that's doing something that's that's causing this to her. So she just kind of goes in the back and leans against the wall and just is absolutely out of her, out of her little mind. Okay. Toby Caesar goes by and does the, like, open mouth, one finger raised. Uh, <laughs> Um, Truly, give More me a perception one. check, real quick. Oh, sure. Um, uh, where I would I could right here when I bam. Three. <laughs> Scrubbins is doing great out there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud. All right. They grow up so fast. <laughs> Scrubbins, it's you. I mean, Truly's turn. That's Scrubbins' turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, let's might be honest. Well be yeah, might as well just be yeah, Scrubbins. Yeah, let's be turn. honest. Um. Scrubbins is going to take a step to the left mm -hmm. and then a step to the, step right, to the right and put his hands on his hips and breathe fire in a straight line going down. <laughs> they both fail. <laughs> um, and well, it's it's a cone, but it's aimed, yeah, you know, yep. a little I, I, bit. I whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you know, I'm not blasting more than fire. Uh, I, will, I will roll as you guys being confident in battle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you didn't specifically say where that cone was. So. Ooh, looks like so you my just spell killed save... your friend. <laughs> so my spell save is 14. Yeah, they both failed. They both failed. Okay, here we go. Uh, two D8s. Come on. Nine. Nine damage? damage. Um, yeah. Okay. These rolls are okay. Uh, this first one, uh, the, the, the singe is kind of still on it, but this... Uh, oh, wait. I have that reversed. This one... <laughs> the front one, uh, the singe kind of catches the, the remaining fires on it, and it just kind of ignites the whole body as it kind of just panic runs and falls. Oh, on the scrubbits? No, no, <laughs> he, he runs out that way and just kind of falls. Um, and this one... He can't hit scrubbits, but he can fall on top of them. This one's looking rough, uh, the one that's further Okay. Uh, scrubbins goes, me, me. Good scrubbins. Mm -hmm. Anything for Trilby, though? Yeah, Trilby's gonna uh, grab that, um, uh, fuck, uh, what, what did I name him? Uh, Mr. Gubbins. I didn't write these down, I just know them for sure. Um, <laughs> Mr. Gubbins, fire another ray of bolt on this guy. Okay. Give me that attack. And bam, 11. You're great at 11s, but it does yeah, I miss. really am. <laughs> well, Mr. Gubbins, pat his head again. Ah, uh, it's, it's not Mr. Gubbins day. No, Mr. Gubbins. Ms. Maybe Mr. Tomorrow. Gubbins and Faley are having a rough one, huh? <laughs> having a real, real Mr. not Mr. Gubbins one. just like looks into Trilby's eyes, just like, like a look that says like, I did good, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you, you did good, buddy. You're doing your best, buddy. Morenthal, you are out. Morenthal spits blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's your turn. <laughs> That's my turn. Um, Please okay. kill this one. Uh, Please kill it. <laughs> Well, I don't get sneak attack with it, so we're just going to have to hope. I believe. So, here we go. Normal. No sneak attack. <sighs> For the love of... Please. 16 hits. 16 uh, does hit. For 10 nice. damage. You spear it, and it just falls limp. Okay. I as, as I sort of do, I sort of put a little bit too much weight as I... As I spear it and sort of lean on my sword a little. Mm -hmm. 
Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm not looking good, lads. Oh, oh, it does that thing like, so you know when like the spider like dies, it like you thrust in and it kind of like hugs you as its arms like reflexively. Yeah, yeah. And you just kind of shove it off. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, I'm gonna start trying to shuffle back this way because I'm. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get <laughs> any further, so I'm just gonna go back next to Trilby. Okay. You want some candy, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Hobson. Uh. Hobson, I think, just yells really loud and tries to bring that sword down on the head of this one right between T and Gelnick. Mm -hmm. and, and what the heck, let's just, let's just roll if, this way. It's if easier. they, for uh, Booming Blade, is it if they attack or only if they move? I think it's only if they move. Okay. Because, yeah, yeah. He's eventually, I think, I think once I'm level five, Booming Blade will do some more active immediate stuff, but for the time being, I think it's just if they move. Got it. Uh, but that's 16 to the attack roll. That hits. Fantastic. And four... Actually, technically, damage. you have advantage because you're flanking. Oh, yeah. That's a D&D &D thing. That is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> so you can you can do an attack again just to see if you crit, um, but 16 oh. hits regardless. Well, heck, why not? As long as we're having fun here. So close, but no. All right. So... All right, so... Which one of the damage rolls does We'll take, take the first one because that was the initial. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so four. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to give you the 19 because that's what would have happened with advantage. <laughs> Aw, kind of. Aww. All right, then eight damage then is what that one takes. He is Benevolent still standing. All right. I think I think uh, after taking that big swipe, uh, Hobson notices out of the corner of his eye, Morenthal half dead over there and just th thinks like, oh, God, <laughs> and tries to move over to be like in front of him a little bit. All right. Protecting Morenthal. Anything else? Uh, no, I think, I don't think so. All right. I think he's just confident, but still just very trying to not screw up now. Gelnek. I, uh, um, Gelnek is going to firstly look back at the dying Morenthal and just be like, Stinky Drow, you are not allowed to die yet. Gelnek has yet more things to teach you. Boom, boom. And I'm going to cast Healing Word at second level. Ooh. Uh, hey, what? Oh. First level. Hold on. I need to roll another d4. Oop. Seven. You heal for seven. <laughs> seven heals. Just back into double digits, lads. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my bonus action. Mm -hmm. And for my full action, I'm going to take a swing and attack at the, the, the this one. Yeah. Yeah, he's looking rough. 17, 17 hits. Papata, seven. You crush in. There's like that satisfying kind of crunch crack of its its yeah. like exoskeleton skull, and uh, it goes it goes down. I shake my I shake my maracas, and that'll be my turn. Okay. The lads. All right. Uh, we've got one on coil. Ooh. Two twenty ones to hit. Wow. Uh, I don't think. Well, if my if I roll really good on my tail. Yeah, if you if you roll really good, you can block one. Best out of three, okay. so. Let's Third go. One best. Fingers crossed. Let's go. No, I rolled a four. Oh. So my AC class is nineteen. Okay, so four and six, so two and three. So you take five total. Two. Okay. Um, Scrubbins. This one just kind of now is on all fours, walking on the, the floor, chasing after a little scrub and hops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, 17 to hit. It doesn't hit, right? Nope. AC 18. Nope. God damn. Um, just ups a little bit out of the way. This one behind He's not even paying Gelnick? attention. He's just looking at stuff. Uh, and you said 12 does hit? Yep. So <laughs> two hit. For four and four. Eight total. Okay. Oh, wait, they can move those six. I might be joining you, Morenthal. <laughs> and... 
No, no. Don't do that, Dan. No. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, actually, real quick, just everyone give me a perception check. Just a a friendly a normal. perception check. Normal perception. Gladly. God damn it. Five. Fourteen. Twenty seven. Are you shitting my dick? Nineteen. Okay. Nice. In this cavern, you do not see like the the walls are moving and when you look at them, it is because there are that many of these things kind of clamoring yeah. to reach you. Um Gelnick proposes we run. Okay. Not out of retreat, <laughs> but for future victory. Oh yeah, sure. Another day. So like good. So you look out and you see like on these walls here, they're they're kind of clawing against it because they can't go in the water, it looks like. Um, but you can see some of them disappear under the bridge, and that's right when they reappear on the sides here. We, I mean, there is something we could do. Because I was thinking it. I was like, if they can't go in the water. Coil is up. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> if they're not going to go in the water, there is one place very safe for us. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, no. He's made of metal. I don't think, I don't think Coral can <laughs> swim. Maybe it's shallow. This, river. He's just going to walk on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, you might be tall enough. How deep is it? Can we see from here, Dan? <laughs> I, it looks pitch black. I mean, it, it, it is. There's, I'm going to assume that's not going to be good then. All right. We're going to great sword this one. Uh, the one I can't. I don't know why. I, oh wait, here we go. This north, one. Okay. The north one. Yes. Oh, oh no! Eight does not hit. You have a plus All six. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> I know. I roll so bad. <laughs> Coils having a bad. Everyone's having a bad day. <laughs> having a bad one. Anything else for Coil? I do not think so. I think. Like, he maybe spares, like, a look over his shoulder when he notices that Faley is right back, just, like, in concern. But, like, he's he's just going to hold the line up here. Okay. Faley. Yeah. Give me a perception check. Okay. 18. As you start, like, uh, turning and tailing, you catch a little bit of light coming from an unexpected spot, and you look at the hand... Uh, that you drew the card from and like the three fingers that were singed are glowing this like deep red. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. But yeah, you have your turn. <laughs> um... Do yeah, that I'm just... I'm, I'm over there now. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> That's it. That is it. Bailey is is very panicked, doesn't know what's going on, kind of looking at her hand, looking at the rest of the group, and just backing up as much as she can. Okay. Uh, anything else? No. No? All right. Uh, Truby's up, then. Mm-hmm. Is there, um... A, a, a conical shape that allows Scrubbins to hit all three of these lads. Um, I would say if you stand here, that would that would hit Maybe. and just and just kind of just kiss Coil a little, fire, not like not here. directly. Just, just yeah, just uh, just, just a little just like barely, singe. Just yeah. kiss the shoulder. All right, it's called a wacky cone. It's a wacky cone in that kind of northeasterly kind of direction. <laughs> Coil can hold the great sword up as a shield. Yeah, see, I, I think <laughs> I feel like that hits. Yep. All right. Um. So that's fourteen for spell save DC. Uh, one saves. The the north one saves. All right. And here's the damage. Eight. <laughs> eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, rolling two d eight and getting an eight. All right. It's better than a six. Uh, this one. Burst into Sweet. flames. Uh, this one looks relatively untouched before. 
um, mm-hmm. Scrubbin's attack. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Um, um, and then and, as for Trilby himself... Oh, and then that sorry. one takes uh, four, right? Sorry. Yeah, if it was half. Yeah. Oh, bad. He's still standing? He's still standing. <laughs> I'm still standing. Uh, as for Trilby, he's looking over at Mornthal, who is standing. Mm-hmm. And, um... It'd be hard for us to call it standing, but... <laughs> slumped over. Yeah. Is Mornthal using Trilby as support to keep standing, or or is that... Is he... He's too prideful He really for that. should be, but he doesn't want to. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I'm going to pull out my bag of lifesavers and cast Cure Wounds for Morenthal. Um, at, uh, bup. You heal 10. Oh. Nice. Thank you. You have have a lifesaver, Morenthal. I'm just going to begrudgingly take it. <laughs> <sighs> I think that's it for Trilby. Thank you. Okay. Morthal. You're feeling a little better. Feeling better. <clears throat> Nearly back at full health. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I don't think leaving this room back the way we came is going to save us, y'all. Because <laughs> I think they're just going to keep following us. Yeah. We, we, we probably we would need to here block off. We did also come here for a mission. I think we only have... Well, we have two options, but I think we only have one option. Mm-hmm. We've got to jump. Jump? we got to jump. I'm going to... Or you can jump. <sighs> well, that that's what I've been thinking about this. While I'm waiting for it to get back to my turn, I'm like, I'm not sure I want to jump. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I know what Morinthal wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to immediately just say that we need to. Running back is not an option. We need to go in the water and then just run immediately off the edge and jump into the water. Okay. <laughs> um, Give me a acrobatics check or athletics. Let's go acrobatics because that's, that's got a six in it. All right. 22 baby um as you jump down um you you land on solid ground in the water it's only about three feet deep but you don't take any damage i'm gonna relay this information back up (laughs) immediately also it, it, it looks like it's about a 15 foot drop from the the side here okay so do I take any damage? Oh, no, no you, you, you... In acrobatics, that'd be pretty... Braced yourself. Yeah. I'm just going to immediately, like, mainly thinking of Coil, just relay that it's only three feet deep, and you really all should get down here now. Why is it better down there? They're not here. Yeah. Wouldn't they already be in the water if, we, if I was down here? Give me, they, give me a quick they're all perception on the walls check. and on the ceiling and everywhere. <laughs> give me a perception check, Morinthal. 21. You Net you 20. notice as soon as you dump, jump down here and splash, um, a few that are climbing on this side of the wall take note of it and start slowly putting limbs into water. <laughs> how, do they, how enthusiastic do they feel about that? Too? I mean, not, but you're pretty close, so I think they'll do it. I think it's still the best idea we've got. <laughs> I'm not going to be able up. to get back up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna. I, I. I guess that would be the end of my turn then. Well, you you just you jump down, so that was your movement. So you you can still action. <sighs> okay, in that case, um, I'm gonna pull out my short bow. Mm-hmm. and try and shoot at one of the ones that just got in the water. Okay. Give me that. Uh, f- 14 for 8 damage. 14 hits. Hit. And it kind of loses its grip and splashes next to you. Um, but it 
it kind of writes itself and stands. But you do have an arrow sticking out of it. Oh, that's good. And then that would be the end of my turn. Okay. Hobson. This is going mm. great. This is going great, guys. This is going great. <laughs> right? <laughs> Remind me, is team. is the east side over here, is this where we came from this, originally? Yes, or are we this is where you okay, came we're from. Push back. And, gotcha, gotcha. and over here okay. is the direction the dowsing rod was pointing. Right. Hmm. I think Hobson moves over to the ledge but does not jump in. Uh, and fires an Eldritch Blast over at uh, the one near Coil here. Okay. Uh, which is a 17 to hit and four damage. Another Wilhelm and- scream. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Let me just. There we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Out of this spider really should mouth. Add Wilhelm. I really yeah. should add Wilhelm it's, someday. Uh, yeah. So, like, it shouts down to Morenthal. How deep is it? Uh, 15, 15 feet, right? It's a 15 foot drop, 15. but it's only about three feet deep foot of water. Drop. 15 foot drop, three feet deep water. Cool. Am I riding on your shoulders? <laughs> if it gets you down here, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and Hobson, I think, I don't think Hobson's brave enough to make the jump yet. He's just sort of like sitting on that edge, sort of like a, yeah, mm-hmm. like just trying to decide whether to jump or not. And that's probably <laughs> where he leaves. His, he's, that's how he's been the next six seconds. So trying to psych himself up. It's like <laughs> trying to, running to the edge go, and then stopping and then walking away. I got this. Yeah, totally. Like, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. You little, can do it. Yep. It's a little kid on a diving board for sure. Just like, yeah, no, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How tall is Hobson? Uh, like two feet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah three real, feet real would be a rough look. time. <laughs> All right. Not great fighting conditions for, for a Hobson. No, nope. not mm-hmm. great. Gelnick, you're up though. Okay. Gelnick believes, uh, believes part of what Stinky Drow says. Only way is forward, but Gelnick not doing Stinky Drow stinky plan. And, uh, <laughs> I'm going to just bop this one. Okay. With my uh with my mace. Give it a bop. Give it a bop, hopefully to take care of it. 22. Nice. Woohoo. 3. 3 is just enough to seal okay. the deal. All right. And then take the maracas, point it like towards this direction. Forward. And then I'm going to start running. Okay. See. Uh, bu- 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 30, 30 feet. There we go. Just stepping on all the. It, it, it like does the like, like kind of picking up his legs like higher to not step on the. Goo- yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, limbs. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Move this guy. Oh, did I move the wrong one? There we go. Move back. There. That'll we go. be my turn. All right. So Gilnick starts dashing forward. Uh, the the lads are up. Wait, I need to attack first. Um, okay, one on no, no. coil. Uh, fourteen to hit. Nope. They misses. that one misses. Uh, Scrubbins. No. Sixteen to hit is miss, right? Uh, bu- 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 bu. sixteen is his AC. No, his AC is eighteen. Okay. Sorry. So yeah, just no, no. still chasing after this little tiny bird. Um, He's pecking at a little pebble on the ground, and it just barely misses him. I think this one starts to wade in and gets just close enough to you. Um, uh, 18 to hit. 18 does it. For four. Uh, the other two miss. Unless 12 hits, but I don't think so. No, 12 does not hit. Okay. Um, and they start uh, moving. How tall are they again? About six feet. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting an image in my head bad. The image is bad. It's a bad image. Cool. No. No. It's Neat. gonna keep happening until we get out of here. Alright. You you see more and more finally making the trek across the walls up onto the top of the bridge. Um, 
and coil is up. Um, I think he's gonna slash at that one to the west. Yeah. Twelve. Oh no. Wait. Twelve does that hit? Damn it. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Coil. <laughs> I feel so bad for all of you. you miss it. Everything, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's gonna happen. Um, are you doing Nothing's any movement? Um. I think he'd, he'd suffer two attacks of opportunity if he moved at this point, right? So. It depends where you not. move. Like, if you stay in combat with one, only one would be able to mm -hmm. swipe. Mm -hmm. mm, I think he's too... He's, he's he's too in the mindset of, like, holding this line to keep keep them from coming back here, so I don't think he would move. Okay. At least until, like, these two were, were down. Alright. Then, Faley, you are up. Did uh, Faye hear when Morenthal was calling to jump down? Oh yeah, like you, any anything said in here is very easy to hear. Like it echoes enough in the corridor, even amongst the skittering and screeches. All right, and I can't see HP of the furnace, right? Uh, like on on our interface here. Correct. I like I will allow you to ask, be like, hey, is anyone? Cry low? if you're hurt. <laughs> Cry if you're hurt. <laughs> Yeah, that cries like wee baby that has not eaten in all day. <laughs> Am I too far from Gunnak to, um, let me see how the range is for Cure Wounds? I think Cure is touch, but Healing Word is like 60, cure right? Touch, healing yeah. Word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. You said Healing Word is 60. Okay, so I should be able to do that. All right, I would like to cast Healing Word on uh, Gunnak. All right. So that's your bonus. Yeah. thanks you very much. <laughs> um, but also, it sounds like maybe he's very hurt. Uh, so <laughs> uh, let me roll the chalice. Uh, it's actually that's thirty. Um, that won't be him. <laughs> oh, the chalice only reaches thirty feet. Yeah, how hurt is Hobson? Oh, Hobson's fine. You go, you also have your oh. full movement too, if you want to. You could also move, yeah. Move yeah. and adjust. I was going. I wanted to move to down where Warrenthal is. So. Um. All right. I'm going to move. Is it extra to hop down? Uh, it will count as one space of movement, but to if you if you want to land, we'll do a athletics or acrobatics check. Safely. I would, I would definitely like to land here. All right. So you, you come running down, you do a jump. Go ahead and give me uh -huh. an athletics or acrobatics check. At disadvantage? <laughs> no. Athletic or acrobatics? Mm -hmm. Both. Whichever you want. Great. Cool. Very oh. cool. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> two nines. <laughs> they were both nines. Uh, so you do take one point of damage as you fall and kind of like land a little awkward on your ankle. Then also heal. Quite, quite taking any damage, like a significant amount. You do, uh, you do see a rather I'm... bloody lad right next to you. <laughs> oh, I'm not too yeah, bad. Oh okay. no. Yeah, okay. he's okay I'm, now. I'm, he's after okay. after my my lifesaver. He's... Oh, that's right. Actually, my lifesaver. I can okay. I can reach Fennec right now. So I wouldn't I will, say I'm I'll... great, but I'm. Yeah, you're I can fine. Survive I'll, two I'll attack, two it. attacks, it's fine. I think. All right. <laughs> oh, one d8. Hold on one second. Uh, plus nine wisdom modifier, so that's a nine to gun it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you for an additional nine, you kind of throw the, the little like. looks actually a little surprised that she managed to do anything. Yeah, like as as you kind of like, I imagine you probably like throw 
some of the like bud constellation design and it kind of just like like cherry blossom falls over to uh Gelnick and it, it it's exactly as you you would expect yeah she's she sure is <laughs> all right anything else no that's it all right Trilby you got two friends all in right. the water you sure do yeah Trilby's having a time because he just gave Morenthal a piece of candy, and then Morenthal ate it and immediately sprinted <laughs> off the cliff. <laughs> Trilby's so Trilby's like, yeah, he's like, uh huh, and then sees that like Gallic's charging off ahead. People are jumping off, and he's like, well, uh, first of all, um, Scrubbins is gonna do a kapow in a in a cone to try to hit these two. Okay. Here, if that is agreeable. Yeah, he can do a little hop back, so maybe put him one north. Sure. Uh, whoop, wrong thing. Take a little, little hop back and then pow. beep 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 beep. One does swipe at you, so that... but it misses. Sweet. <laughs> He's very small. He's a very small little bird. Yeah. Um, if it hits, it's nine damage. Boy, these rolls have just been super. <laughs> yeah, good feet. Uh, okay. <laughs> and let's see. Glad someone's getting good rolls. Well, I, mean, I, I that was kind of sarcastic. I rolled a seven and a two. <laughs> okay, I haven't gotten like anything. That's this one, good. the it's fire, all, like in the middle, that was already on it, kind of continues to spread. Uh, and he just kind of flails wildly as he turns into a burning corpse. This one looks pretty freshly damaged, gotcha. pretty untouched. Um, as for Trilby, um, he's made up his mind. He's not jumping off of a cliff. Um. But he is gonna cast uh, Expeditious Retreat, <laughs> which doubles his movement. Very He's nice. He's ready to get the hell out of there. Uh, that takes the form of him pulling up both of his socks. <laughs> 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 and he is going to uh, zoom the hell out of here. Um, Cause I can go up to, up to 60 now. Mm -hmm. Can he pick up Scrubbins as he runs past? Um, I will allow it. You okay. kind of give him a little scoop. So he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna pick up Scrubbins and then land there. So they're just, he just whoop. All right. He's just like, I'm ready to get the hell out as of you, here. As you, as you kind of pick it up from Scrubbins, you see like that one kind of makes a claw with its back hand, but Scrubbins is already gone. Mm-hmm. Let's get out of here. All right. That's my turn. Morenthal. Uh, I'm just gonna check, look behind me and see Faley and is, check the Faley's okay before swiping again at the one that's in front of me. Let's, let's give it the old college try. 16 to 16 hits. 16 hits. For five damage. Looking rough. You poke Looking a hole rough. and a little, a little bit of that white ichor kind of spills out into the water. Uh, mm. I'm also just gonna sort of the direction of the water. Um, how's how's the path looking from here? So to give you an idea, um, this give me that idea, Dan. The 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 area that's this color is forming the bridge. So basically, mm -hmm. any of the rocks along like the sides here are actually there for you. Like this is still a pillar in the water. Um, mm -hmm. but you can move anywhere under here, basically. Uh, how's the walls looking? Is there any any sort of exit outside of the walls, or is it? Um, you can see it kind of nothing curls up here, and you can see the remnants of that the the blasting from the uh, previous miners. Okay, I'm going to just gesture in that direction to to Faley and sort of so try and <clears throat> re relay all this up to everyone. Sort of like, hey, the the path forward. <laughs> Kind of, we we have an opportunity to get out of here, <laughs> and then I'll end my turn. You're not gonna move? No, I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna wait for everyone to jump down first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're all jumping down. I think down. we should stick together. <laughs> 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 all right, Hobson's up. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think especially now that Hobson has seen well, her double leader command move along the bridge and also seen Trilby sprint at unnatural speeds <laughs> across <laughs> that bridge. I think Hobson has decided which like which plan sounds better to Hobson. Is this one here, is this elevated or is it down below in the water? He he's he's kind of looking directly at Coil. He's he's right on your level. Gotcha. The, okay. The only I, ones I, that are below are these two right now. Okay. In that case, I think Hobson moves over here next to Coil and and tries to attack this one here and tries to start moving further down the bridge. Feels a little bit bad leaving the other two down in the water, kind of increasingly surrounded though. So he's like he's his his heart's not in sprinting quite yet, but he is going to go attack this one here though. Okay. So see, just just with the sword and hit. Seventeen for five. hits for five. That is just enough for that one. Yay. Nice. You just slice into him. Um, anything else? I'm you... not sure about the water, guys. <laughs> Do you want a rope? Um, <laughs> the, the, at the mere suggestion of a rope, I'm just going <laughs> to stare at the wall that is covered with those things that are climbing up. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to continue your movement or stay there? I think. Ah, good point. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think Hobson will move one further, still sticking near Coil, just ensuring that like this last one here gets taken care of, so okay. that we can all keep kind of moving. All right, Gilnick, you are up. You see some folks joining you. Uh, tribe stick together, tribe stick together, sky. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> just like seeing that more than just the stinky drow has <laughs> dropped down there. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. What do you, what do you, <laughs> I'm open to opinions here. Hmm. I think this Does is going Morenthal great. have a plan? <laughs> Run. <laughs> well, I would I would prefer running up here because here seems more safe, but you guys can't come up here anymore. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Gelneck audibly yells out in frustration. Ah, we must help Stinky Drow. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna dash, like like he he's like running this direction, and then he like skids to a stop, groans, and then I'm gonna dash so that doubles my movement. That's gonna be my full action. And actually, I don't need to. That's 30 feet, so I'm not gonna dash. I'm gonna hop down and uh, just in frustration. Ah! drop down and I'm going to cast shatter on like this area right uh, here. Why is my thing black? It shouldn't be black here. It's hard to see. Like It's a bit dark down here. here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very dark. Uh, boom, right there. Okay. Uh, is that how big? No, shatter is 10 feet, but it, it's able to catch uh, the other one as well. Gotcha. And shatter. Papa. Can you can you link the spell for Shatter? Yes, I can. Uh, boop boop. They both fail. Oh, that's good. We have some pointier choice. A sudden loud ringing noise, which sounds like maracas. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. Um. So yeah, both of them fail. Uh, so they take 14 thunder. Yep. As, uh, Gelneck, like, hops down and, like, a not a superhero landing, but, like, a squat as he lands, and then, boom, boom, hits both sides of his drums. Okay. Um, you see the one in front of you just, like, kind of indent in its, like, exoskeleton, and it kind of just falls backwards limp. Uh, the one that's climbing on the wall loses its grip and splashes in, but starts to right itself 
Um, you notice as you do this like loud, kind of ear shattering burst in this spot, um, a few of them on the wall nearby temporarily like halt their presence and just watch and then start to move forward again. Hmm. Like there's a there's that a moment of hesitation not... on a few of them on the wall. Ooh. Anything else? Mm, I'm going to use my last bardic inspiration on Morenthal. Stinky Drow better have proper plan or else Gelneck is going to come through afterlife and kill you second time. <laughs> plan, 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 <laughs> plan, plan. And that will be my turn. Okay. You have a bardic inspiration. You've got a D6. Use it wisely. Just for funsies, how tall is Geldek? Gelneck is like three feet tall, so he's at like waist height. So, so tall. he's like on <laughs> <laughs> through the water. <laughs> yep, <laughs> just, your, your, staring your head's straight up, just the very top of his face. <laughs> yeah. Very good, very good. All right, uh, this one starts to kind of. You, you notice as soon as they dip into the water, um, you can see they're visibly slowed just because of waist high water impeding their movement. Um, but he's going to come up to Gelnek. Uh, 13 and a 13 to hit. Yep, yep. Uh, four and four. Um. Uh, this one on coil. Uh, 119 to hit. Uh, I'm going to swing my tail again. Swing Wish me tail. luck. Two. So that's the 17. <laughs> yes, it hits. Uh, yeah. Uh, so for four, so two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, How you doing on that trophy? Yeah, I'm doing real good. <laughs> doing real, doing real good. All right. Um. I think it's going well. And it's going great. One kind of climbs up from this like break in the bridge in front of you, Trilby. Um, but it's oh, it's good. still pulling itself up. Um So that is their turn. Saren. What's Coil doing? What that dog be Coil's doing? gonna desperate <laughs> the dog's gonna Hmm. Can Okay. Can Coil grab Hobson away from this one and just like put him on his shoulders? <laughs> uh, does Hobson just like on one arm? I think Hobson would be more surprised than anything, so he'd just be sort of like ah, <laughs> and he'd be grabbed. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, you you can easily pick up Hobson. Okay, give, give Hobson. Up Do again. I still get an attack, or is that my just like my whole action? I'll say that's like. Part of we'll, we'll say that's your bonus action because that's you're you're a giant warforged. It's not a big thing for you to okay. pick up a halfling. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like you still have most of your round to go. Okay, okay. He's gonna just like out of spite, like slash at this one uh, because he's missed so many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he missed again. No, and he just huffs. He just huffs in frustration, and um, he is going to. Oh God! Okay, he's gonna t he's gonna take the the attack of opportunity with Hobson on his shoulder, and he's gonna run for Trilby as well. Okay. So let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, he can make that. Okay. Right here. I'm gonna keep sizing this thing to be incorrect. I don't know how I do it, but I'm good at it. <laughs> trying to make sure chat can see everything okay um mm -hmm. so yeah they 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 will take retaliatory swipes both of them miss though they just psh. And one, yeah. one goes at hops and as you kind of scoot them up and then one comes for you and both miss in a as a total hypothetical because i don't think this is, should actually be a thing like what would happen if you if someone big wielded someone small 
as a weapon who happens to have armor of Agathis <laughs> on them at the time. I would uh, allow it, but your the said <laughs> weapon is also going to take damage. <laughs> I mean, I assumed so. I was just like, I had the thought of, that I couldn't get it out of my head. I was like, what would happen? Yeah, anyway. I, I, I totally for using a half leg as a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would never. <laughs> <laughs> uh anything else for coil um yeah i think i think he's used all his actions all right he's good Feely, you're in the water with gelnick and more yeah uh against my better judgment um can i try to attack this lab with guiding bolt you sure can a disadvantage, At right? disadvantage, because though, yeah. Because fuck me. All right, cool. Got it. Um, <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. I Listen, I'm not doing this to you. 16. Hey. 16. 16 hey. hits. Hey. Yes. Yay. Oh, yay. Yay. Yes. As, as you readjust your hand, you, you catch yourself multiple times, like your arm going in a direction you're not telling it to. You give a kind of like calm breath, recenter. Mm -hmm shoot the blast and it just pierces through this like arachnoid body and as the little like flower petals uh bloom on it to ignite it or, or to to light it up you see it's just like floating in the water okay hypothetically that's it, that's it. should should i i'm speaking speaking logistically <clears throat> this is purely hypothetical would it be smart for one of us to pick up Gilnick? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's two of you standing, and then one of you like. Nicole. <laughs> I'm just. I'm. I'm just. I'm just saying. It I might be. I, be Gelnick would not mind it, as it would be a strategic okay, yeah, advantage. I. I will pick up Gelnick. Okay. Okay. What if What if he stands on each of your shoulders, so he's like, you know, one shoulder on one, Ooh, yeah. one shoulder on the other, he does, and he's we, we, we stand we slightly apart, and he does the Van yeah. Dam split between us. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the the skiers standing in a tower. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll pull him up. I right. like doing a Van Dam split is a hell of a vision. Truly. That's, that's great. Hey, um, you are joined by so, so, Dog and Hobson. So yeah, so Trilby was was going like blah, 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 zooming through, mm -hmm. and then screeches to a halt, and is like, no one else is going this way. And then Coil comes barging over with with Hobson. Um, what are we doing? Are, should we keep running? Should we go back? What are we? We need to join them. We got we got it, don't we? Yes. Oh no. Okay. Um. Uh. Uh. Huh. Um. Hey, how high is your constitution saving throw? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty is, good. You got a pretty good one? Okay. I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Coil, give me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> All right. It's gonna push these boys back to the hits. Yeah, Coil is just like, <laughs> yeah, you're just fine. air hitting you. I also only rolled an 11. Well, for damage, though, that's still pretty good. They put, get pushed back 10, right? Uh, yes. Yep, yep. All yep, right. Yep. Um, and I'm assuming that, that Scrubbins is fine. I, like, put him in the palm of my hand. I think Scrubbins is, like, part of you and your spell casting, so I think it, it, it would not, like, be affected. Uh, for the record, uh, 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 Thunder Wave is Constable Bulwark's my toy horse. Oh, <laughs> and, how do, and how does this work? Um, he he looks he's like a little like a, a miniature rocking horse, and I set him down on the ground, and it kind of rocks back and forth, and it creates like a friction <laughs> that then builds into a massive blast of energy. Excellent. And I picked it back up. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Once again, what was that name again? Uh, Constable Bulwarks. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Incredible. Um, all right. Well then, I'm gonna grab um, Scrubbins, and. Uh, we're, we're, we're zooming, we're zooming this way, I think. All right, you still have Expedition Retreat, right? I sure do. All right. Which means I can go, I can go, like, way, <laughs> just in one turn, just <laughs> zoom further than any, like, 
Yeah. Am I going over here? Like, what the? I, I, I don't know. To the west I, was the where the other entrance was, right? Mm-hmm. But do we want to meet up with everyone, or do we want to have them catch up to us? You can move very fast. What, I can move Trilby? very What's fast. What's Trilby feel? What would Trilby do? Yeah, what would Trilby do? I Coil think Trilby's looks looking like, to Coil. Coil looks like he's about to pick him up. He just didn't quite get there fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's, it's the hand heading towards the screen meme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But well, that's the case. Maybe Trilby just just stays put, and it's like I trust Coil to make this decision. <laughs> Real Roid Runner vibes. Yeah. You just just to give you an idea, you would think that if Coil carries both of you, it would probably impede their movement to some degree. No, that's a fair point. Yeah, he's Trilby's not, not, do it not anyway. as small as Hobson. <laughs> um, but it is Trilby. Coil, if you were if you were to pick me up, which way would you start running? Um, he, he points, like, this way, like, into the, like, off the, the edge, but, like, All between right, these two. Alright, see you down there. Whoop! Alright. <laughs> Alright, give me an acrobatics or athletics check. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to hear a massive um, splash. Acrobatics. 18! Oh. Okay! Oh, okay! okay. You, you, you come down and, and catch yourself, and you, you don't slip on any of the, the wet rocks underneath you or anything. And you write yourself no damage. I'm going to say that he lands here because mm -hmm. he landed, but still had so much momentum from running. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's not yeah. used to moving this fast. <laughs> and he just kind of like slams into the wall a little bit. Do you continue um, moving while you're down here? Uh, yeah, he does a little panic circle just because he has so much extra movement and he doesn't know how to spend it. Mm -hmm. So he just, like he Mario just out of lava. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You, you get the feeling as you, as you land and start to move down here, it's kind of hard to move in waist deep water, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ma so maybe yeah, you're not is. as fast as you thought you once were. Mm hmm. I do still have 60 feet of movement or whatever. You so. sure do. And at least half of it getting down there. But yeah, yeah, sure. Anyway, All right. I'm, I'm here now. Um, Morenthal, you're up. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to assume that I heard Trilby fall and, well, jump, not fall. Uh, and you, you can you can see truly enter the water. Okay. Fall with style. I'm immediately going to just start walking over to Trilby. So, oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, give me uh, a strength check. You had to say strength. Didn't mm -hmm. you? Actually, well, this would be athletics. This is a good athletics moment. I I I, okay, I, I need okay. to settle oh. on athletics. <laughs> <laughs> 19. 19. You, you, even with the damage you've taken, you're limber enough to kind of like hop out of the water and keep your movement unimpeded. So you can move your so full 30. So I can 30 still feet. move my full 30. Yes. Okay, in that case, I'm going to go right over here and start heading towards Strawberry. Okay. And the exit. <laughs> Anything Hopefully. else? Sort of just, just should have failed to come over this way. Um, Does it look like any of the creatures are heading towards either Faley or Trilby. Absolutely. Or have they not fully noticed them? <laughs> of course. But of, course of course they have. Yeah. Um, as, as, as soon as they see like uh, Trilby drop down, those ones that were on the ceiling, like start heading back to the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, how close are the ones to Faley? Um, The closest one would probably be like 25 feet at this point, uh, coming back down from this cliff. I feel like I could shoot an arrow at it. Sure. <clears throat> I should probably keep a track of how many arrows I have left. That would be smart. Um. Okay. Uh, let's take a take a take a shot. Twenty three for six damage. Twenty three and six hits. Okay. You okay. you pierce it. It keeps its grip and keeps skidrin' down. Damn. Hobson. Okay, end of turn. Well, let's see. Hobson's being carried. How is Hobson being carried, by the way? Just like over the shoulder, under an arm? Like, <laughs> um, it's kind of like. Do you know how Rabon holds like Nanamo, like in his like on his like arm? 
Hell yeah. Just kind of <laughs> like that. I love it. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, now Hobson's definitely like fully trust Coil and this is not moving anywhere, but we'll try to like has figured out that okay, we're doing water then and decides to try to at least help out just like a little shoulder turret. So fires an elder blast at this thing to try to give us a nice clear path toward nice. this good idea. Uh and yeah, fires. 23 to hit. Hits. But it only two damage. Only two damage. So it, it does get back up, but you, you bought some time. <laughs> I helped. I love that you <laughs> described it as a shoulder turret. Yeah. <laughs> like a like a predator shoulder turret. Yeah. <laughs> it, if, if the shoulder turret could feel fear. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Now that's now that's a movie I'd watch. <laughs> predator, but the shoulder turret gets scared. <laughs> Yeah, That's the full title. Predator having an argument with the turret as it shakes on its shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, like, cops are just fully like, okay, yes, you're in charge and I'm here to help. Let's let's go. All right. Gilnick, you are up. Okay. Uh, since I'm being held by Faley, uh, how are you holding Gelnick? Like a, like, under the armpit? Just like a, I don't know, like a cannon? I actually kind of just envisioned tossing you up or like one leg around each side of my neck like a child oh like a, like, <laughs> like piggyback, yeah, okay. piggyback. Mm -hmm. yeah aha gilnick now has the high ground <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly this will be what good trust for. exercise <laughs> you will be gilnick's legs they, they just gilnick nods. is putting utmost faith in directions <laughs> and um I am uh, just gonna use uh, another shatter to clear the way up here, just like boom boom on my uh, okay on my drums, just like where I hear the skittering. To yeah, I think you, I think you see that. just enough because you have uppies um, that you can clear out that <laughs> blast. <laughs> How does that uppies work in five? Strategic e? uppies. Up, strategic <laughs> uppies. Yeah. yeah. It, so, was it, is a, it is a 10 foot radius, so I'll put it like point here so it'll reach those two and not my allies. They both fail. Nice. For 13? Mm hmm. 13 thunder damage. Ah. Nice. I keep, I keep selecting the wrong thing. <laughs> As, as that ringing goes out, you see like all four of their arms kind of clutch the side of their head and they just they fall and collapse. Eventually, I'll remember how to do this the first click. <laughs> thanks for <laughs> thanks for being patient with me, Chip. Um. Okay. Anything else? Nope. That'll be all. All Come right. Allies, the pathway is open. The path is open. The hatches are open. Um. <laughs> Get up onto the Hydra's back. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there there's a Hydra. <laughs> Just look at the wall and there's three of them on top of each other. Kind of looks like a hydra. <laughs> Boil! Boil! Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Um, and these mm -hmm. three are gonna make an attack. I'll one of them is going for Hobson on the shoulder. Nat 20 on one of them. Uh-oh. Probably hit, yeah. Yep. <laughs> can, that is... can I tail swipe for, for Hobson? <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it, but you also have two coming for you. Okay. Actually, it's, your a, health, it's, a, it's a crit, so it would hit regardless. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, never mind. I mean, my health is fine. Okay. And also, they have ten less than before. Uh, So that hits you for six. Uh, okay. And then Coil. Oh! Uh, does 14 hit? No. First one misses all of them. Second one hits with a 20. If you... Ooh. So you can... You can I'm, chance it. I'm at... hey! Seven. So that's 22, right? 22 AC, yeah. All right. So yeah, you, you, you swat away. It's a little, like, daggered claw. Um, just in time and take no damage. Um, that is their go. Coils up. 
Um, okay. Uh, Coil's gonna take Hobson and 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 run. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go this way. Beautiful. I can't grab Hobson, so here we go. I will. Hobson will join you. <laughs> um, <laughs> give me a athletics or acrobatics, and Hobson, give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Eighteen athletics. Uh oh. <laughs> hmm. Uh oh. Okay. As you, as natural you, one. One. <laughs> natural one, yeah. Um, as you land, you lose a little bit of footing, so Hobson just kind of like splashes it in the water. But because you're tiny, it's yeah, it's you just hit the water, like it's not enough to damage you. But you are off the shoulders right now. All right, and also right. underwater now, right? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine can Hobson swim? I mean, probably. Yeah, yeah he's probably fine. I'm sure he's oh, fine. Good, good. <laughs> He's not, um, he's not like an amazing swimmer, but he's not really amazing at anything, but hes he knows how to swim enough to not die in water for a little bit. And I imagine, like, Coil, as you come down, like, you don't even need to do the, like, superhero or brace. You just kind of stand straight up and <laughs> take no damage. It's just, like, yeah. dropping a rock. Like. Uh-huh. Boom, oh, Coil's so cool. All right. Bailey. <laughs> Coil does the cool land, like, yeah. and Hobbs is just, yeah. Splash. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, no. I dropped my halfling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I, I'm i going to try to get closer to them. Um, have, am I, like, my movement impeded at all by having... You can, you can try to uh, kind of lift up your knees and, and, and get further movement if you would like. If you want to make an athletics check. Well, I meant by having a little lad on my shoulders, but... I don't think that would impede your movement. I think it would impede if you, like, use yeah, your the... shoulders for something. Because I, I would say with uh, with Gelnick and Hobson being small, as as long as you're okay. a bigger size, I, I don't see that as, like... Like, really... like if you had Mornthal on your back, yeah, he'd yeah. probably yeah. impede you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'd like to try to get to... Uh, here is 30. All right. So so can you give me an athletic strike at disadvantage? Oh quick. god. Damn oh it. gosh. Oh. Yeah, it's a seven. Seven. You do get to move half of your movement, but you're having trouble kind of like getting out of the water to actually get forward momentum. So you're kind of just trudging through this this water. Oh, I can go here. Okay. Um just bring him along with me. Yeah. Apologies. Gelnek eats much food because required protein for muscles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trilby. Yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, do, do you um, want to do you want to attack or anything? You you still have an action. Uh, I guess the one behind me is still alive, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's it's coming down the wall, looking yeah, to go I'll in the water. Toss. I'll try. I sure will try. To guiding bolt it at a disadvantage, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, if you want. Ha! Ah! Yo! Oh! oh! oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Yeah. I rolled an 18, 18 chat. Yeah. 18 you, and a 20. You and calm yourself once again, release the bolt, and it just, like, scatters this this arachnoid body against the wall and there's just this like ichor left that's shining now with the like faintly opalescent uh flower petals and it just kind of dims fuck One... yes Bailey also the by thing. the way is still incredibly confused because either she is horrifically failing or miraculously succeeding um there hasn't been like a middle ground i don't think so she, <laughs> she just stands there and just kind of looks at mm -hmm. her dead body Almost like there's a wheel of fortune. Some, some kind of thing maybe <laughs> happens. Isn't that weird? You no, know, the word fortune's really misleading here. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Wheel hmm. of fortune. Oh, that's a good thing, I thought. And I thought two hours, two and a half hours ago. I sure did think that. I sure did think that. Weird how it burns you. <laughs> really mm -hmm. weird. Yeah. Isn't that odd? How's, Isn't those, how's those fingers? <laughs> so strange. <laughs> I trusted you, Pat Sajak. I trusted you. <laughs> <laughs> Patron saint. <laughs> Pat Sajak. That's, that's canon. Hang on, I gotta write this. I down. cast you aside. 
Um, okay, Morinthal, you are up. No, it was my uh, turn. Er oh, never mind. Trilby was. Yeah, Trilby. I'm sorry. I yeah. skipped it. I skipped that's too many. Okay. Yep, that's right. Um, so uh, uh, I'm gonna continue running, but first we're gonna blast at this lad here. Mm -hmm. So Scrubbins is gonna pachow with some fire up at the he guy in the wall. He fails to save. Sweet, and he's gonna do a two d eight nine of damage. Nice. He and, kind of uh, just tightly grips the rock as you're just like blasting this fire on him, like like a can mm -hmm. of raid against. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, here's some some ray of frost with uh, Mr. Gubbins to follow that up. Fourteen hits and three damage of cold. Three damage of twelve. I got a bit of an icy hot situation. It's going. very good. I like it. Uh, he's he's um, and, and if anything, the spider guy feels relieved. <laughs> it's like I was like, on fire, oh, but that kind of cool to touch. It was nice. Cool. Okay. Soothe yeah. the burn. Um, and then gonna just continue from there, just just booking it. Yeah. Um. So am, am I impeded? Do I need to do an athletics? Yes. Check. You will need to do an All athletics right. check if you want your full movement, because basically, All right. you're you're waist deep in water, and you're trying to do that like hop out, pull your leg to not. Yeah. Hot Real, yeah, high, lifting the knees. Yeah, even though I still do have my 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 super fast movement thanks to my raised up socks. You do. Um, it just happens so I have to my be two. Slower. Your ankles are gonna be bone dry. <laughs> yeah, thirteen. Thirteen's enough. Sweet, even with my minus two, the strength. Yes, it, it's not it's uh, not a high roll. It is <laughs> good. All right, so that means I can move my full sixty. Yes. And just steal either. Uh, <laughs> does this continue up to the north? I can't tell. Uh, you, here. if you glance that way, you see it immediately dead ends. Okay, so we want to just, just down. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yep. All right. Yeah, that's what expeditious retreat out. does. <laughs> yeah, no, it really lets you be expeditious with your retreat. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. See, see you later. <laughs> 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 Coil just like stands up straight, sort of shakes down all the water, sees Trippy zoom by. It's one of those like, feel it, feel it. I'll hear a little, 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 little beep from Scrubbing, just, just from the splashing footsteps, like a. Yeah, like one of those weird geckos that can run on water. Yeah, you made a wake. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's All not right. out of breath yet, but oh man, the crash after this is it's, gonna be brutal. It's gonna be rough. Oof. Um, all right, is that all you would like to do? That that is all for my turn. All right, Morenthal. Okay. Uh also I'm don't forget to... this all this space under here you can be freely traverse. So you don't have oh, to uh, where, where, here. where under here? Hang on. Like this Point this platform, again. this is the bridge, so you can easily oh, yeah, yeah, walk yeah. under. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to real quick. Is is this is the closest one to the water, isn't it? Yes, at the moment, and it it okay. it it's on fire it's, and it's cool. Looking... <laughs> okay, uh, I think I might deliver it a tasty looking arrow. All right, real quick. Eleven. Eleven does not hit. I'm gonna make sure that no one saw that, and then try <laughs> and move towards. Uh, coil. Uh, you want another athletics? Athlet yes, stand? sir. Five. You get half your movement. Ten is the number to beat for the DC. <sighs> I felt so demoralized after the arrow. However, Sorry, I you can, do I can... know you're a rogue. I do have a bonus action, yes, to to uh, dash, disengage, or hide. Mm -hmm. So you could I technically get your full. Works. 30 since you're half. Ah, uh, yes. In which case, I will. I'll just. Because I can just go straight next to Coil. Because this. Because I can go. Yeah, this yes, is under yes, here, right? This is, I, yeah, now that you guys are all under, I know you can easily, and I don't have to keep track of who's <laughs> up and who's down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank God. Yeah. The only thing you can't uh, pass through is, is this, like, rock over here. Yeah, that, that big old pillar. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. we, we have a giant I'm... shadow of darkness. We can't see on the other side of it. Yep. So it's more obvious on our end. Mm -hmm. I sure hope there's nothing on the other side of it. Oh, boy. I just ran past it, so it's clear <laughs> so far. 
All right. Um, Hobson's up. In a manner of speaking, mm -hmm. yes. I guess Hobson's like, I guess I'm just swimming. I don't really think I could do a whole lot else when I'm just swimming. Like, I, maybe I, mean, I try to swimming. It's like, you can do like guys. half your movement to say, like, get back on coil or something like that. Like, yeah, coil okay. would, would, would try and. All right. If, if coils gave for that, then yeah, up. I think Hobson tries to, like, yeah, sort of like scramble on, like, back on board to, <laughs> like, <laughs> to ride coil so as to actually be able to move and do things. Mm hmm. And I assume that's my action, yeah. That, that that's movement. You you can you can still use their action. Okay. Uh I guess everything else. Uh I guess he there's this one that's up here on the wall. I guess he tries to take another Eldritch blast shot at that. I guess he's just trying to take out as many as he can yeah, while I, that's the good call. Stuff. You you yeah. see them kind of everywhere, you just start kind of picking and choosing. And yeah, fires and that's not firing, hang on. That's just a description of the spell, which is useful, but not right now. 21 to hit. 21 damage. hits for three. Uh, where did I write that one? Oh, it's still up. It is still up. Ah, uh, He's looking rough. He's his sorry, skittering like, slowed. Like, is it like I'm a just... spider that's like, cause you know, they got like these barbed legs. How it's like, it's like fallen, but the barb is still in the wall. Yeah, so yeah. It's like <laughs> technically still holding on, but it, like it's let go. But the bobs are holding it up. Yep, exactly. Ugh, eat it. Anything I else? Think for that's it for me. That's it. No, that's it. that's it for me. He's he's very cold and wet, but relieved to be in the like on the same level as the rest of the group. <laughs> <laughs> We're all together now. Gelnek, you are. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, still just happily on Faley's shoulders, seeing a new whole new perspective on the world. Uh, Galnick is gonna vicious mockery on this spider that's on the wall. All right, that's a save, right? Uh, yes. He is simply going to yell out, uh, It is good thing spider is among a bunch of other spiders, because if Galnick got good look, Galnick would probably wince at all the detail of spider's face. Spider is ugly. All right. Four. <laughs> it looks at you and then just like, Slowly puts its head down and falls into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Verbal abuse wins again. <laughs> Anything else for Gildic? Uh, no, that'll be it. All right, the lads. Mm -hmm. More. Five. Six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this one, this one's still up top. Um, yep. And then we roll. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe he'll forget. Yeah, I'll forget. I'll forget power. that you guys are in the nest of <laughs> these guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so two of them are going to make uh, attacks uh, both on Morenthal, because you're the only one they can reach right now. No. Uh, but this one that's directly to your right cannot reach you. Is No, it's the other two, yeah? Yeah, it's the two north ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, first one totally misses. That's good. Uh, second one, a 17 to hit. That does hit. For three. Okay. That's not too bad. And that's it. That's it for them. That's good. It wasn't so bad. You you see yeah, like this so this place is still kind of covered in these guys, but you've definitely thinned their numbers. Like <laughs> <laughs> it is substantial how many you've killed. Uh, but they do <laughs> seem busy. protective of their territory. And Coil is up. Don't know why. Um. <laughs> Can Coil stand here, technically? Um, yeah. Like, under Hobson? All right. All right. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna help my brother out. And <laughs> Great sword, this guy. Yay, I hit them. Hey. Yay. <laughs> okay, that one, just like, I rolled just a 22. Swinging. That one and, had uh, already been hurt, and he just cleaved through him. Hell yeah. Um. Mm 
I think with that, he's gonna he's gonna do a, a looky to see that the rest of the party is is coming. Mm -hmm. Do they look like they're coming? They are coming. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey looks like they're struggling against the, the deep water, but they are moving towards you. Okay, he's gonna take Hobson, and we're gonna we're gonna not move to We're gonna we're just gonna move to here. Okay. You're only moving half your movement, basically. Yeah. Okay. You don't need to Um Anything else? And that's I think all he can do. Alright. Bailey! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to try to get as close to the group as I can. So. Okay. You can use your action to dash to move double. I would like to do that. So okay. That's up to 60. So you will need an athletics check with disadvantage, though. Yeah, of course I will. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't? Listen, this isn't my fault. <laughs> 14. A four, is that it not? It. A it's 14. not. Mm -hmm. You're good. Mm -hmm. 14 makes it. You just have you, to be you, 10. Yeah, all you need to be is 10. Okay, so I think I said I could go... Yeah, look at all these 20s you rolling. You can go under, yeah, yep. Yeah, if only. Yeah, I've been rolling a lot of 20s. It's a little upsetting. <laughs> um. Listen, I'm rooting for you. Okay. <laughs> Just Actually, I don't, I don't want to do that because it's... Um, and can I toss a heal at Morenthal? Uh, as a bonus action, yes. So okay. you can healing word. Added, am I? Is it? No, just a, just a normal spell. Okay. <laughs> I like eight. Heal for eight. Sends sends me sends me back up to the twenties. Oh, nice and tasty. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't, ain't it? Ain't it just so much fun? It's great. Look at how many we've killed, though. There's, there's, you guys have done yeah. a lot. You guys killed a lot hey, more Dad, than I was expecting. Real quick, do you want to show how many are left? <laughs> uh, you know, infinite. <laughs> just like it reveals them all. The entire screen's covered in red. <laughs> just, boom! They just all few. appear suddenly. One or two. Yeah. All right. We're, our party's scooting along. Um, Trilby, you're up. You see. You are cleared <laughs> and um, directly in front of you, Triple, you can see this kind of path uh, of the water slowly kind of like slopes up into this uh, um, like blasted through corridor. And you can see that there's actually like, um, what, what was it? A Peton? Stupid. Uh, yes, <laughs> Peton. You can see Peton. there's a Peton with a rope actually tied to it. So you, you could guess that probably one of the miners fell down here at some point trying to get out. Okay. Um, I think Trilby is not in control of their momentum anymore and just continues just zipping the hell out of there. All right. Um, I don't know if I can drag myself off the screen. Again. Yeah, well, you're, you are considered basically off the map. Um, as you just tried to do it out in the there. beginning and now you're trying to do it again. <laughs> as yep. you clamber it, over uh, this stuff and you, you exit through like the blasted through corridor where you can see the scorch marks on the floor, the rubble's been cleared away and stuff. Um, you notice a few of the ceiling ones are rather close to you, and they kind of just hover nearby the exit, but don't continue pursuing. Sweet. I'm going to collapse on my back on just, the floor. kind of just, like, loudly, like, <laughs> making noises at you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Trilby's now just trying to catch his breath. Okay. Morenthal is up. Morenthal is up. Um... God. Okay, uh, I am going to... I kind of want to use my bonus action to disengage and then just leg it. <laughs> the only one has a, has would attack if you run for it right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll just take the attack. Fuck it. I'll, I'll dash instead. So, uh, first of all, I'll do the athletics check for you. Okay, that's not good. That's mm -hmm. a nat one. Okay. For three. <laughs> so, dash it is. Yep. So you still get your full 30. I still get my full 30, mm -hmm. meaning I can move all the way over here. 
Um, and uh, it swipes at you, but you are swipe. you're already gone. You duck. Ah, oh, that's tasty. Nice. I love to hear that, Dan. You I love it when you say that. <laughs> I, I listen. I'm on your guys' side. <laughs> clearly, I I'm really clearly. feeling it today. I'm really feeling it. Can you zoom out and say that again, Dan? <laughs> Listen, Dan's on your not guys the side. one who walked into the nest. <laughs> <laughs> He's just the one who put the nest there. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to leave this nest full of spiders, and if you walk into it, it's, it's your own fault. It's your, your own, own fault. fault. Exactly. Yeah. It's, the, it's the windmill attack. It's your own fault if you get hit. <laughs> also, there's a land bridge that goes directly to the spiders and no other path. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> You've solved my spider puzzle. <laughs> Have all of us spatters and bleeding. Mm -hmm. Yay! Hobson, you are up. Now time yeah. for the scorpion puzzle. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still kind of in like uppy's state, and that's gonna definitely be. I will definitely get over there to where Tribly is faster by just riding than swimming. So I'll just keep on shoulder turning. I think. Okay. Let's uh. Let's fire at this one up here that's could get in some people's way. Uh Fire. 17 to hit. 17 Free hits. damage. Free damage. Pew, it hits. Just going to keep Good. I was going to keep shooting spitballs at all the uh, enemies as we go. Mhm. Mm Anything else? Uh no, I guess Hobson probably does note just like the blood trail in the water Morenthal's probably leaving. <laughs> <laughs> like at least there's not sharks in the water because they'd have eaten you so long ago, like yeah. four rounds oh. ago. I was about to say, don't mention what could be in the water because I've been actively trying to avoid mentioning it in case Dan's like, oh, you know what? At least you're not being noticeable in the water. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least none of us are causing disturbances in the water by mm -hmm. running super fast over it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really, I really want to see, see if we can come up with some homebrew for what being in the state of uppies gives you, Just some, <laughs> some benefit. Anyway, so I noticed when I did shatter, they all seemed to like pause. Yeah. Yeah, they they kind of reacted to the like the loud sound. The loudness. Okay. Uh, not a spell or anything. I'm just gonna take my maracas and bang my drums really loud. <laughs> Uh, could you give me a Do they react performance, maybe? Just just to kind of okay. see. Play with something here. They turn around and applaud you. 24. Whoa. You hey, beat the good. shit out of that drum. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, per you, you, you got some nice buildup. Crescendo, it's like a timpani buildup. And then, like, you can see the, the remaining ones around you. Like, this one peers down the ledge and just is kind of wincing at the sound. Um... This one kind of halts its movement. The nearby ones look like they don't like the loud sounds. Um, they once once you stop or like there's a lull in it, they start to kind of creep back forward. But it seems like it's keeping them at bay. Okay, I will continue to that. Ah, they do not enjoy sounds of musical instrument blessed by the breaker Aether. All right. Uh, they are up. This one's gonna jump down. <laughs> of course it is. It's gonna. Poor it's, it's gonna oh. more the... <gasps> I rolled two nat ones and a three. So oh, he he beautiful. he falls in the water and he's he's now just like a wet Spider Man and he nothing. He swipes was his. Was that best. one short like Hobson? Yeah, that so one was it like... drops off and then it just. <laughs> Ooh, you just see four arms try, paddling up trying yeah. to get air. Um, these ones keep at bay, uh, because of your racket. Um, Hooray. you do start to see some other ones kind of coming in from the side. Not hooray. Coil. Current. <laughs> Coil is gonna take Hobson and go over here. Let's see. Um... I'm gonna. Do you want me to roll athletics to see if I can go? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Twenty-five. No issue. You you probably don't even lift your legs out of the water. You just kind of go forward unimpeded. Like. I'm gonna walk fifteen 
of those feet, I want to smack this guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or try to, with, with dice Hobson? willing. With Hobson? With Hobson? No. <laughs> Not with Hobson! <laughs> Oh, I missed. Aww. I just like to imagine if you ever did, Hobson would just go, oh, okay, this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this is what, like, heroes and fighters do. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah, sense. yeah. Just like, I, yeah, I'm just glad to be involved. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm trying to decide if he would keep walking. Like, <laughs> um. Just a side swipe on the way. Yeah, Maybe just like. Really? We well, also trust Faley to be all right, but Faley's um, got a Faley's got a goblin with a big drum on her back. She'll be fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think you'd stay. Okay. Um, Faley, you're up. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just want to. I just. I just want to run. Give me uh, that athletics like check. Good. With this. Yeah, bit. sure. Yeah, of course. Of come course, on, it is. On. Um, come on. Come on. You can 12? Do it. Yes! Yeah. 12 is enough? Yeah. 12 is enough. You are unimpeded. You can move your full 60 if you use your action right. to dash. We're all we're all going this way. I'm going as far this way as humanly possible. Uh, let me... Alright, I would like to go... Okay. That is 60. Okay. Hey, where'd you go? I, I lost you. Oh, uh, there you right are. Of, okay, I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Gelnuk's just floating in midair. Wait. <laughs> Wait a, a little bit of lag. A little bit of lag there. Lag spike. That's server side. Yeah. All right. Um, I think at this point, you guys have escaped the main threat of this 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 area. You all kind of clamber up the rope, get through the blast. As the kind of swarm meets you, they all just kind of seem like there's an invisible barrier. Maybe just not wanting to leave their hive or whatnot, uh, but they don't continue pursuing you as far down as you go the leading pathway. Um, and and we are we are out of combat. Oh uh, my god. You survived. Uh, and, for the and, record, uh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, just, uh, for the record, as Trilby is laying there on his back, catching his breath, and he hears splashing getting louder, he's just accepted his fate either way. <laughs> if it's friends or if it's monsters, he's like, I'm out of fight. That's whatever it is. Scrubbins hopping up and down, trying to tell him that it's friends. Yeah, he's pecking <laughs> at my hand. Um, so yeah, you you all you all escape uh, with your lives. Everyone's nice and everything's great, right, Bailey? Yeah, and we'll take. Great. A quick little BRB bathroom break uh, oh. and refill our drinks, because that was that was a oh. hefty amount of time. <laughs> yeah, I'm apologizing on Marenthal's part. No, that was great. It was perfect. <laughs> oh, good work, team. If you could see me smiling, <laughs> I can Gelnick. hear you smiling. Gelnick we had can some hear very it. Choice words. Unfortunately, he was underwater, so all you heard was. <laughs> <laughs> and I can stop the the creepy uh, deepness noises that we yeah. uh, we love to hear. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Aww, I'm gonna miss those noises. <laughs> we'll do a nice Hi, like little. Uh, my time for the yep. BRB noises. BRB. Yeah, so we'll take a quick little BRB. Uh, I'll I'll mute the call. Uh, and I'll I'll ping you guys in Discord when I come back. And we'll yeah. be right back. Okay. Oops. Hey, chat, you're great. You know that? Don't tell anyone.
Hello, everyone. That was fun. <laughs> that encounter went just as I expected it to. <laughs> it was it was very interesting to watch for me. I hope it hopefully it was the same for you guys. <laughs> oh no, I moved my my legs. Okay. Um. All right. Let's uh. Let's let's unmute the call. Hello. 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 Oi. That's the wrong scene. How was your, oi, oi. How was how was your break? It was great. I made a cup of coffee because uh, I totally forgot to drink my coffee this whole time. It was like behind <laughs> my notepad. So no fresh cup of coffee. New coffee. Making coffee over here. I'm just finishing a little snack. I'll be with you in a moment. I am also snacking. Yeah, have a snack. We would love to see my notes for that. I will gladly share my notes. Spiders, all caps. <laughs> spiders, the yeah, it's just, just spiders. Continuous spiders. Mm -hmm. Non-stop spiders. Oh, I mean, there was an end. Was there an end? Mm -hmm. How far away were we from it? <laughs> Nowhere near it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh God. <laughs> How long did you expect us to fight spiders for? I, you know, not I was long. not expecting that long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm glad sorry. everyone survived. It's one of those things that you're like, I plan this situation. Everyone's going to understand it. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it no, does no, not. It never, to, never goes according to, to this party. Away. Also, I am back. Yay. Welcome back. Welcome back. There's Thank always you. a spanner being thrown somewhere. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was, there was a Minecraft spawner. You guys didn't break. <laughs> it was right All under. we had there to do was look up and see yeah, the You block. just had to put torches by it and it would have been fine. Damn it. <laughs> oh, dang it. Um, are we all are we all back and and, and ready to go? I think so. Yes, mm -hmm. pro revitalized. All right. You all solved my spider puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Cool. Wow, we're Did so we? smart. We figured it out. <laughs> mm-hmm. With all our wits. At the very <laughs> end, I think we figured it out. <laughs> you sure did. Um, and by we, I mean, I mean Joe Cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love. You were the I ones think it went great. First, really. I was enjoying it. <laughs> um, the rest of the day's travel after this encounter is pretty uneventful you you think maybe just whatever blast or path that the the previous miners took through here was clearly not the best path and stepped into uh their territory but you don't really come across any blasted through walls again you get a few markings of mining um a few steep slopes again with the equipment still left behind um but the rest of the day goes by pretty uneventful. You don't see any immediate like, hey, here's a clear camping spot. It's just kind of one of those things you guys naturally get tired. Um, and if you want, you can you can keep moving onward or find any little nook to kind of tuck away for the night. Um, I would like to do a rest to get my spell slots back. I think a rest is good. Yeah. We could probably all use a rest. Really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Long rest. <clears throat> Short or long? Yes, please. Well, long would be to get long? spells back. Yeah. Oh, Short yeah. rest does not get spells back for most classes. Then long would be great for me then. Um, I didn't take any damage in that fight, by the way. <laughs> Person who stayed <laughs> back and then zoomed across the battlefield. <laughs> right. I'm, why am I not surprised? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, thanks to all the magic armor, I only took a little bit. 
I'm pretty sure I took enough damage total the entire time to kill me two times. You took a lot like, of damage. Twice you were the amount our... of double my health, I'm pretty sure. Unintentional yeah. tank. Yeah. There were, there was multiple <laughs> turns of three of them on you, and I was like, ooh, this isn't good. Our, our rogue of, is like, acting as a tank. The lowest I got was five. <laughs> like, ooh, yeah, yeah. I was real close. The the perfectly timed heal saved my hearts. <laughs> good job, team. We did it. Um, so if people are down for a long rest, yeah, I would like to have yeah. spell slots for yep. anything else that might happen. Sounds great. Okay. Um, Let's do. Whoever wants to find a spot, just give me a survival check. Oh, at, at a normal one? With disadvantage. <laughs> no, I, I can, well, I don't have... Who's wise? Wow. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay. Never mind. A twenty-one and a twenty-six. Yeah. <laughs> your your mind's a little distracted, but you know what's safe and what's not. Uh, any any chance of like a cave in or you know a, a weak support that might be around? You kind of find a nice, safe, quiet spot to camp. Um, okay. It's it's all it's a little off the beaten trail, but you think this will be a good place to rest, and you're you're positive of that. Okay. So you all you all set up your camp in this little uh, small cubby within a, yep. a, a a long mining tunnel that you've been walking through for the probably the past like six hours since the spider encounter. Would I think anyone... once we're set up, oh, you go, Hobson. Uh, I think once we're set up, Hobson just sort of parks near where he'll be like. Uh, sleeping and just sort of sits awake for a little while. I think I'd, I would love to make that adamantine short sword be his packed weapon, because, I mean, his packed weapon's a short sword anyway, so this is just a straight-up upgrade. Okay. But yeah, which just takes about an, an hour sitting there doing the rest, just sort of, like, holding it in the in the uh, gauntlet hand and just... I guess thinking about stuff, hoping that Vault's is doing something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he got the first one. Um, give me... Give me just a d20. And that is an eight. Eight. Uh, it, it takes you a while. Like, you've you've noticed in today, Vols has been rather quiet. Um, mm -hmm. But eventually, it seems like he catches attention, and there's like a, a brief shimmer of light towards the end of, like, the second hour of you kind of concentrating on this. And the sword, like, materializes into that, like, that red glitter that matches the gem. All right, then, yeah, and he just goes ahead and lets, just dispels that and lets it kind of poof into nothing and just that's the other short sword aside because I think that was just, like most of the armor and other gear he entered this campaign with was just really garbage, low-quality stuff he yeah. just found and kind of pulled together just out of desperation and not having anything better. Do you keep it with you or are you, like, leaving it behind? The old short sword, I think he just leaves it behind. Okay. Um. So yeah, you guys are you guys are settled for the night. Does anyone want to do anything for the night? That's all I was gonna ask. Sleep. <laughs> just sleep. Just sleep. I, I Galneck would like to speak with Morenthal again. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Morenthal will just sit there and begrudgingly listen. Galneck walks <laughs> up on to uh, near Morenthal and takes a seat. And he has a big grin on his face. And he appoints to Morenthal. Gelnek knew there was love in you. You care about tribe. Care? Yes. You take alternate route because it is safer. And you call out for rest of tribe because you care about our safety. <sighs> you could take it that way if you want. It's... <laughs> More so, there are reasons I wouldn't want some of you dead yet. Hmm. You may tell yourself that, but Gelnek believed good in most things, including you, Stinky Drow. Including Perhaps those that make Gelnek there? naive in your eyes. You think there's good in all things? Why don't you go back to those things in the nest and preach that to them? Well, perhaps things not evil. Perhaps things hungry. Maybe you should feed them then. 
Mm. Not Gelnick responsibility. <sighs> but maybe it should be. <laughs> mm. Gelnick, no you good could retire. in you. You could go back. You could look after them. Perhaps in another life, Gelnick may. But right now, Gelnick has important mission. Good to do elsewhere. Maybe come back. Maybe give feed. Gilnek used to farm. Don't know how you would farm them, but... I'm sure you'd find a way. Yes, because Gilnek is good. Just like you. You are good. Mm. Mm. You keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Perhaps your belief that Gilnek is naive may be right. But Gelnick is willing to take chance to make world less cold and cynical, however slim chance may be, instead of accepting it as is, as you do. For that is surrender, and Gelnick never gives up. I wish I saw in me what you saw in me, Gelnick, because for me it's not there. Mm. There are things you don't know about, things maybe one day you'll find out about. Might change your opinion. That is true. That may be true. However, Gelnek also believes there will be one day when you must rely on someone else's love. Then you will see how truly powerful it can be. Hmm. You have good night, Morenthal. Gelnek, hope you sleep well. <sighs> you too, Gelnek. And he's going to walk off and go find a spot to sleep. I think, I think Coyle... Coil... Oh. Quietly. Just sort of... Kind of reflecting what Gelnek said. Mm -hmm. But also still thinking heavily about Faley. And about what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Faley, Coyle kind of wants to check on her. <laughs> Faley, uh... So. Oh. She was uh, definitely like curling up to go to sleep, but isn't is not asleep yet. And I'm sure he very loudly uh, sits down somewhere close. Um, <laughs> she kind of sits up. She's uh, laying back. Hey, you doing okay? Uh, she kind of looks at her hands and then looks back at Coil. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I. I don't what? know, nothing, nothing's working. I, working. I, it's fine. It's fine. I, I'm, I'm sure it, it, it's fine. No, what, what happened back there? I, have, I, <laughs> she, uh, she's just incredibly nervous and kind of doesn't even know where to start. And, uh, pulls out the cards from her, uh, pocket and her, her bag. I was... Looking at these earlier, before we started down the path, and I, uh, I drew one. And she holds out her hand, which, uh, you know, where it got marked before, and it... The card disappeared? I, I, I don't know, it... It disappeared, and, and then I, I couldn't put it away. Like, she's trying to explain, and just absolutely kind of rambling about it. And ever since I... Nothing... Nothing has, it just, I, I was right next to the things, I, I, and I couldn't hit them, I, I, I couldn't even, nothing went right, I, I it's fine, I, I'm sure I'm just tired. Mm. He, he kind of, like, puts a, puts a big hand on her shoulder. And she just kind of smiles and leans in, um. Sorry, I... I don't know what's Do you feel going on. I, anything else? I thought maybe someone was here. That maybe... They had followed us. That, 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 that there's a person behind this, but... I don't see anyone. I don't sense anyone. I don't... I don't... I... I think I'm just... I think I just need to sleep. The cards. 
Um, she kind of like pulls them out. They're dangerous. Hands them to Coil. You wanna take a look at them? I they're I they're fine. I just I I don't I don't think it's I it's fine. Mm. It, it's fine. It, He's kind of he's kind of looking at them like like they're like poisonous. He doesn't <laughs> just kind of hands them back. She puts them back in her her bag. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if it keeps happening. Yeah, I I will. Thank you. Hopefully some rest will help. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Do you want me to take the next shift for watch, or are you good? Uh, it's fine. Don't sleep, remember. Yeah, I just... You know, you should rest too. It's, it's resting, in a sense. If you say so. Get some rest. Thank you, Kyle. No, he just he just sits there and kind of goes into like his little power down state. Mm -hmm. But he's he's conscious. Does anyone want to do anything else? Um, I mean. Trilby hasn't moved that fast in his entire life, so he is dead asleep. <laughs> he fell asleep. <laughs> he fell asleep part way through setting up his little little knapsack. Mm -hmm. He's just like through on the, top of it. Just through the back of all these conversations, you just hear Trilby softly snoring. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> he's not inside his little. Mm -hmm. Well, with that, I think I think the night comes to a close. You all get a uneventful night. A full rest, feeling refreshed and long rested. You can use your hit die if you want, or you get half your hit die back if you used any. Your full health, spells are back. And Faley, no. when you wake up, you immediately can sense that that tingle that's that's in the uh, like your index, middle, and thumb. Um, mm -hmm. You look at your hand, and the the red glow is gone. Okay. And the day is yours! Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I get to reach into the bag of many things you again. You sure do. <laughs> I want to roll my, my real dice. Okay, this. go for it. Because I have two d10s, and one of them has like a zero. So it's like 10, 50... 90 instead of one, two, three. So I, I just roll both of them, right? And then just the one's digit in the... It's, but how would I roll a hundred? Uh, it's two zeros. The zeros are, okay. Uh, 53. 53? Lots of 50s. I rolled a 52 yesterday. You sure okay. did. Yeah. Um, 53. You, you, you reach in the bag. You're kind of feeling around, not initially feeling anything large. And you pull out a small little, like, um, spiral shell. It's like a ram's horn shell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you start with me, Dan. <laughs> um, it, but you, you sense, like, there's, there's no creature living in it. It's, it's long dried, but it's, it's pretty. Little seashell. Just a little seashell. Okay. Neat. <laughs> I put it away. Neat. I'm just having a great morning. It, they're like the kid who oh, is avocado. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this is going way better than breaking a ship in a bottle. So yeah, I'm, is, I'm having a great is. morning. Yeah, you got a cute little seashell. Mm -hmm. Anyone else doing anything for the morning? Well, you guys are taking down camp. No. All right. 
It's a it's a quiet morning for the party as you all uh, gather up your belongings, snuff out any remaining campfire, and uh, make your way downtown. Moving fast. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to check that dowsing rod? Seat, make sure we're still going this, the right way. Oh, that's a good idea. He pulls Don't out the dowsing rod. The other way. <laughs> it's pointing straight up. No, um. It, yeah, it looks like it's continuing down the path that you were headed. You just kind of took a little detour to find a safe place to camp, um, but it is continuing pointing west if you add cardinal directions down here. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, you guys, you guys set out. It is a a slow and uneventful day. Not really anything noticeable happens occasionally you'll get the like the skitter of of something nearby or like the shifting of rocks or a, a pebble one of you accidentally kicks um but you're getting the sense this is more of um like a a, a network for for creatures to move through and not so much a like hive or anything um other than you busting through the wall into one it's <laughs> It seems a little more uh, naturally traveled and formed. You can see small remnants, too, uh, that continue to remind you of being on the correct path, of mining equipment left behind, like a torch is dropped. Um, but other than that, it's a, it's a pretty quiet day. Um, around, we'll say about like six or so hours in, um, Ooh, that's a long time. Yeah. May I do something? Absolutely. Again, yeah, go for it. A couple leader would like to check in on another member. Uh, Gelnick is going to walk on up to Hobson while we're walking, just like walk and talk. You, small man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gelnick, notice hey. you are warrior. You wield mighty blade. Uh, that, no, no. I, well, I guess technically I, 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 yes, I do wield a blade. I don't think I'm a warrior though. I've honestly, like, I've been doing this about as long as you've known me. So I do have a sword, technically, but I feel like that doesn't count. I feel what like you, you buy a sword. Because Gilnick was going to mention why you fight so reluctantly. Uh I it's a it's such a long story, but I don't I didn't really want to get into this. I I'm like I do books and housekeeping like i'm a person i'm not a warrior by trade and i wasn't going to be but i kind of got pulled into it um i it is such a long story <laughs> that is okay is small man afraid yes yes and yet small man continues despite that uh yeah yeah i guess i don't really have a whole lot of choice and i'm trying to i don't know i don't i don't want to be afraid of, as much anymore you don't seem as afraid of stuff very often. Like, no. you seem like you know what you're doing. Gelnick is very brave. Gelnick is glad small man sees. But small man is afraid and reluctant to fight. And yet small man does so anyway. Gelnick puts a hand on Hobson's shoulder. And that does make small man true warrior. In spite of adversity, small man continues anyway. Even if it is things small man really, really doesn't want to do. That is Hobson... Markham, true warrior, not braveness or strong muscles like Gilnick. <laughs> I think Hobson actually does stand up a little taller at that and feel just extremely, like, swells with pride a little bit at that. And, uh, Dan says, that's, that's really kind of you. Thank you. I'll, of course. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep trying. Do you have any tips for, like, not for being braver and less afraid? You seem like you've been doing this a long time. And, uh, if you've got any, like, pro tips and strategies for being better at this, I would love them. Ooh. Gelnick must take you on Drake Hunt one time. Drake Hunt, Whoa. great initiation to get blood flowing and grow muscles. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm in. That sounds fun. I think. Good. Hobson thinks for Rax's Gelnick brain. Just one day, like, one, oh, go on. You first. <laughs> I was just going to say, Hobson, like, wait, stops to think for a second. Like, wait, what's a Drake? How big is it? What am I... <laughs> What am I agreeing to? But I actually, like, I think he dispels that thought from his mind just because, like, the uh, <laughs> he's, he's got enough trust in Gelnick at this point. He's like, yeah, all right. 
<laughs> Whatever you, if you think it's a good idea, then I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Perhaps one day, once Gelnek uh, pilgrimage is over, Gelnek happy to show small man to Gelnek's Ustenki tribe. Many strong Ooh. goblin, strong family. That sounds great. I would love that. Hmm. Yeah, where, like, where, like, where, where is the tribe? Where do they, where do you come from? Oh, Stinky Tribe is a uh, long place from here. Not really, no geography from underground. But, uh, Good point. Gelnek's still on pilgrimage. Uh, long pilgrimage, many years. Uh, oh, Gelnek wow. often lose track of time, but we'll return one day. Cool. What's, what's the pilgrimage for? Oh, uh, once goblin of Ustenki tribe grow to certain age, they are to undergo pilgrimage, rite of passage, to become true warrior, go out, learn about world, become stronger, and then return to fight previous pilgrim, so that oh. every pilgrim is stronger than last. Interesting. That's really cool. How, how, long mm -hmm. has, how long has your tribe done this tradition? Oh, as long as, as tradition remembers. And Gelnek only so, hear from elders. Do, like, do they have like a count of how many pilgrims there have been at this point? Hmm. Must be a few dozen generations at this point. That's really cool. Yes. Thanks for, thanks for telling me. This is really interesting. Thank you. Gelnek loved talking about himself and family. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to hear more about yourself and family sometime. Yeah, that's it. I think that's, yeah, that's a good. You kind of keep the chit chat going as you walk through the tunnels. Um, eventually, you come up to a, a place where you see another large uh, alteration of terrain by mining equipment. There's large boulders and debris pushed to the sides. A path is new cleared. Uh, doesn't look like there's as any uh, like scorch marks or explosives. Maybe they learned their lesson. Um, but, uh, as, as you're approaching, we'll say like 6 PM, um, most of the day has been just traveling and, and navigating through these corridors. Um, you come across a, a small little, uh, naturally formed cavern. Um, you can see the path widens open a little bit and there's a small natural pool of water. Like you, you can guess just by looking at it, um, it's maybe only like a few inches deep. It's it's pretty clear, um, and you can hear a little faint drips and drops uh, every now and then. And you see this 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 wide room that kind of is covered in stalactites and stalagmites. Um, there's a few that are fully connected, creating like these artif or these natural pillars in this chamber. Um, and the floor is just kind of damp in spots where it looks like it slowly is dripping through and then seeping into the, the rock itself. Hmm. I guess we'll stop here for the night. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I can't tell without a sun, but I think it's past my bedtime. I don't that. That next day leg soreness on Trilby has got to be so <laughs> wildly bad right now. Mm -hmm. Especially for he's the been... water. Can you imagine his thighs? <laughs> he's right. been he's been dragging his feet for uh, three hours mm -hmm. now, at least. <laughs> Can Coil like point the dowsing rod around and see where it's telling him to go? Uh, the do the dowsing rod kind of looks like it cuts through this this corridor. Um, it's it's pretty like wide at spots maybe like i don't know 40 or so feet wide um and it's just kind of navigating through these uh, pieces of rock Ooh. does it all still look naturally formed give me an investigation check oh boy oh i'm not boy. good at those or a perception oh, oh, I... oh boy i'm not good at those <laughs> 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 I'm slightly better at those, actually. There we go. Seventeen. Hey. Perception. Just looking around, the only thing that you really note is uh, a few spots where the water is kind of uh, prevalent. There's a little bit of those bioluminescent uh, creatures, like little little slugs or whatnot, clung to the ceiling and floor. 
So there's small little pockets of natural light in here, even though it's still quite dim light. Um, mm. Other than that, though, the cave looks pretty undisturbed. And then you catch out of the corner of your eye a boot sitting by one of the bases of the stalagmites. Ah, boots sitting at one of the bases of stalagmites. <laughs> Are mites the ones from the ceiling or the floor? I can never remember. Floor. Floor. Hold on, because, I think because because they hold on tight. Might might be on the floor. Gotcha. Yeah. And they, they're holding on tight to the ceiling. Tight to the floor. Got I it. always did might because yeah. they like have to go up against gravity. It's like... Mm. Oh, <laughs> am I GHT? Mm-hmm. Like the other word might. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember where I heard it, but I think of it as like might might poke you in the butt. Oh, oh. fascinating linguistics. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. I think I think this conversation actually happens in the game. One hundred percent. We have an argument that lasts for three hours over which one's called which. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can Coil see if there's anything else around the boot? Like any signs of a tussle or like a fight? Um, give me, we'll, we'll do investigation since you're specifically looking into this boot. Oh boy. Here we go with my negative one. I believe in you. No, nope. oh I rolled a five. It looks like a boot. A boot. You, you don't see a matching <laughs> one and it kind of is, is just an empty boot. Um, you, I am you, you don't you don't see with... like a corpse or any other equipment around. It's just kind of the one thing that stands out in this cavern. I am imagining Coil with a magnifying glass, going, "Mm-hmm, it's a boot." Oh, you know who like, we've forgotten? Sniff. We've forgotten our friend, the skull. He he pulls him out. All right, oh, part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been holding my breath this whole time. It's a joke. I don't have breath. <laughs> Kirby laughs about three seconds after the fact. <laughs> God. Yeah. What can I do you for? Uh, I don't know. I just kind of remembered that you were here. Oh, he that, that's very kind. On the... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he just got as far as using him as like a scratchy, like a stress toy, you know, just like. Like a fidget mm -hmm. thing, just, just scratching on it. How is Bart doing? Bartholomew. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, I'm great. I'm not in a hag shop, so this is this is the most adventure I've ever been on. How about you guys? There was a lot of spider noises the other day. Not sure what that was about. Do you want to go see them? I'm good. Okay. Well, we found this boot right here. Whose boot? Uh, good question. We were hoping you knew. I, I believe my life in a, in a hag's workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I know whose boot's whose? <laughs> yes, this, this boot is approximately... <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say no. I mean, it looks like it's... I mean, it just looks like a boot. I mean, don't feel bad. I also don't know whose boot it is. Yeah, see? That's what I thought. <laughs> Regardless, it means that one person was once here. Possibly someone with feet. Ah. Hmm. Someone with a cold foot now. These, these detectives, look at them. We're incredible. All like the, the two neurons in the brain are connecting. Just, it's, like, <laughs> can I go look around again in the area where the boot was? Kind sure. Of like, how are you? How are you? How are you walking up on it? Hmm. Trying to like inch my feet in between the like the segments where the stalagmites meet the the ground. Mm -hmm. Just like those little, I don't know, like pockets of space. Okay. I'm just kind of stepping around, like dance, dance, revolutioning my way inwards. So, so are you are you avoiding like the the shallow water, like the it's only like an inch or so deep? Uh, 
I won't rule it out. I'll, I'll search over there as well, just in case. Okay, because there's like little natural pools of water like throughout this cavern. So you can kind of like hug right. where the stalactites and mites are. Um, mm, mm, mm. If you want, I, I just, I'm, just for clarification. You know, just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. It's just an inch deep. Okay. You kind of walk through. Um, every every now and then when you step, you can see like a, a brief little shimmer of bioluminescent life. Those little like creatures existing in the water itself. Um, mm. there's there's like the faint sounds of you stepping through it. Um, but as you as you approach, you you walk right up to the boot, and it just looks like a, a boot. It's it's a large shoe, um, like bigger size than you. Uh, probably too big Whoa, for really? anyone except for maybe like Coil. Okay. Uh, coil shoe. might be a little too big. Hmm. Hmm. Something with foot, large, perhaps of stocky nature, larger than Gelneck for sure. Not Dan, need swear. other foot. <laughs> I swear, Dan, if there's, no, if there's nothing going on with this boot and it's just a random thing you put here just to make, distract us, that's going to be the funniest joke <laughs> you've ever set up. <laughs> just out of curiosity, can everyone besides Gilnut give me a perception check? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or 17. 10. Can I just throw in a free detect magic while I'm at it? Sure, yeah, you, you, you pop it on. Um, you pop it on, the boot's not magical. Um... But the rest of you, uh, Morinthal and Faley and Coil specifically, as you're watching, Gelnek kind of picks up and inspects this boot. A stalagmite directly behind where Gelnek is standing, you can see just faint movement of these like tendrils, and they immediately come and collapse around Gelnek. And uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna. What? When it happens, Gelnek is like, Ah, Gelnek understands. This boot used to be proof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys you guys have moved into the cavern. Gelnek's probably like right about here. Uh, you can arrange yourselves where you think you were in the room. I'm happy where Trilby is. Or near the back. Around here, near the front. <laughs> I don't like the look of that. Let's have a nice little. Uh... We'll be good. We'll be good. Where was the boot originally? Mm -hmm. The boot is like right where Gelnick was standing. Okay, Quell was around it, looking at it. So I imagine he's kind of close. I'm starting to think something was afoot with mm. that boot. All right. Where Trilby's oh, no. standing, it is all just pitch black. Mm hmm. Cannot see anything. <laughs> That's intentional. Yeah, let's do a nice little like that. Just a nice little combat oh. music. It's everyone's favorite. Um, okay, let me uh, link that off the thing. Oh wait, I guess I have, to, more... I have to clear this, right? I'm way more scared by yeah, the fact that it only looks like those. there's one. Order. Okay, you can select yeah. your tokens now and add them to the turn order. Oh yeah. Seven. Why? Why the hell did I? Nat 20 on initiative. That's still good. I really wish I got the Nat That's, 20. <laughs> it's my first Nat 20 of the day. Uh, I wish I got the Nat 20, god damn it. This is yep. the time when I really wish I needed it. Uh, yep. Okay, 12 for me. No, I don't say 12. All right, is everyone, I think that's everyone in? Yeah. We will, oh, I sorry. So. Uh, descending. All right. So Hobson, um, you see these 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 tendrils like immediately come and and wrap around. Um, let's do it real quick, just as, because that was a surprise round. Okay, uh, one you see a, a tendril wrap around Gelnek, um, and a few of these other like almost squid octopus like tendrils coming from this pillar. As a split down the middle of it reveals this like bulbous red eye that's just glaring at Gelnek. Yikes. Oh. <laughs> uh, and Gelnik, just for your clarification, um, you are grappled and restrained. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, Hobson, you are up. Yeah, I think Hobson, in shock, is just like, "Oh God!" and it just and uh, runs like this, kind of cramped, but squeezes ahead to uh, get closer in to try to assist Gelnick. Uh, conjuring a packed weapon. Is that like a bonus action? I think it's free, isn't it? I honestly don't remember. I mean, I'd, I feel like it's a free that. action. You can use your action to create a packed weapon in your empty hand. Okay. okay. Um, let's... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that then. It just He conjures the weapon in hand and... Uh, and she, someday he'll learn to actually have it in hand <laughs> in dangerous places by default. But he's still learning. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he gets the weapon in hand and moves in to try to help Yannick. Okay. Truby. Mm-hmm. I think um, after the success of yesterday, Truby's got a little bit of confidence. <laughs> so he starts striding forward. And as he does, <laughs> left hand, scrubbins, right hand, uh, Mr. Gubbins. <laughs> he, he thinks he looks really badass. Yeah, from behind, doves. <laughs> uh, I can't move scrub. Yep, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Sure. Can he move now? Uh, yep. Hey. Um, so can I fire on the this tentacled beast without hitting Gelnek? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, real quick, anyone in chat know how to get the chat back in Roll20 that I accidentally just closed it? Oh, oh, like uh, an entire panel? Uh-huh. Uh, there should think, be a, a thing on the top right that has, like, th three lines, three horizontal Little hamburger lines. menu. Yeah. Hamburger menu. Little three. For me, it's, very, it's like, right. on the scroll bar, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Top right of the web page. Oh, 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 I see. Oh. I still... Do. You know what I'm just going to do? I'm going to F5 it, because I, I hit pop <laughs> out and then closed it, so just the chat oh. disappeared. Quick little, oh. little refresh. Okay, I got my chat back. Everything's fine. Nice. Yay. <laughs> You're giving me time to decide what I want to do. You sh I you. sure am. You're welcome. Um, I think I think Scrubbins is going to be in flamethrower mode again. Okay. Uh, so that that once again we're we're going team icy hot. So that one once again is the um, my spell save DC, which is fourteen. Uh, and what, what save is this? Wisdom or intelligence? Uh, dexterity. Oh, I'm paying attention. Uh, it fails. <laughs> Sweet. And we're doing nine damage of fire. Nine damage of fire? Nice. And then here comes with Mr. Gubbins making his little squeak noise and firing a bolt of ice Yo. directly at the eyeball. Very nice. Direct hit. For seven... Seven cold damage. Uh, I can do math. Wow, I can do math. Okay, got it. <laughs> Anything else for Trilby? Uh, uh, he's very proud of himself. Very. <laughs> Looks so cool. Mm hmm. With his bird and elephant <laughs> coil is that? Toys. All right. Which which stalactite is like the the monster? Is it this one? It's, yeah. It's it's. The monster on the field. Like this one. Yeah, okay, it, it gotcha, looks gotcha, just gotcha. like the other ones, but now that like it's slightly animated compared to the rest, and it has an eye. Gotcha. Cool. Um, we're gonna we're gonna just great sword it. Okay. Twelve hit. You you kind of hit on the side of it. And it just kind of like bounces off like this thing is solid rock. Uh, so it was a miss, gotcha. unfortunately. All right. Anything else? I think that's it. No. All right. Gelnick. <laughs> so it's grappled me. Yeah? It is grappled. Um, you have a feeling okay. you can either escape this or maybe try to like tear this thing off. Okay. Okay. Wonder what well, carrying it off sounds more barbaric, so that's what I'm going to try to do. <laughs> All right. Um, give me a athletics check. 
12. 12? Um, you kind of pull against it, and it just, it's got a good grab on you. Like, it's a little slick while you're grabbing it, so you just kind of keep losing grip on it. Uh, and you are, you are still grappled. Ah, small man! Here is your chance to choose, to, uh, to show and prove true warriorship. Ah, I'm going to give you <laughs> Hudson Bardic inspiration. <laughs> my bonus action. Love it. All right. Um, it's turn. You see, like, this one tentacle is just, like, tense around Gelnik. Um, the remaining ones kind of just, like, lash out in random directions. One comes for Coil. Uh, that is a 14 to hit. Nope. Okay. One comes for Hobson. <laughs> nope. It was a 10. Uh, one comes for Scrubbins. No. No. Uh, 19. That hits. That hits Scrubbins. No. And then one on Trilby. Oh. Nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll teach him to have confidence. Scrubbins, <laughs> um, you you're expecting like to get blown back by this thing, and you realize it's just wrapped around you and like tightly have your arms like bound to you. Um, and as it does, it pulls you and Scrubbins right up to it. It just like oh. kind of retracts its tentacles and like is pulling you right to it. And as it does. A cluster of rocks in the center of it open wide, and it's this this like circular maw of just razor sharp teeth. Um, uh, unfortunately, Gelnik's oh no. the closest one, so it's going to take a bite on Gelnik. Ah! Ooh, twenty four to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. I think it hits. <laughs> Probably hits. Don't oh, believe it. it. That's, that sounds like a lot of dice. That is 21 damage on this bite. Oh. Oh. He, it like, it, it oh, sinks no. its teeth in and kind of like just doesn't let go. Oh! Gelnick is proud to step. Gelnick is proud And you and Scrubbins are still grappled, uh, just so you're aware. Yep, no, I figured. Uh, but it is Bailey's close turn. In. Oh. oh, goodness. So I'm assuming since everything's in the shadows, I have to move before I can see. Yeah, you, you can hear the, the noise just around this, like, uh, pillar you're standing behind. Very like pleasant noises. Unfortunately move. Uh, much to my dismay. Cool. Um, <laughs> great. Uh, <laughs> and I would like to guiding bolt. You got it. And you have a normal roll, no disadvantage. Are you oh, for real? Hey. I'm for real. I'm waiting for it. 16? You hit against this rock, and it just kind of, like, scatters. Um, like, it shields its eye just at the last moment as you go to hit. Uh, it looks like it was just a miss. Seems, seems, seems beefy. Anything else? Don't, I don't think so. All right, Morithal. This thing sure is giving us the boot. Oh, oh, <laughs> We're all gonna oh. die. I'm leaving. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bailey walks yeah. away. Uh, I'm gonna move forward a little bit and then aim my short bow at its, at its glowing red eye mm -hmm. and try and, try and shoot a, an arrow into it. Uh, would it? Now, <laughs> would this count? Sneak attack would count, wouldn't it? Because uh, yes. it's basically got it in its hand, so I can sneak attack this. Well, if it hits, we have to see that mm -hmm. first. 24, does that hit? 24 <laughs> does hit. Hey. It, it goes to like reflexively Oof. close its eye, and you catch it like right in the side of the gap. Or five sneak damage and eight piercings, so 13 overall. 13, nice hit. Okay. And I will end my turn there. Back to Hobson. 
Okay. How like thick are these tendril type things that it's grabbing people with? Um, it's kind of like like even as a halfling, you could probably like touch your 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 thumb to your fingers if you gripped it. But they're not that thick. Oh, okay. It's it's weird. Like okay. it's this bolt like very rigid rock structure, and then these like kind of slimy organic tentacles. Hmm. Okay. Then yeah, I think. Yeah. Then I I think. Hobson just really like eager and desperate to try to get Gelnick free is like tries to take a swing at that tendril that's grabbing Gelnick as carefully as he can to, to not actually hit Gelnick but to hit the thing. Absolutely. Hit the, the thing connecting from between Gelnick to monster. And uh, yeah, and with booming blade, because why not? And uh, takes a swing at it. 20, 20 does hit. To hit. Awesome. Mm. So that'll be eight damage on the attack to the thing. And also, I don't know how what how movement counts with this thing, but we'll call it Booming Blade on it just to find yeah, so out. It, it gets the shimmer. You you have a feeling it's probably not the most uh, agile thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, it does get the shimmer effect that you 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 boom on it. Um, okay. As you as you cut this tentacle, um. It slices, Gelnek, you are no longer restrained. The remaining bit around you just kind of slumps to the floor. Um, but the two of you, as you watch, um, the the tentacle that was sliced kind of does that, like, men in black regrow real quick. Oh, no. Um, and it just kind of, like, it looks like it's taking its time to kind of reform. Uh, but you are free. Woo. Trilby. Thank you, small man. Got it. Um, Scrubbins is gonna blast. Just a little meat. <laughs> Muffled meat. If it hits, it's 12 damage. That's more like it. Uh, it's a dexterity save, right? Yep. Yeah. I rolled, I, I rolled a two. So. Okay, 14 nice. does beat that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So 12 fire damage. Very nice. You were just and like point I'm blank spraying this thing and it it is like you see it try to like slightly bend out of the way and it's just full taking this cone. <laughs> just a wall of fire mm -hmm. strained to its face. Um, I'm picturing that because Trilby was holding Mr. Gubbins when he got grabbed. It's just like he's got his hands right beneath his chin with like the little elephant head sticking out. He's wrapped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just gonna he's just <laughs> gonna squeeze Mr. Gubbins and fire another ray of frost. Okay. At the eyeball. I believe this will uh, be at this because you're grappled. Oh, okay. I can just do it again. Uh what was it? I'll just hit it again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hits, okay, well seventeen regardless. and then a twenty four, so Yeah. So And then a five to hit. Or uh, sorry, five damage. Uh yeah. Oh actually seventeen to hit does not hit. What? You 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 Whoa. you strike into this thing and you can see it start to like seep and freeze a chunk of it and it it just seems to kind of shrug it off. Mr. Gubbins. No. <laughs> it was a direct uh, hit. You just you know you think maybe yeah. Mr. Gubbins got to give it a little more oomph. a little more pep in his step. All mm -hmm. right, all right. Okay. Coil, you are up. All right. Um. I think, I think we're gonna go into rage. Ooh. We're gonna start raging. Ooh. Ooh, rage. He angry. Um, Coil and, in a cage. Uh, he's gonna try and go for the eye. We'll see. No. Ah. Thirteen. Thirteen. You you hit against the spot, but it shields it just at the final moment of impact, and looks like it's unfazed. All right. Seems That's seems it. to be tough to get through its defenses. Anything else? Nope. Gilnick, you are free. I am free. Now I can cause violence. <laughs> so, I'm going to look at the creature. Ha ha! Gilnick is free. That will be your last mistake. Now, drop strangely dressed boy. 
hitting his drums at a very fast frequency, like, or, or fast speed that it kind of ripples a frequency into the water. And I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers at Ooh. second level. Whoa. And I will show you what it does. Oh, that is a wisdom save? This Ooh. is a wisdom save, yes. Uh, uh, he got a 14. Crossed. Ah, damn. Does that, okay, does that so save? He, he takes um, he takes half damage and uh, doesn't have to move away. Okay. So he does still take the damage. Basically, though. yeah, it does. It does take the damage. So five. Five. Um, I'm simply gonna relocate myself over here then. Monster, drop, strangely dressed boy. You are surrounded. <laughs> you still believe it. <laughs> All right. And, um, yeah, that'll be my turn. It kind of just like its eye darts to you as you move, and just <laughs> like makes this weird sound as you retort to it. Um, doesn't seem to really be that smart. <laughs> um, Thank okay. God. Um, one tendril is going for Gelnek. Uh, fourteen to hit. You know, maybe I shouldn't be up close to these monsters <laughs> considering how low my AC is. I'm realizing now. So you, you go to, like, get a better footing, and, like, it just grabs at your ankle as you're moving. Uh, so you are grappled. No damage, but... Uh, yeah. oh, okay, all right. Um, coil, uh, 11. I'm pretty sure that misses. Nope. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, hey, I can attack everyone. Uh, Faley, uh, 21 to hit. I believe that is I a grapple. I think that would hit Faley. <laughs> uh, Nicole's muted. Oh, sorry. Yes, that, that sure is. Uh, against Hobson, uh, 18 to hit. Uh, yep. And... He's getting some good rolls, uh, huh? 19 mm -hmm. on, uh, Morenthal to hit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that hits. So, everyone except Coil is grappled. Wow. Um, and Oy. It, you, you see it kind of, like, pull back on itself, and it, it just kind of pulls a bunch of you in. Like, Hobson, you kind of get, like, pushed to the side of Trilby. Um, Morenthal and, and Faley, you kind of just get scoot up here. <laughs> and uh, everyone is in direct kind of... Actually, here, we'll just do this to make it fun. Everyone is in direct melee with this thing. Um, oh boy. But Truby, being a soft boy and the most recent attention, is going to take a bite at Truby. Sweet. 23. <laughs> uh, that just barely. Just yeah, barely. I, I, I just say it I, before for the record, he rolls. For the record, I am still wearing my button, but that only raises my AC from 12 to 13. So, 16 damage. Cool. All right. It, yeah. it chomps into your 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 boy form. <laughs> <laughs> My boy, your form. soft boy form. Oh. Ah. All right. His teeth sink in like he's biting into like gum. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't break the skin. It's just like. Brr. Yep. This is like a uh, it's like it's a really gummy it's worm. Like an indent. There's like a little hollow indent in your skin. Ow! <laughs> Faley, you are up. You are grappled. All right. What do you use to moisturize? Uh, can I get out of it? Is there anything I can do to get um, out of it? You can, you can either try to rip out of it or kind of like uh, slip out of it, or you can still attack, but it will be a disadvantage because you're kind of bound. Yeah, I'm sick of, I'm sick of disadvantages. Um, I will try to rip out of it. All right. So give me an athletics check. 15. 15. You push against this rock with, like, both your feet as it kind of, like, wraps you around the pillar. And as you do, you hear, like, a... And uh, the tentacle just kind of, like, flops out and continues to, like, move like a lizard's tail and then just stops. But you are no longer grappled, and you broke the tentacle free. Right. Cool. Uh, was that the only thing I could do? Or that is your action, that? so if you have a bonus action, you can do something. I don't, I don't know if I've got an attack or I can use a bonus action. I don't know what would, I don't know what would be a bonus action. Is it? Um, like healing word is uh, some 
A few spells are maybe an ability, but usually not a lot. Yeah, I don't think I have much. Um, I'm actually pretty low on health still, so can I healing word? Oh, you should be you should be fully full healed, right? Because you haven't oh, taken I'm any dead. damage. Um, our short rest, yeah. Yeah, because we, 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 we had a full rest. How much should we get on short rest? Oh, it was a long rest. It was, it was a long rest, yeah. so you're fully healed. Okay. Yeah, so everyone should be topped off Gelnick. except Trilby and Gelnick. I think. Gelnick and Trilby. Yeah. Did just get chomped for like yeah. 20 something. Yeah, I will heal. Yeah. Uh, Gelnick. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Six. Nice. Nice. Oh no, I lost my eraser to my pencil. Oh well. Um, anything no else? No, that's it. Morenthal, you are also grappled. <sighs> okay, let's try and break free. Athletics, right. he said? Athletics, you can try to rip it out or s struggle out with acrobatics. Uh, see, my acrobatics is a six, but I feel like I'm going to get a good roll in athletics, so we'll go athletics. And irony, five. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you, you you try to kind of follow suit where you just saw Faley do, um, but one like one boot against uh, the base of this thing, the other one is just kind of like slipping against the the slick floors, and you can't get a purchase on it. Yep. In which case, I will do nothing else. All right, Hobson. Uh, you're. Are you, I think you're grappled, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely grappled. <laughs> and since I'm sort of pinned in that way, I think actually as his action, he will cast the uh, cast the armor on himself. Cast the cold armor on himself. Uh, seems like a good way to do damage. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> Under these this circumstances. Is a pretty good way. I don't like... It's like neither my athletics nor my acrobatics are incredible. So mm -hmm. as long as I'm grabbed, might as well. It's like, make it like it's biting into a popsicle. Very good. Anything else? <laughs> ah, sensitive teeth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. It's cold. Well, that's Bites into Trilby. <laughs> and, like, unless the struggling is a kind of movement, then I think I'm about done. Yeah, it would be your action to kind of break free. So you, you yeah, cast yeah. the armor, like a, a yeah, panic so reflex. I got... <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, like, arms, are, I assume, like, his hand is sort of, like, his gauntlet hand is sort of pinned against him anyway, so it can pretty much just say, yeah, eh, magic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Trilby, back to you. Yeah. Um, with my minus two to strength, I'm not even going to bother trying mm -hmm. to get out of this. Uh, we're going to hit him with the Icy Hot again. All right. So Icy Hot will be I'll a disadvantage. I'll just do cross yeah. twice. 14. 14 does so not. That's not going to do it. Yep. And then uh, the, the fi flamethrower is dexterity. Has to beat 14 or minus 14. He failed. That's nine damage. Nine wow. damage. An eight and a one. <laughs> Two. Very nice. It's, the best of the worst. You're starting to see like uh, pieces of rock kind of fall off it, almost like bark on a tree. And there's like fleshier spots that are being exposed. He put up scrubbins. Man. <laughs> Um, Saren. Right. Coil's up. Coil is going to use Reckless Attack, which gives me advantage. Yeah. But also anything that attacks me also has advantage, so. Heck yeah. We're going to try this again. <laughs> 26. Oh my God. No. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. That nice. is a crit. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you definitely hit with that. And is that... Uh, 17 damage, it looks like. Sure. Because you're, cause you're yes, raging, right? And you crit, so it's both pluses? Yes. Very yes. nice. Yeah, Coil it's... fucking pissed. It's... <laughs> <laughs> you, you cleave into it, and, like, your attacks have kind of been just been bouncing off of it, and you catch in it and, like, just drag your blade through a soft spot of it. And it kind of just, like, lets out this scream... Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, For my bonus action or my movement, can I, like, help someone 
un get ungrappled? Um, it would be your action, so you can you can okay. RP you're trying to help, but okay, for the, for, the, for the sake of uh, what's what's rules? I don't know. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, all right, Gelnek, you are up. I want to break free. Uh, I'm gonna try that dissonant whispers again. Okay. Um, just that first level though. Um, because um, actually. Mm, Yes, at first level. I'm not so much worried about the damage as I want the effect. Hiya! It did fail. All right, awesome. So, um, I'm just gonna display this. So it has to immediately use its reaction to move away from me with its full speed. I'm about to get squished, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so how, how far does it move away? It's full movement? It's entire speed. It's all its movement. <laughs> so as it kind of just slowly is eking away from you, um, I, its speed isn't intent enough. So I think like even though you kind of get pinned for a bit, Trilby, you just kind of like shove out of the way, still attached to this thing. Um, I pop out the side. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. those... Those of you who are not grappled by it, since it is moving out of your range, you do have an attack of opportunity. For example, coil. Coil oh, and yeah. Faley. Yeah. yeah. Um, coil, Faley, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's I nice. Think that's do I get advantage on the attack if you want of a opportunity? Reckless. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, might as well. Let's go double leader. Oh, uh, 16? 16 misses. Yeah. You can bop it, though, Faley. I would like to bop it. Give it a bop! Twist it! A... Pull it! Twist it! Pull it! Squish it! Am, am, am I just, uh... Oh, uh, any melee attack. Let me see. Bop. Ah, oh, sad. <laughs> nope. It, it, it reaches out of range, or, or like, it, it just moves out of range as you swing down. It was a good attempt. It Bailey was. Yeah. legitimately thinks something's wrong again, and just, just <laughs> looks panic. <laughs> oh, no. Bailey. Oh, I didn't Bailey play checking so your hand. How, how the dissonant whispers happens is, uh, Gelnick is just swinging his maracas wildly while being held by this thing. Gelnick is from the Ustenki tribe. Mighty sons and daughters of Aether the Breaker, and you shall fear us! <laughs> it, it seems to respond. It doesn't understand you, but I, it doesn't like it. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> this guy is that? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Trophy's um, enthusiastically nodding as he's being whipped around by this thing. Back to the lad. It's one, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three, four, five. And... It actually doesn't have a free tentacle because uh, Faley ripped out one last round. Um, so you can see the the one that you kind of uh, like dislocated is starting to regrow from the socket. Um, but it can't make any attacks against you or Coil. But it is going to pull someone in for a bite. Who is it going to do? Let's see. We got any, five people. Any, Let's roll a d6. <laughs> Trilby. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's uh -oh. making an attack against you. It's already got you. It's got a taste. Yeah, got a taste of the sweet boy. 13 to hit. 13 is my AC. It has hit. Oh. Damn it. Oh, the button. The button. I should have made button. two. Buttons. 18 damage. Uh, I have oh. negative three health. You fall no! unconscious in the thing's maw. What happens to Scrubbins? Does he disappear? I don't know. Does this, uh, it, it probably says like if, if Scrubbins continues while you're unconscious or not. It says I can dismiss it as an action. It disappears if reduced to zero or after one hour. Does not say. We will say for the time being, it ex it exists until either you actually die. 
or well, it's, it, so it attacks as a bonus action for me. So I assume it just doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, so he's just he's just kind of in a, a stasis bird right like now. He's just around you, buddy. Yeah, he's he's mm -hmm. well, occupying he's a tentacle, which is still helpful. It's still good. Hey. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. That is um, its go though. All right. Bailey. All right. I am. Oh God. Uh, what can I do to help? Deal. Uh, Shelby. You can heal him. Or try to pull him out of the tentacle. Yeah, I would like to do that. Is that, um... Um, so you can either do a strength check if you want to free him from the grapple, or you can just do any heal. Uh, well, my strength is got such a good bonus, I am going to go with the heal option. Okay. Um... <laughs> Hey. All right. So yeah, you you scoot around and uh, get to the back of Trilby, touching him on like his back, trying to free him from the thing. And Trilby, you take a fresh breath of air in as you realize you are kind <clears throat> of inside this creature's mouth still. <laughs> <laughs> so am I at eight health points now? Yes. <laughs> okay. You just you just like fall unconscious. And then immediately wake up and like, oh god, I had an awful. Oh, <laughs> not this Still dream being again. Chewed on. <laughs> Come strangely dressed, boy. It is not time for you to be dinner yet. <laughs> All right. Tell that to the monster. Thank you, Failey. Anything else, Failey? Oh uh, no. All right. It's just like between bites. Thank you, Failey. <laughs> Thank you, Failey. Morenthal, you are up. <laughs> oh lordy. Um. Okay, we're going to try again to rip. All right. Athletics once more. You 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 Six. are just not getting any any oh. leverage against this thing and it's just kind of like sliding you along. I end my turn. I Unfortunately. Turn. That's it. That's Hobson. I end my turn. <laughs> uh, Hobson's also going to try to squirm free uh with Acrobatics, I guess, if you can. Cause yeah, you can. You can just kind of like wiggle out of the the grip. Yeah, it's only slightly better than than strength. Fourteen. Fourteen does not succeed. Dang. You are you are still in this thing's grasp. And that's my move. All right, Trilby, you are conscious. Sure but, am, but. <laughs> But basically, you're also knocked <laughs> prone because you fell unconscious. Um, so it's oh, half your okay. movement to stand up, but you are also still grappled. <laughs> right, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I'm still grappled. Okay. Just making sure I say everything. <laughs> okay, sure. I can struggle to stand up as I'm still being mm -hmm. held and chewed on a little bit. Um, Scrubbins is going to Scrubbins. He's going to Flamethrower. Okay. I'll roll for that. Uh, it's... Does not save. Okay. So it's eight damage. Of mm -hmm. Fire to the face. Um, meanwhile, Trilby, uh, probably unintentionally, I think like in all the ruckus of being uh, dragged around by this tentacle and chewed on stuff, um, Constable Bulwarks maybe falls out <laughs> of his pocket and lands on the floor nearby and casts Thunder Wave. Um, <laughs> In a cube that's just like only in this little corner, so hopefully just you know just hits him, no one else. If that if that sounds good, I will and, give um, it to you, but it's either gonna hit you or Hobson. Okay, sure. <laughs> so <laughs> make the decision. It 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 it'll it'll hit me then. All right, boy, I rolled a natural one on that damage. Wow, but hey, you that's that's Kinda good because that's the damage you'll take. <laughs> Yeah, that's also true. It will. It failed. It's a little rocking horse fell out of my pocket and zapped me. <laughs> so, uh, Oops. you roll a constitution that. save, Trilby. Actually, does it? Does oh, Thunder, Thunder Wave? Will it hit the caster? I don't think it hits the caster, does it? If you if you like, uh, center on it. Here's the uh, description young. for it. Yeah. Each it creature, sweeps each creature from so yeah. You. I would I would say each creature. That includes you. Okay. Uh it's constitution Originally. saving. 
Actually, I don't know, because it originates from you. I'm gonna say it doesn't. If it originates, yeah. If it originates I mean, from you, then I then I don't think. It then would. it we would always I mean, take the damage. Yeah. So yeah, a wizard would be doing saving throws on every time they do anything. So yeah, it just it so, emanates yeah. from like where the horse gets dropped, and it just like kind of surrounds you and uh, this creature. And uh, truly, how would you like to do this? <laughs> hey, <laughs> revenge again. Again, he accidentally dropped a rocking horse out of his pocket. I don't think he was extremely aware of what was happening. So some kind of thunder blast that like ripples through it and blows it up. I don't know. You tell right. me. Yeah. So you this like kind of thunder blast travels through the uh, like the floor. There's like vibrations and they kind of travel up this living stalagmite as just chunks of rock kind of like break off from the resonation and eventually. You see it's like kind of exposed form as its eye just kind of like slumps forward slightly and the tentacles stop moving. Cool. Is and, it and dead? Every, everything's fine. Yeah, it's dead. It is dead. <laughs> okay. Hey. All right. Trilby, how could you? You didn't have to kill it. I'm kidding, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I need to lie down for a while. <laughs> Did anyone else pass out or was that just me? <laughs> you performed very well, strangely dressed boy. I think I peed a little bit. No more picking up random boots. Ah, Gilneck will take steps to better prepare next time. <laughs> Coil is like just cutting through tentacles to free people, I guess. <laughs> Orenthal gonna... wishes he wasn't being grappled right now because he would love to get his tack around and, <laughs> and threaten Gelnick for, for that awful pun. <laughs> <laughs> Can I cast Cure Wounds and give myself a lifesaver? Absolutely. Sweet. That's nine healing. Num 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 num. Num 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 num. Um, okay. Holy shit. Real quick. Okay, that was... <laughs> Uh, before we continue, how is everyone feeling? Uh, is it is it getting too late? I am okay, but I know that I am a night owl. Same, 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 same. I because I would love to keep going, but I don't want to make the decision. <laughs> I could do like another hour. Okay, an hour yeah, max. Yeah, yeah, hour max. Yeah, yeah. we'll we'll do that. And uh, if if we, if we find a good spot to kind of save it, we'll 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 do it there. I just I'm excited. Um, sure. Okay, so yeah, you you you've slayed this beast. Um, you look at the boot, just normal boot. Um, nothing else seems to really be moving or acknowledging your presence in this cave. Uh, just looks like maybe something trying to eat things passing by. Regardless, this is good sign. Boot means that you people were still here at some point. Unless this monster is capable of conjuring strange leather craft. Which Gelnek highly does not believe it is. <laughs> highly doubts. That is a good point. Actually, that's a good actually. This is a good point. Like, so when we're looking at our the space around us, does it still look like this was? Are we still traveling in spaces that miners have been carving through, or is this? Are we just in weird, naturally occurring tunnels now? This this tunnel looks naturally occurring. Um, the few instances you've seen like major movement of of like equipment and uh, clearing of paths was going into the uh, the spider nest and uh, a few patches between this room and the last. But it seems like they're trying to take the path of least resistance, so they're using mm -hmm. as nat as many natural caves as they can. Hmm. Forward. Which yeah, where's the dowsing rod uh, pointing now? Dowsing rod pointing us. It is continuing to point west. Yeah. Uh. All right, then. all right, team. Let's. Let's get going. Are you, are you okay to go? I'm good. I'm uh, good. Perhaps Gelnek would require time to catch his breath, if that is okay. 
which is my uh, ask for a short rest. <laughs> that sounds good. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just going to take a little so short we don't rest. Have to use our, our healing spells. Yeah. All right. Just like Gelnek has more than like two HP. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, if you would like, you can use your hit die. You yeah. Heal. Um, any abilities that refresh from a short rest come back. Why do Why do my hit die keep resetting to D four? I don't know. Weird. It just keeps resetting every time I close my character sheet. Anyway, um, so I can use as many hit dies as I want. Yes, and I think you get so half of them as your level. As a... right, yeah, I, I have four, but I can use all four if I need to. Yes. Before you do, oh, uh, before you do use all four, did you? I used one. Okay, before you use all four, uh, know that I have a thing called Song of Rest. So um, whenever you use a hit die, you gain an extra D6 to add to it. Whoa! Nine healing. Whoa. What Whoa. the? Is that per uh, hit 26. die? Hold on, let me, I don't remember if that's per hit die or uh, if you or any creature who uh, hears your performance regains hit points at the end of the short rest by spending one or more hit die. Okay, so it's for the entire short rest. Nice. It's just the extra so, D6. Yeah. Sweet. And anybody who does use uh, spend hit die to recover HP, you also get an additional four. Ooh, nice. Thank you, Galnick. Hmm. Well, using only one hit dice, I'm at 26 out of 31. I feel like I should just use another hit dice. Use another hit dice. I'm going to... I'm going to use a couple. Let's see. Boop. Ooh. Okay. I'm oh. back up to full. Very nice. Uh, I have a max of 31 hit points, by the way, because I leveled up my constitution, mm. which we learned retroactively increases your your increase to hit points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good now, too. Yeah. <clears throat> Gelman right. pulls out, like, a few pieces of jerky out of his pack and just... <laughs> You guys... Trilby's gnawing. I Trilby still has the giant ball of hard candy we got. Oh, absolutely. The old lady, a couple oh God. God. several days ago at this point, and he just oh like no. chips away a little corner and sucks on it. <laughs> Coil um, is like nervously poking every stalagmite, like with uh -huh. their sword. You you just go like, through the cavern. Are you alive? And everything seems like it's just rocks. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys take a little break get a little breather uh, in this space that you've cleared out uh, before you gather up your, your stuff and head start to continue on the trail mm -hmm. would anyone like to do anything for a, a extended period of time as you uh, walk through this uh Series of caves. Not extended, but but Trilby wants to walk over to to Faley and and thank her. That was really nice. Thanks, Faley. You're welcome. I think I almost died there. You you were you were you were fine. You did great. You know, my mom always told me I was sweet. I didn't know if I should take it literally until until today. Bailey like doesn't know how to reply to that. She just kind of looks at him. Um, you are, and you did really well. Thanks. I'm proud of Scrubbins. You should be proud of yourself too. Oh, uh, thanks. And Trilby's really gonna march on up ahead with a pep in his step. He walks off. Yeah. That's all, all right. needed to happen. Um. So for the sake of time, you guys make about two days worth of travel. Um, oh. you, you, you camp in your respective spots. If there's anything you'd like to do over these two days, we can do it right now. Um, but a lot of the paths seem undisturbed by any local wildlife or creatures. Um, you do still see the telltale signs of mining equipment every now and then when you get to like a, a little bit rougher of an opening. Um, it, it seems like it was made wide enough to easily pass through and any equipment that they might have been bringing. Um, uh, not to, to, not yeah. to derail, but I am going to want to grab two things from the bag of many things. Give me those two rolls. 
All right. Come this on, 54 is, uh, and 55. Nine. My right, double zero and a nine mm -hmm. would be just nine, right? Yes. And uh, 82. Uh, roll a d4 for me. What the hell? Okay. Um, and d4. Three. Okay. Um, the first day, you, you reach in uh, and you, you feel a nice small little like handheld utensil. You pull it out and you can see it's like an intricately carved pocket knife. It, it just looks like one blade that folds in and out, um, but it's it's impressively made, good quality. Is it is it sharp? Is it like weapon yeah, it, ready? It's it, it's it's sharp. It could basically serve as a dagger. I already have a dagger. Well, this one looks neat. It's got like a like um, a kind of mineral like uh, backing on the side of it. It's like a like a blue with. What, what's what's the like aquamarine? I'm thinking. Hmm. Hmm. Does anybody want this neat dagger that I found in my bag? I already have a dagger, so you can cut stuff with it. Looks neat. It's like a, got like an aquamarine <laughs> kind of hue. I'm gonna just sure. look weirdly at him and just stare at the dagger. Coil, you said you want it. Sure. It's all yours, buddy. I'm gonna hand it over. I like to imagine it looks like teeny tiny in its hand. It's, it's like a shiv yeah. in your hand, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a butter knife. Yeah. <laughs> but he'll take it and he'll take it away. All right. It basically acts as a dagger, but it is it is a foldable pocket knife. Um, I'm gonna add it to my inventory. The second day, Trilby, um, mm -hmm. you pull out a crystal. That is glowing oh. green, and it has this shimmer to it that uh, kind of just pulsates through it. Um, give me an intelligence check. Uh, that's the only thing I have stats in. Um, just rolling intelligence? Mm -hmm. Six. <laughs> okay, you're not sure <laughs> exactly the properties of this, but you can tell this is a piece of void crystal. Um, oh, you're not oh. sure what this green variant does, uh, but you're holding it in your hand. It seems fine. Doesn't doesn't like, uh, you know, buzz or, or or give any weird like feedback to you. Okay. Hey, anybody know anything about void crystals? Oops. Do I? Uh, anyone can give me a just like a general intelligence check. I'll give you an intelligence check. I'm just holding it above my head. Eight. Yeah. Twelve. Gam, did you do something this <laughs> week or, or something? Did you like... I have no fucking clue. Did you like it's defile like a grave rolls, or I'm pretty okay, <laughs> but any abilities you spit on the die, today, God. It's just... Yeah. I've, I've really pissed someone All set, off. This session, you have just gotten nothing. Not well, just this session. Thankfully, the attack rolls at least have been okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're the ones that really matter at the end of the day. <laughs> um, all of you have heard of Void Crystal. Like it's it's a it's a type of mineral in the world. Um, Faley and Hobson, you are familiar with a city that is supported by this green crystal uh, in the south, uh, a city called Northcliff, and you know the properties of uh, this. Yeah, South and Northcliff, you like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. Um, it, it, you, you know the properties of a green void crystal. It's like almost like a tealish kind of green. Is it disrupts gravity in this small state? It wouldn't affect any of you all, but if you were to like attach this to an arrow, it could maybe fly farther. Um, or if you needed to like attach it to a small object, it could like it might be able to support it or give it feather salt ball kind of thing. Cool. Wow. Hmm. You should see if that'll like Scrubbins is pretty light, right? Oh my god. Yeah, I that think thing, so. I think it'd like help lift something pretty lightweight. I don't know. Like Oh shit. Can I do some late night tinkering and slap yeah, that you're crystal in Scrubbins? We we can yeah, we can totally do that. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank <laughs> you, Dan. We could totally Thank play with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Um, I love this. Okay, does anyone want to, else want to do anything on the this like extended period of time? That's all for me. I don't think so. Mm. All right. Um. On the the third day, as you leave camp and make your travel, um, you you start to notice the air is becoming a little thick, uh, like cloudy, and you can notice particles kind of floating in it. It doesn't exactly smell foul or anything, uh, but you notice it's it's a little rough on your lungs, or everyone except for Coil. Um, you kind of occasionally catch yourself coughing if you go to speak. Uh, it's not painful in any way, it just kind of like tickles your throat. Um, and you can see the corridor kind of shifts to, um, like from rock to almost dirt. Uh, like a, like you hit a dirt patch in Minecraft and you're digging through this one random <laughs> dirt patch. Um, and you can see a really soft light coming from down this, this, it's like a 10 foot wide circular tunnel that you're continuing down. Hmm. Does it look naturally circular? Like... It, it definitely like... looks like it was dug, but mm -hmm. um, it, it hasn't been, like, freshly dug. This has been here a while. Like, you can probably see, like, some roots or something coming from the, the ceiling that are just suspended. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm assuming that the the uh, thousand rod is still pointing that way. It is. Seems we haven't had a whole lot of branching paths so far. Yeah. Ugh. There, there's been paths that you've been like passing by. You usually check whenever you get to like a major intersection. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I'm just saving it for the sake of time. You don't have to check at every intersection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Can Coil just do like a perception check? Absolutely. This, this this weird circular tunnel. What do your war for oh, eyes see? It's gonna be thirteen. It's not an advantage. Thirteen. Um You can looking around, you can see uh remnants of footprints of, of humanoid creatures. Um there's weird kind of like chunks of dirt missing every now and then, and then it kinda like looks like it like a chunk of dirt is missing in a spot and then a few feet away that chunk of dirt is replaced and that's just kind of like there's little like pock marks kind of all over the tunnel um no holes or anything just like slight divots um other than that though mm -hmm. like it seems pretty dry um the 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 soft green glow that's coming from deeper kind of lights it up just enough even without uh the the dancing lights and uh, you can faintly see little, like, particles floating in the air. Mm. I guess he's just going to slowly push forward toward this light. Okay. Does everyone follow? Yeah. 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 I'm following behind yes. Coil. I'm not going to back out at this point. We've been down here for how many days? Like, almost a week. Well, we can't even if we wanted to. You could warp out. <laughs> Just one person blinking through the entire party. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you enter, you can see um, the cave opens up into this, like, almost a spherical chamber that slightly descends downward. Almost like you're on the top of a hill. Um, mm. Smooth stepped paths weave in and out these massive growing mushrooms. Um, that are pretty much in every available spot. They're growing from the walls, the floors, but you notice this path is clearly intentionally made. Um, some of the footprints that you still see uh, that are humanoid continue through this path. And deep down below the base, you can see a, uh, a like deep blue uh, mushroom top slowly rise up and you see four appendages come out of it as it starts to walk up the hill. Good music here, mm. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Quill kind of puts his hand on the hilt of his sword, but he doesn't pull it out yet. Mm -hmm. Oh um, yeah, Hobson lesson learned conjures weapon. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is what we call character growth. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Uh, you can, Thank you for you, saying that out loud, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you can tell if this thing was threatening, it's taking its sweet time to get to you, or it just can't move fast. Um, but it's kind of, it got a very slow gait, it's going up the hill. You can even see it stop sometimes, and then like, picks itself back mm -hmm. up and continues the walk. And you guys are just at the top of this clearing where, like, some of the mushrooms are like, 20 plus feet high. They're just kind of towering over this, this large cavern. Um, but eventually... You see this uh, soft face in a like uh, a fungus-like body. He's humanoid in kind of design. Um, if, if you imagine the, the the top of the mushroom is a brim of the hat, you can see small little pieces of string weaved in and out uh, through the thing that have little like gadgets and gizmos, just like pieces of metal and glass and stuff that kind of clink together when he walks, like a makeshift uh, wind chimes. Um, and as soon as he's maybe like 15 feet so, or 15 or so feet from you, uh, it raises its head and it goes, Howdy. Oh, hello. Where is this exactly? Uh, he looks around and goes, uh, it's underground. I think. Yeah. Who are you? I, I'm, I'm me. Well, you must have name, yes? Unless name is me. Let's go with me, I like that. Oh, I want to get on well with Bartholomew. Hmm. Well then, little um, me. Oh, you go. Oh, no, it's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> well, little me. Gelnek's name is Gelnek, and this is Gelnek tribe. We Hi, are Bo. looking for miners, humanoids, tall like us. Oh, tall. Huh. They're, they're like a, oh, a bunch of beards, a bunch of hair on their face. Yes. Yeah. He came about a week ago, I think. He yes, went a little, little bit that way. And he just kind of points down the hill. And you have seen them still walking alive like us? I, I mean, they looked like, you know, they've seen some things, but yeah, they passed a while. Yeah, everything was fine. Hmm, this boat's good news. Thank you. And have... You go. Oh, Carl was just saying thank you to the the, the the little mushroom man. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, me. Wow, I like... Is there anything uh, dangerous around here we should look out for? Uh, there's the ancient one who protects us, but uh, I mean, like. Eh. It's probably fine. Protects you from what? You know, the uh, creatures in the below ground. This is our home. Man, we could use one of those. Can you tell us about the ancient one? They're real big. Cool. They, they protect us. Can we, like, it, meet them? Oh, I, I, no. I think they can kind of come and go. I haven't seen him oh. for a while. If he sees us, is he gonna kill us? I... If, uh... You know, the fates have a way of looking at things. And if... <laughs> it, It's probably... It sounds like a yes. Yeah, I'm not hearing a no. I mean, if you <laughs> if you get eaten by it, that's... The, it's, it's predetermined. Mm. Thank you, me. 
No problem. My name's Trilby, by the way. Pleasure to meet you. You too. <laughs> he just kind of stares at the group. <laughs> Perhaps he's, he's got a big we all smile. Try to be respectful <laughs> of land, lest uh, ancient one might find us intruding. But if miners are still alive, that is a good sign for them and us. Yeah, if you yeah. if you want, I, I can show you the path they took. Please, that would be most generous. Can I use a this ability you've given me, Dan? This I've seen this one before. Sure. Yeah. What are, what are, you, what are a, you looking for? I wanted to just this character, this mushroom. I think Hobson is fascinated and really wants to know. So for, for folks who don't know, this is just like our original homebrew thing that Dan's given me to basically kind of call upon Valse's knowledge and understanding and experience of stuff. So I can, when making like an arcane or history or investigation or nature or whatever check, mm -hmm. I can gain advantage on the roll to let, like to just hear from them, to let their voice flow through me. So lend whatever information is. I just want to know if Vols knows anything about this, because I think Hobson's just been, like, sitting here, like, mouth yeah. open, just dumbfounded by this most of the time. So, uh... Give me a nature check. Okay. I'm not good at that. No, wait, I'm great at that. I'm the opposite And thing. you have advantage oh. because of... I've seen this one. You have advantage. Oh, that's much better. Oh. Eight and then 20, which is much better. As, as this, like, warm, smiling face is speaking to you, you just kind of faintly hear in the back of your mind go, I would, I would make haste through this. Maybe, maybe, maybe take them up on that offer. Uh, they're, they're, they're kind folk, but you are a source of nutrients. That is a great point. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just, you know. Let the others know this is not, you know, don't camp here for the night. I mean, I mean, the voice kind of recedes back into your mind. I hadn't even thought of that. That sounds great. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, just follow me. Uh, don't step on any of my friends. Definitely. Hey, Guys, slowly. please do not step on any of their friends. <laughs> uh, Okay. Are there just mushrooms everywhere, all over the ground everywhere? Yes, but there is a clear path that you can easily <laughs> walk through. Like, it, it's... Okay, <laughs> the, the path, like, he walked up, there is no, like, you can see steps are formed. I'm just picturing you're like, don't step on my friends, and we're just standing in a field of mushrooms. <laughs> a field. Roll an acrobatics <laughs> check. <laughs> no, uh, there, there is a clear path. Like, you would, you would have to go off the beaten path to step on a mushroom. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> so he he turns around and slowly starts moving. He's moving like like five feet around. He's he's a he's a slow lad, lumbering. Mm -hmm. um, I'm imagining his big head swaying as he's oh yeah, just waddling. He kind of as he sways, you hear like the clink of the little like chimes that he has attached to his head, like the brim of his hat. Um, mm -hmm. as he as he's walking down, he goes. Over here we have home, and over here, uh, that's home. And he's just, he kind of just does that occasionally as he's pointing, <laughs> <laughs> like every, every few steps. Um, you, you can even see now that some of these, these mushrooms that are like massive in size, you can slowly see like some of their eyes open. And just like slowly blink it, the whole group, and just kind of like revert back to their like inert state. But eventually, he takes you to the bottom of the hill, um, and you see this like mass of of roots, kind of like interwoven between these uh, like pieces of rock and dirt. And he goes, "It's uh, just through here." Lead on. Uh, I, I'm gonna stay here, but uh, it was a pleasure okay. to meet you. And uh, same. You sure Thanks you guys don't want to stay? Your, your lovely home. No, we, we, no. We got, we gotta go. We gotta help, uh, help the guys, the, hey. the, the hairy faces. Yes, yes we do. Urgent mission. You could use the rest. It's rough down here. Hmm. We've got important business. He's got a point. We could rest here. Hobson like grabs Trilby's like wrist is like, come on. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Bye, me. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, well, me. Uh, have a good one. And he kind of places his hand, and you can see like pieces of his hand kind of like um, like branch out into the wall. And as they do, the the roots kind of like pull back and create an opening where there was previously a wall of rock. Um, and he goes, "Wow, feel free to stop by." We will. Actually, we probably won't. Now I think about it, kind of a one-way trip. Bye. Thank you for your hospitality. He just smiles. Coral maybe like hangs back, and, like just because he's suspicious. So he goes in last, like okay. to keep an eye on the guy. Give me a perception check as you're as you're standing around waiting for the group to go through. Fourteen. You can see amongst uh, some of the mushrooms kind of built into the wall, the faint outline of a humanoid form that is overgrown with mushrooms. Yeah. Mm. Is it like like are they heading into a hole similar to like this the shape? No, like it, it does look like this mushroom actually opened a pathway forward for you. Gotcha. Just like okay. in some of the side where the mushrooms are all gathered, you can just faintly kind of make out like the edge of a boot and uh, like a piece of armor coming through. And you see like now that you're paying attention, there's like an outline of a corpse. Okay. He, he makes note of this. And then as soon as everyone else is through, he, he follows. And as as you exit, um, the the kind of vines just slowly creak back. All of you safely on the other side. The air kind of cleans up a little bit as you walk forward, um, free of the the spores, uh, which feels nice on your throats. Um, but you you've you've passed through the mushrooms, and it was a lovely time. You. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Um. <laughs> Um, uh, once the door closes, he kind of, um, stops everybody. So there were corpses back there. I don't know. Hmm. If really? anyone else saw them. And the walls. Huh. What sort of corpses? I imagine they've been there for a while. Because... The mushrooms sort of brought on them. Hmm. Well, they were kind. Actually, to can us. I can I can I ask if if they looked like dwarf shaped? Um, <laughs> give we'll say, yeah, you could tell it was a dwarf. <laughs> oh, it, it it was vaguely dwarf shaped. Hmm. I don't know. Was it just one, or...? I think it's... Probably fair to say there were more than one. I think I... He only saw one, right? <laughs> only saw one. One is enough. I can only distinctly tell that there was one. Oh. Where's the dowsing rod going? It is continuing it in the new path that you've been shown. Mm. Before we go, Galneck is just going to kind of take a sit for a moment, like taking his drum off of his back and laying it like upright on the floor. And one simple hit with his maraca, boom. And he says just a, a short, quiet prayer under his breath. Okay. You are too slow for you. I am sorry. Hmm. Choby stands behind Gelnick and takes off his hat. It could have been oh. from a previous expedition, right? Not the one we're looking for. Perhaps. Possibly. But if the dowsing was pointing in one direction, it is a bad it... sign that we should pick up pace, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah. Not much we can do for them anyway. That's 
kind of what I thought, and I figured raising uh, attention there was a bad idea. Yeah, I'd rather not turn out to have the same fate as them. Let's press forward. Mm. Good work, Coil, Choby says, and kind of pats, like, the side of Coil, because he can't really reach. Yeah, He seems kind of surprised about it, but, you know, just kind of nods and thanks. <laughs> he got pats. He got pats. Yeah. So you continue so forward? So continue on. All right. Yep. Um, I miss rest... me. <laughs> <laughs> I miss me. <laughs> I miss me. Uh, the rest of your your day is is pretty uneventful. You're you're starting to get tired. You're going through the 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 general obstacles you've had while traversing in the underdark of of quick elevation changes and kind of zigzagging uh, tunnels, making sure you're going in the right direction with the dowsing rod at all times. Um, and you can see the tunnel ahead kind of like flattens out and you can see it opens into a a, a massive chamber almost like uh like if you if you're looking up it's probably like more than 100 feet tall, tall ceilings and it kind of spans out um you can still see the edge of the walls uh especially those with dark vision and stuff but it is it is like an almost fully underground lake that you can see in front of you. Mm. Um, you can see the coast is kind of like, there's a faint bit of uh, like current that just kind of ever so uh, often moves. Also, the water, instead of being pitch black like you're used to, has this kind of glowing teal color. Uh, it's It looks a little thicker when it's moving in the water, um, but it's it creates a nice natural glow through the entire area. And about a quarter mile down the coast, you can see a small camp set up uh, where there is a uh, fire. And you can see and just faintly hear a uh, conversation, like just the noise of it in the distance. Huh. That's not what I expected. <laughs> no. That's that's probably the miners, right? Hmm. Hopefully. I don't want to jump to assumptions. Could be another boot. Quill will go talk. first at the very least. Toward, All right. toward this camp. As you walk closer. For an intimidation factor. Ooh, intimidate. Are you are you intentionally trying to be intimidating? Um no, but I imagine your presence his, alone is already just, like his presence is yeah. yeah. Um, just like closer... don't don't <laughs> don't look at the bitches I came in with. Look at me. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> pay, no, pay no mind to the ones behind me. Um, <laughs> as just you... that entire party. <laughs> <laughs> as your group walks forward, um. The commotion uh, of, like, conversation and revelry and just, like, kind of excitement uh, picks up in your ears. And you can see five dwarves uh, kind of camped out. One of them is currently cooking up something on a stove or, or like, a makeshift campfire. Um, you can see even the, like, little trail of smoke kind of just disappears into the cavern uh, ceiling. Like, this space is big enough it is not even uh, a threat um, and they are just relaxed chatting. A few of them, they'll go over to you and just kind of give you a look, like trying to get a read on what you guys are doing. Oh. On, on the walk up, could I hear what they were saying? Uh, give me a perception check. Oh, for fuck's sake. It was like six. <laughs> this is something like that. <laughs> Thank you. Very, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> mm hmm. Good roll. Good rolls. Good rolls. 
Good rolls. Keep going. They uh, Quill they... is bad at talking, so he's he's just like kind of staring blankly. Yeah, you're like a hundred or so feet. You just have a clear sight on all of them at this time. Um, they're mm -hmm. clearly not trying to be stealthy or in any way, setting up a camp here. Um, mm -hmm. They just kind of watch you and are, are kind of expecting anything, uh, but you guys continue to approach until one of them stands up and he goes, Y'all don't seem from around here. No, we're not mushrooms. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I got that. We have come to rescue you on behalf of your employer. Who seem from around here? <laughs> so you 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 are you're you you're here for us. Mining crew. Mining the mining crew? Like from Philgrove? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh well, hot damn. We uh, appreciate that. We've we've been camped here for about I don't know, like four or five days. Yes. You are surprisingly relaxed for being missing and for so long. And alive. Are you guys okay? Uh it, it was a it was a rough journey. We we lost a few along the way. But the uh Why have you stopped here? Well we we continued forward the um the, the Crowns Guard members that were with us, they, they told us to hang back. Uh, they, they said they were closing in on the location of the thing they're looking for. So they told us just stay here. Uh, there's a there's a road to a city to the north. So they said this could be a good spot to camp out. Um, they said don't go in the city. But uh, there's been a few people passing by that they seem nice. So we've just been camping here for a while. People. Uh, they, you know, um, like deep dwarves. Like they, they look kind of like us, but they're, it's they, ha they, they, they don't, they don't like the surface and stuff like that. I think Drugar, I think, is what they mm. go as. Oh, do I know anything about Drugar? Or like, are they just a complete mystery to us? Or have like we heard that name before? Uh, you're well read. You probably are aware that they are like a section of of dwarves that basically have kind of called the underground their home. Uh, they they don't really see the surface. There's questionable things about them, but uh, that's kind of anything that's an unknown <laughs> for you. Sure, sure, yeah. Um, I, I'm sure Hobson does feel a mix of like ah. Scary, unfamiliar thing, but also cool. Yeah, it would be like one of those. You could go to the city. You're not sure how the people will respond to you, but you could. There is a city. Neat. Mm. Interesting. How'd you all find us? We followed your path. Koyalka holds up the dowsing rod. <laughs> that too. You, uh, deal with those forearm guys? The little spider yeah. guys? Fine deal. Oh, um, you're here, so I'm assuming you ran, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> First thing. Sure. Okay, we, we kind of kicked the hornet's nest with that one. That was, uh, was that was our bad. I'll say. I don't think we helped. Well, well, they 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 seem to not give a shit when we left, so uh, that was good. But yeah, we we lost a we lost a few friends there. Hmm. Not surprised. Um, we sorry, we lost a few ourselves. It's all right. We knew what we were signing up for. This is important, right? Hmm. Did any of you lose a boot? Oh yeah, there. We went through this corridor and this like rock uh, ate one of our buddies, and he just kind of like. We kind of ran. We, we didn't know how to react to it, but like we looked over and he was gone. Hmm. Well, the rock's gone now. Well, that's good. So let me let me get this straight. You were told by the Crown's Guard to wait here. Yeah. And it's been how long now? Well, we've been here for about four or five days. It's It's hard to keep track. With no sun. And you just 
aren't worried that maybe something's gone wrong? Oh, uh, no, we're definitely worried, but we're not fighters. Uh, we, I, we don't, I don't even think we have a sword among us. And then one of them raises up like a dagger and goes, I got one. He, Bill's got one. Uh, mm -hmm. but, we almost came down here with a guy named Bill. Oh, sh it's, it's his twin. Bill Redshirt. Oh. Yeah, they're Bill Redshirt twins. Oh. Hey, Bill. Hey. <laughs> He's just kind of in the distance. <laughs> They're both named Bill? Yeah, it's a weird dwarf thing. Definitely not Dan <laughs> mis mistaking anything. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to bring it back. But... <laughs> Let me just change my notes. This guy's named Bill <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, my name's Flail. That's Dolnar, Felrom, and Grenmar. And, I'm, and that was Bill. You already met Bill. Why haven't any of you used the your orb to return? Well, see, that's the thing. The Crown's Guard have it. They have that in the bag, and they said, mm. "Oh, well, we'll be ahead. Don't come check on us because it's it's it could be a, a dicey situation." They said they dipped their head and looked dangerous, so told us to stay back. And you know, I don't want to go against something that took out some Crown's Guard, especially like high ranking ones mm. that's, uh, so that's why this that's we're, we're we're hoping they're okay and it's just you know maybe they got their own thing to deal with have you not asked any of the people that have come and gone from the city if they know well uh the one person we did ask um was this kind of like insecty fella and i think he was just like a a traitor like he just had a big old like beetle that was carrying a bunch of supplies and uh he he told us that what was it, it was like zybera is the name of the drugar city to the north uh and then he said he was heading south but uh he, he he didn't seem to really know about anything dangerous in the area maybe like just another resident or something hmm. well then he seemed like good people, though. He actually, we actually bought some rations off him. He was surprised he took our coin. No, I don't doubt you. What concerns me is where the Crown's Guard have gone. Into the city, right? Oh, they no, they didn't head north. They they kept going oh. that way, and he kind of like points down the coast. Oh. Hmm. There's well, the dowsing they... rod pointing from here. Yeah. yeah. You are getting a northwest vibe. Uh, you can see, mm. like, multiple kind of branches. This looks like almost like a a crossroads underground where there's a lot of branching pathways. Um, it, it also looks a little more maintained. You can see even, like, um, like pillars with soft light on them occasionally along this makeshift road that they have been pointing at. And, and the road that they're pointing at is probably like four or five hundred feet from where they are. Hmm. Were we supposed to retrieve the crown scar too? Hmm. Uh, DM, <laughs> were we? You know your mission was to obtain the artifact, and if the lads were alive, <laughs> I, why, I why do you keep saying lads today? Um, if the crowns guard and oh, miners right. were alive, to safely evacuate them. But it's, your mission it's just was a lad day. the artifact, wow. right? But you the are being pointed large. to the crowns guard because they have the bag of holding. Right. It's kind of messed up that the. The people, the saving the people is a secondary objective. Yeah. Mm. 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 Well, we did no. take the quest, so. <laughs> we did, that's true. What's that say about us? We could have been monster you, hunting. You get the feeling it was, it was with a very heavy <laughs> heart. Like a, I, I yeah, would like right. my men back more than anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm, 
I'm being controlled by someone else, so you need to get this artifact. Yeah, yeah the order came from Damn way up suits. above his pay grade. Yep, came from up top. Damn suits. Damn suits. It's always well, the suits. Well, we should probably follow those those king's guard, the crown's guard, and find out what what they know. Agreed. Mm. But you you guys are good here. You can stay here for a bit because I don't know when we're gonna come back. It might I mean, be a little... I mean, we're good here, but we'd like to go home. Oh well, yeah. Well, we we have a we have a, th a way to get home. So we got you. We, we we'll just we got we got. Come back. Can we can we do anything yeah. if like you guys don't come back or like should we should we go mm, check no. it out? No, you should probably just stay here forever. But <laughs> be, be safe. Um. <laughs> This doesn't seem like a good plan. Listen, you know, if we forever? if we don't come back, another group will probably come in a week or two, yeah, they, and then you can well, deal with them again. They have to make no. it through that that bridge area. Because so. we will come back. Gelnick believes in this. Oh, yeah, see? certainly. Gelnick says it, therefore it'll happen. Well, that makes me feel better. Gelnick, Gelnick hasn't been wrong yet. I think. Sure. But, uh, yeah, we, we seem to be safe here. Uh, not a lot of critters running around. It looks like, uh, I guess the traffic keeps everything clear around here, but mm. we'll wait here, but, but please come back for us. Uh, is, is there, is there anything we can do or help or like, we're not much of fighters, mm. but we, we know how to navigate terrain. Well, if, if the crowns guard were able to make it we can probably find them right right gang i assume so at least so if we end up with in like in the city and all of that at any point is there any like basic etiquette we should follow down here uh the little insect lad said we should probably steer clear from the city um but not like they're bad folks but maybe they're just not used to outsiders so it could be a little little confrontation okay. maybe not maybe they're good people but uh we'd rather not push it yeah fair enough Understood. don't upset anybody how much supplies do you how long will you be okay here well we were in dire straits but ever since that trader came we bought about stuff for like two weeks so we've got maybe you know like six days left of rations okay I don't know how Here, safe we'll be, I've, but we haven't encountered anything around this area yet. I've got something, and I pull out my hardened sphere of hard candy. <laughs> <laughs> and hand it over. <laughs> and Trilby pauses briefly before holding out his hand. I think just with one other hand, he, like, breaks it in half and, like, hands it back to you and goes, I, We appreciate that, but I can't take all your candy. Girl B is staring at disbelief at how easily he was able to break that in half. He just kind of, he just kind of breaks in <laughs> chunks and throws like a chunk in his mouth. Sure, he just doesn't listen, like can't actually hear him. He's just uh, so what? focused on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but do, I, I don't know if they, you guys want to camp or anything, because. Uh, you... Or you can are press they on. carrying rations? Are we carrying rations? You yeah, we got some food. Guys have rations. I'm gonna say you prepared for this. It may be good to rest here before heading to the grounds guard. Hmm. I mean, you're what free if you use our camp? Didn't we? Um, like we took. A few days of travel between the like rock monster tentacle thingy yes. and here. Yeah, right? you guys right, are yeah, all we're, we're fully rested. Presumably, right? we've gone through a couple of long rests and a long rest before mm. we reached here. Yeah, you're fully rested, and you think it would be probably like afternoon at this point. Like oh, you, okay. you, you, you still have a good amount of travel you could get in if you wanted. <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> I think we can keep going. Okay. Yeah. Perfect, and I have the perfect spot to wrap up for tonight. Um, everyone's the, in jail. Everyone's in jail. Um, you all give your 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 thanks and uh, acknowledge the the remaining miners. Um, you see, there's only five doors left. You're not sure how many they lost along the way, but 
you make note of their camp to come back eventually and find them because they won't have a dowsing rod to locate them. Um, Good point, DM. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it seemed like they're on the coast of this large underground lake. You can probably spot their camp like a good mile away. Mm -hmm. um, you continue past the, the, the coast, uh, passing over this road. It's kind of like a... It, it almost reminds you of like uh, your your mask coil, like an obsidian kind of carved road. It it mm -hmm. it stands apart from the rest of the rock. You're not sure if it's just well maintained or polished, or it's actually a different material. But you just take note of it. Mm -hmm. Um, you continue on further west and continue back into a small little narrow passageway that weaves and bobs through the rock and uh, an all too familiar thing that you've been doing for the past few days. Eventually, you come across some laid tiles. Um, the, the sides of the path start to smooth out and you can see um, like man-made construction into the walls. It becomes a solid, uh, like, square um, passageway. And the, while the tiling is originally, uh, like, kind of sporadic, it eventually flattens out, and you see just this small little, like, pathway leading up to two massive iron doors, um, probably about, like, 15 feet in height. They are open. They're, like, one is open in, one is open out. Um, you can see to your right, there is a small patch of raised dirt in like a rectangular shape. Looks like to be some kind of old garden or some sort. Um, there's even like a small little fence gating off the entire area from the front of this house. Um, you see above the, uh, piece of garden, there is like a, a carved stalag tight uh, yeah, yeah, I remember it's lactite um and there there seems to be like a, a little bit of a shimmering gem at the base of it uh, other than that that is what you see mm -hmm. and can we see through where the open doors are or all, all that was what's through no, uh, this is all what's around you. You can't really see into the door. Like, if you go up to it and peek through, you can see that it immediately descends into, like, a, a 10 feet down staircase. And it looks like it opens up mm -hmm. into maybe a an opening or entranceway. I'm assuming the dowsing rod's still pointing that way. It do be pointing that way. It do be. Mm -hmm. Coil kind of points up at the gems, like... What's that? Looks like a gem. Yeah, it's, just, it's like, you can clearly see this carved uh, piece from the ceiling is, like, housing this one white gem. I kind of feel like we should leave it alone. Mm. It just makes Probably me nervous. The best. Hmm. Take note. You can see the um the soil that is uh at the base of the the gem. There's just like like strings of plants left that have totally died and dried out long ago. You're not sure how long, but it has clearly not been maintained in any way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. Um, can I can I squint at that gem and see if I know anything else about it? I mean, you can squint at it. You can... <laughs> Are you going to do a check <laughs> against it? I mean, I, I, I suppose. Give what me. Would that be? Just... Um, give me an Arcana check. Oh, oh, oh. got nine. <laughs> it's this weird-looking gem in the ceiling. It's it's odd that how it's positioned because it's not like it's clearly not a defensive thing. It's not guarding the front door. Um, it just kind of stood out to you. 
For, for the record, I have plus six to Arcana. I rolled a three. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll do that detect magic thing again. Just Welcome to, to the club, oh, buddy. <laughs> yep. You immediately catch a small glow from the gem. Any particular color? Uh, not that Hobson not that would know what it even mean, but just curiosity. Well, of doesn't the tech course. magic also give you the school of magic? Yeah, I'm that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, but like, let me, let me give you the school real quick. It is evocation. Hmm. Hmm. That seems potentially dangerous. Dangerous how? I mean, in my limited knowledge, isn't it vocation of the school of magic that a lot of the uh, direct damage make things explode spells come from? There's probably other things, too. There, yes. There's definitely Elements notable power. ones, yeah. Hmm. That's, I mean, the thing's magical. Give I mean, me, give me an gem. arcana check, Hobson. Okay. Let's see, where are you? There we go. You know, not only are there the explodey... Oh, sorry. I, I keep going before we... It's okay. Dan rolled a 21. Um, it's a 21. You know that a lot of uh, very famous spells such as Fireball and stuff kind of classify in the evocation. You do know other spells uh, that are not as uh, dangerous, such as like um, light and stuff like that are also mm. in that classification. So it could be dangerous, it could not be, but you know it's evocation. It does seem like a real flip of the coin trying to approach that thing. Well, the boot was dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't see any corpses, so maybe it's Where? fine. So we didn't see any corpses okay. with the boot. Yeah, but uh, but there was a boot. I guess if it, we'll deal with it if it becomes a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And I guess he's just gonna follow the dowsing rod. Like this, this is where the crown the crown's guard went through here. Yes, like that's our best guess. That's what it seems like. And the gym probably. Oh didn't show up here after they passed through, so unless they knew some very good trick for getting past this, if this is dangerous, then they either, then either they knew a good trick for getting past it, or it's not, it's not a problem. I'm kind of metagaming here, I guess. <laughs> they are mm -hmm. crowns, God. They're not exactly the, you know, cream of the crop. Hey! My father <laughs> yeah. was a crowns guard! Need I say because more? Because it's true doesn't mean you should say it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You, I will not have someone speak ill of my father, facetious Horns Pharaoh, in my presence. <laughs> I forgot his name was facetious. <laughs> He's a proud <laughs> member of the distinguished member of the of the distinguished Crowns Guard. Yeah, and I, I trust them. I'm going. I'm just gonna keep walking while Shelby's talking. And just all right. Past it. You all approach the doors. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. They. Yep. They're wide enough open. You can all easily fit through. Even coil. Like, it, there, there was space has been made, and the doors look almost like they've been sitting in this position for quite some time, or they just look heavy. Um. But as you descend. Just real quick, you know, just real quick. Roll well, for initiative. <laughs> yep, we're gonna have another uh, hour long <laughs> combat. <laughs> Four hours long, baby. Um, oh, this is one of the first thing that greets you in this confined hallway is the scent. Um, a mix of spoiled food with a faint sweetness clinging to it. Uh, it's revolting and it sticks to you as you enter the space. The air is thick and stale, a slightly red-tinted fog kind of fills the space. 
similar particles that were floating in the spores are there, but it almost gives this like slight burn to your skin. Uh, nothing, nothing actually damaging. It just kind of like tingles as it as you walk through the space. At the base of the stairs, you notice a humanoid figure. As I slightly turn down the music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, at the base of the stairs, you notice a tall humanoid figure clad in full plate mail. They're standing on a pedestal shaped around their figure. Um, a large metal spear is piercing through its shoulder and pinning it to the wall. Its arms are hanging limp, a long sword still in its grasp in one hand. Um, the armor, the sword, and the spear are all covered in this rust-like particle that kind of fills the space. Um, but you can see a closed door to your right and a collapsed section of the hall to your left. Mm-hmm. And I think Is as you take your steps into this space, we could call it a nice, nice comfy spot here. As you Oh, real comfy. Nice and comfy as you get ready to approach this uh, estate. Um, but you did it. You made it through the underdark. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. For now. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yay? Is that, is that good? This, is, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, this seems happy. worse. Out of the frying pan into put, the fire. Put some latent on. There we go. Everyone loves oh, that. Out of the yeah. frying pan into the gas tank. Yeah. Yeah. This made it a lot better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I yeah, you guys did it. Mystic. Sorry this one went a little long. I just, I was also like, there's a lot of traversal in this one. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I decided to jump off a bridge. <laughs> you did. You did. That, that was an encounter, and it went exactly <laughs> how I hoped. <laughs> I, I am shocked. <laughs> That is exactly how you hoped it would go. Oh, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. But you know, all oh. D&D sessions go exactly as the DM plan. Yes. Every time. Every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thank you all yeah. so much for joining me. Sorry again, it went late. Uh, no, I, I just, good. I was like, I really want to get to a spot where we can. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I think it's worth it. A little bit of dungeons in our Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see. Very excited. Um, does anyone have anything they want to say before we, we we wrap up? Thanks for watching. Thanks yeah. for mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. 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 Also, yeah. Thanks for joining everybody. Some we'll of this fan art has is yeah. just unreal. Yeah, oh, I haven't I haven't gotten to see any yet. I'm so oh my excited. god, it's so good. You gotta take a look. Oh, you really so do. Good. For the record, we have a fan art channel in the Discord server, and it is just mm -hmm. filled with good stuff. What the hell? Oh, right? it's so cool. I love it. Yeah. I'm amazed at how much has been created just in the time the session's been going. It's amazing. Yeah. Hey. Oh my gosh, I I'm I'm gonna gush over this after stream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for enjoying our silly game. I'm just happy to be playing with friends, and uh, y'all make it really special. Aww. Yeah. Thanks, Dan, for all the work. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you, thank you for DMing. Yeah. We'll get back to normal, like, hey, not dark underground stuff. <laughs> just happened. No, to I be. love it. Yeah. Where it's we an arc. where we went first? We're in, yep. the, we're in a story arc right now. Yeah, we are in a story arc. Mm -hmm. The underground, underground arc. arc. <laughs> yeah. The um, under the dark. The under the dark. <laughs> under the dark. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna mute call and and thank stream for any any uh, alerts they gave me. But uh, thank you all so much for playing with me. Oh yeah, thank, thank you. Y'all the best. Thank you. I no, you. legit like almost teared up multiple times in this session when you guys Aww. were talking to each other. I was so Aww. happy. Aww. It was so cute. Aww. I love it. Okay. Thank you everyone so much. <laughs> Night. Bye. Bye.
Bye, chat. No. Bye, Bye, chat. Bye, chat. Alright, chat. It's just me. Your DM. Your boy. Dan Jones. You know what I don't have? My alert window. <laughs> there it is. Thank you everyone so much for hanging with us. I am I'm so excited. I uh I, I was hoping we would start the dungeon tonight, but I'm glad we have a chunky session for it next time. Cause uh I like dungeons. I like dungeons and I like dragons. Um I just I'm always I'm always hesitant when it's like, here's this arc that's probably not for everyone, but it's essential for the story. <laughs> so we will we will resume to fun monster hunter and surface times as long as everyone lives, right? Sometimes 15 minute encounters take three hours. That is true. Uh, I was I was real scared when they were like, I'm jumping in the water. I was like, oh god. <laughs> um Thank you everyone so much. There is uh oh my alerts look definitely broken. Oh boy, hang on. Let me um let me let me do this and uh, pull up the old streamlabs cuz uh pull up the old Hey, there's my voice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I I'm flustered. I'm flustered every every session. I'm like it's like Christmas time and then like you realize how stressed you were and you're like oh, I can breathe. To start every game with a hype train. This is very sweet of you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, okay. This looks like it works. Um, so thank you everyone so much for supporting me. Gamer, thank you for 18 months in a row. Ludlime, thank you for the 25 bits. Jester Sheep, thank you for 17 months. I'm excited and scared for this session. Me too. Restless, thank you for 19 months. Bagel Teeth, that looks like 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Very much. Miss Batty, thank you for 19 butts. Best part of the month. Yeah. Um, Naru Hoodie, thank you for five bits. My best toast, thank you for 500 bits. LJ, thank you for five months of support. Naria, thank you for 39. Holy crap, that's a lot of months. 39 is a big number. Um, LJ, thank you for gifting a sub to Law Cats Peterson. Law Cats Peterson. Yep, that's that's the name. Sensual Kitsune, thank you for the gifted sub. Jetlagon, thank you for 25 bits. Tom, thank you for 13 months. Dan Dragons, ooh. We love, we love dragons and dungeons. And maybe Dan? I like Dan. I, you know what? I'm a fan of Dan. Uh, Naru Hoodie, thank you for 5 bits. Sympathy, thank you for 32. Finally here to see DJ D in relative time. Yeah. Alchemist, thank you for 16 months. Naru, thank you for another 5 bits. Um... Arturo Briones, thank you for five months. Chaos, thank you for 25. Mr. Observador, thank you for five months in a row. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Mana, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you, Mana, thank you for 25 bits. Barry, thank you for 25 bits. Midnight, thank you for 100 bits. And MD, thank you for gifting a sub to Hype Train. Thank you, everyone, so much. As always, I super appreciate the support. It is not at all required. I'm just happy you guys are hanging with us. Uh, it means the world to me that y'all y'all want to come on this dumb journey of the mind that uh, I'm excited about. So let's raid someone, yeah? Let's do a raid. I'm definitely not trying to end stream quick because it's hot and I want to turn my AC on. <laughs> but it is hot and I want to turn my AC on. Also eat dinner because it's 1140. Who's streaming? You can turn it on. I know I can turn it on, but it does pick up through Discord, so I, I was I was, I kept it off for my players. Uh, wow, I'm like forgetting how to do everything. Weena streaming. Oh shit, Weena's doing a stream. How long has Weena been going? Okay, I'm gonna hope Rena's still going. We're gonna raid Rena. 
What is the schedule? We aim for once a month. I will let you guys know in the Discord uh, immediately when we plan another date. I kind of let it be loose just because a lot of us have hectic schedules. Um, but I would like to do another before August ends just because I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, but expect early September if not that. And I will post about it as soon as I know. We're gonna raid Rena. Rena's wonderful. Rena's one of my friends. We also do a Soul Link Nuzlocke on Wednesday nights uh, that we're gonna continue. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone so much. I really appreciate you. I feel like a broken record, but I always do. Y'all are wonderful. Mwah. I felt so bad that Faley drew that card. <laughs> I felt like I was bullying Faley. I didn't want to. They just drew a bad card. <laughs> Anyways, that had arena for me. Spam some carbies in chat for me. I'll see you guys soon.